It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and p Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Hello, welcome to Hobby Maker. It's, I forgot where I was then. It's lovely to have you company this afternoon. It's going to be one of those again. I can feel it in the air. We had a crazy day yesterday. I think we've just upped the ante by about a good 50, 60%, quite frankly. Uh, not only do we have five hours of dedicated, fantastic, fantastic dies cuts. We've got everything for you today. Dies cuts. Dies cuts. Dies cuts. That makes sense, really, in my head, doesn't it? Die cutting. Uh, we've got so much more than that, though, in terms of sentiments. You can see all of the die cuts I've got in front of me, uh, the craft dies. Shall I stop saying die cuts? Probably. We've got the lovely Gwen. I was just getting around to doing a really lovely intro uh, for the gorgeous Gwen, but we were just, just being, we were being naughty, weren't we? We might as well just say, it, just yeah. to be honest. No we, change we, there then. We were taking some lovely little Hello. photos <laughs> beforehand and I'll post those a little bit later. Uh, so Gwen from Creative Expressions, how are you my lovely? I'm really well, thanks. Lovely to be back again. It's always, always fun to have you Can't on wait the show. to get going. I know, you've got oh, fantastic yummy demos stuff. to share with us. Lots to do today, lots and lots and lots of demos. Uh, and of course, Corinne from Crafters Companion will be joining us as well for two fabulous hours this afternoon. But before we do any of this, we are going to give you a cheeky little deal to start your orders off because we like to do that here at Hobby Maker. So whether you are new to us or whether you've been with us since we started now, we're going to do a cheeky deal to start us off today with a fabulous little craft spotlight. These are cute. These are cute. Honestly, so I've got for you a cheeky little spotlight here for you. And we've got two, you get them both, two die punches here. We've got a little butterfly and a little leaf. It's almost like a maple leaf, that one, I would say as well, isn't it? Uh, very Canadian. Uh, but you can see they are the cutest little things, these are. Um, so you can do your little punching. I'll grab a bit of paper in a moment so we can see these in action. But they're just quite simple. You can see there, you've got your... Surely we don't have paper here. It's, it's a hobby maker. Uh, and you can see just the way that that works. And it just punches out the cutest little butterfly. So whether you want to do that on a card, you might do it on a tag. There's all sorts of wonderful things you can do these on. We just want to kick the day off. Now, you do get them both. So £6.99, you do get both of these. But we can't stay at that price because for a little cheeky spotlight to kick us off, we need to do something even more fabulous. I need to get punching. Um, this is going to be fabulous. We're going to do, an, um, I need to get punching. That sounded quite uh, violent. I'm not a violent person. Um, $1.99 for both of them. For both of them, $1.99, but this is kicking off your day, don't forget. So this is your opportunity to pay you one set of your P&P, and then everything today, you don't pay any more P&P on. It's just one set. I thought you were bringing me paper then, Dan. He got something folded up in his hand. I'll tell you what I'll do. It's all right. I've got some right. I, it, was that my P45? I bet it was. I bet it was my P45. Uh, so <laughs> I like the fact that everybody's agreeing. So you literally just pop it into your paper like such. There's your little butterfly. It's probably easier to do when it's actually not mid-air because that's going to go through on my finger, actually. And you pop, you literally, oh, she said, uh, literally just clip out your little butterfly. And it's job done on that one. There you go, look. Take your little flutterby. They're really, really cute. 
Look at that, you could do that all the way around the edge of a piece of paper. You can obviously do that uh, with the children as well. Should we do our little leaf, our little maple leaf? You can mix the two together as well. It's just about adding on those little accents. I think these are super cute, super fun. And for one you're not going to go wrong with that, are you? So opening up your order for the day. So it's your maple leaf and your little flutter by. So one ninety nine. you get them both. And of course, it's only one set of postage and packaging, which is amazing. They should be 6 99 Will be $6.99 at midnight. The price will go back up. But for now, you can add as many of those onto your order as you want to when you only pay one set of postage and packaging. So it kicks the day alive because there's going to be loads that you're going to get interested in today. Uh, well done, Margaret, Tracy, Susan, Colin and Patricia. Just grab them, chuck them in your stash and get them out every now and then. You'll use them. You might just put a little... Cool. I think these would be nice for gift tags, don't you, Gwen? They would be lovely, wouldn't just they? Just a little accent. Tag? Or even sometimes when you've made a card and you feel you just need that little something to fill a little gap, perhaps. Yeah. That's perfect because it's such a perfect size. The dinky, so, and they? punch them out of some lovely colourful paper or something that you've perhaps sprayed or inked. Yeah. And they'll really look gorgeous. Yeah, and of course, I'm showing that to you. Obviously, I showed you the little butterfly on the piece of paper cut out. But if you're using perhaps some really fabulous coloured card, keep the little butterfly. Don't just keep the image from which it's been cut out of. Then take the little butterfly and you can use them. You could you could stick them on. You could obviously, you're not going to throw any of those away anyway. So you could have all your leaves in one pile and all of the silhouettes on another. And actually the card or the, the tag you take the, the, the image out of, and then you, you can stick those on as well. So £1.99, you get them both, remember? And we'll be bringing you more little bits and bobs like this in the future. Something else you can do with them is Go punch on. them out of a, perhaps a ready-made square. So mm -hmm. you put it in the middle, put some double-sided adhesive, which we have for you today, oh, yes. at the back of the aperture, and then fill the aperture with glitter. Nice. That looks lovely. Nice, definitely. Covered in all, you could do lots of little butterflies. Yeah. Gorgeous. A kaleidoscope of butterflies and all yeah. of those different colours. <gasps> I'm seeing a lot we could use. Maybe the pixie as well. Oh, yes. Yes. Ooh. Right. OK, so one ninety nine. Keep checking out on those. And of course, that, that's it. You one set of post and packaging for the entire day is paid. And that's quite revolutionary here. Something we're all still getting used to, I'm sure, in the crafting world. But it's brilliant. And of course, our call centre is just up there. And it's a free phone number 0800 00 14433. Any problems, it's completely free. Any issues, give them a call. They've all been fed and watered now because we've had lunch. So they will answer any questions you might have or vice versa. If it's dead easy for you to do it on the web, hobbymaker.co.uk, you can do it like that once you've registered. And uh, then have a little look because the web is going to be absolutely jam-packed full. Oh, look, we're already having messages through. Linda says, hi, Gwen, say hello to a new viewer, Shelley from Fleetwood. Hi, Shelley. Ah, Lovely to have nice. your company. Brilliant. Oh, bless you. So Shelley joining us. We are live and interactive all the way through until six o'clock. Uh, so come in and have a chat. Shelley from Fleetwood, you will love, love our gorgeous Gwen. She's got some fantastic <laughs> things to share with you. This We all love uh, this hour. And she'll be back with us at three. She'll be back with us at five o'clock as well, which is wonderful. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, Gwen, Ben just said you make, you, you make him smile when he sees you. Oh, how That's lovely. That's nice, isn't Thank it? Thank you. Well, it's I better than making somebody cry, isn't it, I suppose? Well, this is <laughs> <laughs> we, we cry when you leave. Uh, one ninety nine. Don't forget. Also, email in your makes. Share your makes with us because some lucky person wins a hundred pounds. I know, credited to your account. We've already had our first winner for April. Somebody will be selected at random from the sharers you'll make and it will be drawn on the last Saturday of the month. Somebody will win £100 credit. I need to make sure I'm with you on the last Saturday of the month at some stage because I want to be able to do one of those. So send them through to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk and we'll try and show some of those to you at five o'clock if you send them in. Right, let's dive in, shall we, to our fantastic first hour of Creative Expressions. We've got two bundles for you today. We've split them up. Uh, so we're going to start with the top one, our first bundle here uh, together. And then obviously we're going to see loads and loads of demos right the way through the day, which is what we love. So this is our new paper, well, new to us here at Hobby Maker, our paper panda dies. Now, this is your first bundle, bundle A, and you've got three huge dies going on here. You've got Be Happy. Home Tweet Home, and then you've also got your Roses in Bloom collection, which is a wonderful kind of a, a frame. Do you think it's National Bee Day coming up, do you? When I say National Bee Day, I don't mean the porcelain toilet. I mean the little creature. Because <laughs> that never sounds right, does it? Although I think there should be... 
May the 20th is World Beebs Day. Although I think there should be a bee day. I think we should celebrate bee days as well. Not that we really have them here in the UK, but anyway, uh, I think we should. Um, I'm, I'm not carrying on with that conversation. So, <laughs> home to eat home, be happy, and then roses in bloom. They all kind of stand alone, these, to be honest with you, but equally, you might take elements of some and work with another, but great sentiments. Home tweet home, I think, is absolutely lovely anyway. Uh, the be happy is a great little sentiment to send to anybody, and they're quite detailed. I think that's one thing you'll really notice. And then this wonderful roses in bloom. Can you see you've got those gorgeous roses going all the way around there to create just the most phenomenal framework, actually, and then you can put whatever you want to in the centre of that. Now, these three dies, and you can see they're big, actually. They are 10.4 um, by 9.9 .9 centimetres. So is that a, a five? Ish. 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 Um, I got metric into the other way. Uh, we can work with an ish. Uh, so your dies that you have here um, should be coming in per die. Well, they should be coming, we should be looking at 40 pounds and 97 pence. One thing you will need to get used to with us here at Hobby Maker is the fact that we often drop the price on things. We often fall down on the price. So even if you've just checked out on these straight away, you've said, yes, please, Ruth, I need these three fabulous dies, and um, you won't pay 40 pound 97. Our fabulous computer system consolidates your order just before midnight tonight, does all the technical gubbins that I don't really know anything about, and it makes sure that everybody pays the final low price that we go down to, which today for these three, and they are big ones, these three big dies, Die bundle A, we are going to take down to only £34.99 and they are on split pay. Now, if you're not used to that either, we love a bit of splitters. That means it's £17.49 today. And next month we do the same, so £17.49. You don't have to pay any interest. We don't add that on. It is what it is. Split literally down the middle. So three fabulous dies. They're lovely little sentiments as well, aren't they? These they ones? are really lovely. They're not A5. They're nearer to... Probably six by four inches, right. something like that. So not quite as big as A5. Yeah. yeah, and as you said, Ruth, you can switch those sentiments around. You could put the home tweet home in the middle of the frame. You could put the be happy in the middle of the frame. Mm. You can, there's definitely snippability. Uh, you could use just corners from the frame, borders from the home tweet home, yeah. elements from the be happy. I mean, yeah, they're, they're much more versatile than they might appear at yeah. first glance. And so. I think you've, that's it, that, that sn snippability yes. is the word definitely on those. There are definitely little elements that you can take out if you just want one little portion of them. Uh, so this is bundle A, this is your first one. We've split it into two, uh, but we've also got your second bundle, uh, which is your, again, Craft Dies by Paper Panda. These are cute as well, really, oh, bless them, really sweet. So we've got Where Love Grows by Moonlight and you've got your Petit Fleur frame as well. I know, they're really cute. Look at their little bunnies. I say bunnies, is it a bunny or is it a hare? I would go for a bunny. Oh, you see, what, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday, I kind of purposely <laughs> cleared one of, the, uh, one of the desks. Somebody dared me. Today, I've just knocked them all off. That's just karma, isn't it, right now? Uh, so, we've got... It is a bunny. Um, I'd say that's a bunny. The designer of these uh, wrote a storybook featuring bunny and bird. Oh. So, on the one there with the tree, you've got bunny and bird. And then I would say the one in the field is probably a hare. Yes, I would. It's got much longer ears, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's what I would yeah. have said. Oh, so Bunny and Bird, so it's from, it's, it's from a story book. book. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Bunny and Bird, Ben. Yeah. That's incredibly cute. Can you see Bird in the tree with the little heart? You can, holding the... I nearly knocked those off again. Oh, uh, so you've got... <laughs> I'm going to go back to the main desk in a second because I'm <laughs> not safe today. I'm not safe. Look, so there's your little, your little dicky bird holding that little heart. They do look like they're talking, don't they? The little rabbit looks yeah. like it's talking. I've seen a couple of um, pictures like this, actually, that have, and, and I'm, I say I've, I've seen them because I haven't bought them because they were probably about 300 quid, uh, but they're amazing. Then the whole tree is full of incredible colours and glitter and all sorts. They're stunning. And I'm thinking you could possibly create something like that yourself, to Absolutely. be perfectly honest. Absolutely. So they're just gorgeous. So that's our, uh, the, the little rabbit on that one, where love grows. We've also got by moonlight. So again, you can really see so many different layers. I love this because it really does give you it gives you dimension in terms of perhaps you imagine the hills. It's really clever. 
Um, we talk about the tapestry of the fields, don't we? I, yeah. I, grew, I grew up in um, dairy country and obviously there's, you know, the fields were all partitioned off with dry stone walls and that sort of thing. And this, it's so clever because it gives you that element of that English countryside, the mm. English uh, farmland and all of that. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's really condensed down into that little design. It's so clever, it's beautiful. It's fabulous and you see the little house right there at the back by the trees. It's just, yeah, it's fabulous, isn't it? And last but not least is our Petit Fleur frame, which is, again, a really elegant frame. Beautiful to really, again, you can take elements of. You don't have to use the whole thing in its entirety. You might choose to use perhaps just a corner of that, uh, or there might be a certain little selection. I mean, you can see, again, you've got those beautiful blossoms in there as well. But really nice sizes, these ones. Really beautiful craft dies. Not £44.97. We're going to go down on price on these again. A little deal, because we like deals. We love deals, in fact, here at Hobby Maker. So let's take these down for you as well. So you've got the option. If you want to, obviously, you can get the first bundle or you can get the second bundle up to you. Uh, but at £37.99, you have the choices here. And that's what it's all about. We'll show you some examples of these in a second because I've got some lovely cards uh, that have been made. Now, they are all there on the web for you individually as well. So if you do want to just perhaps, maybe you really love that one where love glow, uh, grows with the little hair, not glows, uh, but you could cover it in something that glows. Um, if you want to get that on its own, you can do. That's on the web, all loaded up for you, and we'll get those prices. Uh, they'll all be down as well. Um, phenomenal. Shall we have a little look at some of these actually made up for you? Because they are, as I said, they're incredibly, incredibly detailed. So if you want to just see them as... The silhouette, I'll show that to you first of all. It's just quite nice on, the, on kind of the craft paper, isn't it, as well? Yeah, I love that. Just a nice cream and craft. It's always classic, isn't it? It looks yeah. lovely. Quite fresh, quite modern. I love that design. And you've got lots of options of uh, paper piecing because you've got those little honeycomb shapes which pop out. So yeah. you could cut those in a different colour and pop those back in. You've yeah. got flowers on there that you can pick out. Lots and lots of options, and hopefully I'll get to show you a few as we go. Yay, absolutely. And Be Happy, you can see there those beautiful bees. Be Happy is in bundle A. We'll show you more of these as we go through the day, but I'm just going to fling this in as well, because hello, Look Sparkle. Look at that Sparkle. <gasps> That's phenomenal. That's in our holographic glitter bits coming up shortly. Oh, my word. Well, I, I do love the glittery bits. Absolutely gorgeous. That is coming up for you as well. Let me I'll just show you two of each for now and because we want to get into some demos very, very quickly because uh, we've got loads to do. So let's move to our fabulous hair. So let's move to the moonlight. There we go. So by the moonlight, got that beautiful hair. So that's in its sort of uh, kind of original form if you like then bringing in some incredible incredible colors working with the gorgeous blues that you're seeing perhaps sitting there in the daylight and then if we are going to the moonlight well we may as well that's stunning oh is that a little it's almost like a that, little mirror that is the moon in <gasps> done in silver mirror card yeah that and is fab this and is this is a fabulous die because you've so many options for different color palettes uh, the paper piecing again yeah it's that's it's wonderful. just gorgeous and i love you've got the little sentiments on there as well those Happiness are from our wordies made. They're coming up yeah. the word is a little bit later. This one is by Ali. Thank you for doing that for us, Ali. Just moving on again to our roses in blue. There we go. So this is that fantastic frame that you can see on that one. But you don't have to leave it like that. Again, you can really work with this. Uh, Debbie Smith made this one for us. Love you. Gorgeous. And again, you've got wonderful what looks like almost a, a kind of a fabulous sunset happening behind that one. Really, really fantastic. And how about using some of that for a wedding invitation? Really lovely. So totally different to actually how it looks as a as That's a dye. right. This is what we're talking about, the snippability. Um, that's been snipped into a couple of different pieces and then placed inside a heart aperture. That's so clever and it's so lovely, really lovely. as you say, for a wedding, an anniversary or something like that. Yeah, romantic Valentine's card as well would be rather nice. And your home tweet home. Cute, isn't it? And you can really see the detail actually when it's cut out like that. But of course, you may want to add in some of your colour. So it's happening there, bringing out those beautiful. They look like little chicks there, don't they? They do. For that lovely yeah. yellow. You could go to town with your birds and make them whatever colour you like. They could be fancy tropical parrots. They could be Ooh. English bluebirds. Anything yeah. you like. Absolutely fantastic. And just to show you another one here. Uh, there we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. I think this is Christine. So just using the actual wording. On yeah, that so one. when the letters have been cut out, that's actually what you might consider to be the waste, but clearly it's not. No. Because you can use that on its own and yeah. make another card from it. Nothing is waste. 
Beautiful. And Well of Groves. I'm going to get a wiggle on. Uh, so Well of Groves. Obviously, this is the classic one, isn't it? With that lovely little rabbit peeking up into the tree to see that little birdie. Uh, and you can see on here. Now, wait for this. My goodness me. Fabulous. Absolutely fantastic. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So really bringing out all of the detail within there. Another quick one to show you as well. Again, handmade by Christine. I think that was Christine Smith. That's gorgeous. That's really isn't that colourful, beautiful? Isn't it? Really colourful. And she's used that border there from the Home Tweet home, home as well, just to add another element. Yeah, of course. So you can really mix and match across yeah. these dyes, actually, which is great. And last but not least, we're going to do the Petit Fleur frame, which is this one. If you're just adding that in, and it might be that you just want that particular one, so you can go a little bit alone and grab that on its own if you don't want to go for the bundle, uh, which I know loads of you are. And there, you've, again, you've got your words in the centre, and again, so much going on, framing all of that, and then mixing a couple of these, mixing that together with your home tweet home. So you've got your little birdies in there from home tweet home. And again, a totally different look, completely, completely. different feel on that. Yeah. They're and fabulous. that that frame is so elegant, so beautiful. And you can cut that middle out um, of, of a, you know, if you balance it onto mm. another piece of card, cut the centre out and you could have it raised and look down into a sentiment or another yeah. image or something like that. So there's loads Glorious. of options with it. Mm. Yeah, so keep checking out on those, whether you want to go for the first bundle, the second bundle, or whether you want to go for any of those individually. I know you're going to get inspired today as well. Uh, so let's let's have some inspiration, shall we? Shall we have our first demo? I think we will. Right, Gwen. Okay, so I'm going to start by using some of the uh, Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Sparkles. I'm going to show you how the die is cut. Just want to do this first. Super. So I'm going to pop a piece of uh, our coconut white cardstock into my um, box here. I just do it inside a box just to prevent any sort of overspill. And the yep. two colours I'm going to use are Sunburst and Heavenly Hues. Now the Pixie Sparkles are again from our Cosmic Shimmer range. This is a slightly different product from the, the ones we've seen already. So we've seen Pixie Bursts and we've seen Pixie Powders. Yep. These are Pixie Sparkles. So these have got large flakes of mica in there with a dye and a pigment. So they, you tap the bottle and you can see this sort of sparkly dust coming out of the bottle. Lovely. Which you think, well, there's, that's not very exciting. Nothing's happening. But the beauty of these products is that when you activate them with water, that's when the dye and the pigment comes alive. And that sparkle, trust me, is incredible. Yeah. So let me just mist this and give you an idea of where we're going. Now look at that. There was nothing, appeared to be nothing on that card. And suddenly. So this is the sunburst and you can see it's got orange in there. There's even little bits of green. I'm just going to spritz the back of my card as well to stop it doing that bowing thing that it does when it's only wet on one side. And I'm also going to bring in the heavenly hues. Now this one is pink and blue. Look at that. It's like wow. confetti. That's amazing, isn't it? But it's also got this incredible sparkle. And when it mixes with the sunburst, we're going to get some lovely shades of green happening as well. So don't think you can only use one of these together because absolutely not. Do experiment, mix them up, and then you'll create your own bespoke mixtures and colours as well. And you're getting a bundle for £8.50 for two, so you might as well grab a couple of bundles, really. Oh, they yeah. They last you a long while. They do last a long time. They're only a small pot, but they're packed, and you don't need a lot for it yeah. to work. So great. you can take that to as far as you like. You can see here where I've got a lot more water, it's going more marbly. Yep. Or over here where there's less water, it's more speckly. Nice. So, you know, you can play around with that till you get an effect that you like. And then just set that to one side and let it dry. And you that's can. That's two colours. That's just two colours. Yeah. Incredible. You can speed up the drying with a heat gun. Mm -hmm. um, you can also mop some of it up if you think, like here, it's looking a bit muddy because um, you tend to get that when you mix blues and greens together. You, you do tend to get a muddy brown. And if that's not what you want, then you just dab it away. Um, and you, you can, to some degree, manipulate what you get. Yeah. So that's really pretty, and those are really, really sparkly. When it's dry, we'll be able to see just how sparkly those are. So I've got a panel already done, and this is how it looks when it's dry. Oh, my goodness. So very different, and Gosh. the shimmer and oh, wow. shine on that is something else, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. That's phenomenal. So, yeah, you can really see the effect of it now. So this is going to be the basis for my card and I want to cut from this the Home Tweet Home die. 
So when you get the dies, you get with this one an outer cutting edge, which allows you to create a panel, a backdrop or a frame for it. Um, and you also get the inner cutting edge. So this cuts all the detail, but it doesn't cut the outer edge of this particular right. bit. And that's what I want on this occasion. So you always get those with these particular dies, you always get those? Um, not always, but, but, but a lot of the panels. times you do, yeah. yeah. So I need to just um, find my plates for my machine. Mm -hmm. And I knew I'd forgotten something. Never mind. I've got my double-sided tape, uh, my, my low-tack tape. Yep. That would have held that in place, but let's hope for the best. I'm going to go for it. Turn the machine on. And using the Gemporia cutting machine. Yes, which I absolutely love, especially for these very intricate dies because it, it just cuts with ease and takes yeah. all the bits, just pop out. It's fabulous. We'll put the details of that on the screen for you as well. That's in at 99.99. If you want to get hold of one of those, please do so. Thank you, Dali. Thanks. That's brilliant. Take lovely card. All right, so you can see that. Don't throw that away because that's good for cutting other things out of yeah, or a sentiment definitely. or something like that. But what I've done here is cut that frame. I'm just going to carefully ease it out of the die. Don't, don't be impatient at this point. Um, and wow. although, look how all those bits have just popped out. It's so clean. Um, we can now take our little point, if needs be, and remove any of those little elements that we don't want in there. Yeah. So let me grab my little tool and they will just pop out so easily and what I find with the pixie sparkles when they've coated the card it almost gives it like a, a coat well a coating it's like mm. a coated card stock yeah. so it feels sort of it feel almost, almost plasticky right. yeah uh, and it is a permanent finish on it once they've dried mm. so really hard wearing really beautiful so just get all these bits out yeah you can see how well the machines cut. Absolutely. There. There's not many to pop out. And sometimes you, you can spend half an hour getting all the bits out of your yeah. die. So there we go. That's um, nicely cleaned. Just get rid of those bits. And then I'm going to create another background for this. So I've got a piece of white cardstock here. And I'm going to bring in one of the airless misters. So I'm going to use a brush this time. A large flat brush and we did bring you some brushes last time yep. so hopefully you grab those you'll be all set up to do this so I'm just going to mist onto my piece of card and these misters are amazing because they have no tube inside them so the bottom of the bottle moves up Oh. retaining the vacuum right. so you never lose the pressure when you want to work with them Perfect. sometimes with um dye liquids you you get to a point where the tube in the bottle doesn't reach the ink anymore yeah. and then you can't do anything with it yeah. this that will never happen you can get every last scrap out of that bottle so that really clever color. That, is it the Maya this blue? is Maya blue, isn't it? Just the most gorgeous. That's, I mean, I want to swim in that. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I want it quite... Um, That's lovely. What's the word? Quite streaky. I want yeah. it. I want a little bit of variety in the shade. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. And if you want to get so. this one, by the way, it's in a set of two. So you get your Maya blue and you get your amber lights as well. So you get the two colours, which is, again, great. I'd just say, just wipe the nozzle when you've finished with it. Okay. Um, keep it in tip-top condition yeah. for when you want to use it again. So that's going to be my second background for the card. I'll just pop that over there. Again, you could speed that up by drying it with a heat gun, but I've got one here that I've already done. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. And can you mix the two colours together? Obviously oh, absolutely. You your blue and your amber. You can yes, do. you can. Oh, wow. So when you pop that on there, it really makes a smashing oh, it? contrast. It really makes it lovely, doesn't it? Mm. So I want to cut that down so that... Oh, I've just found another bit in my leaf. Poke it. Get it now. I want to cut this down so it's just the same size as my die. Right. So um, I could use a trimmer if I was, you know, being really precious about it, but I'm just going to mark with a pencil and trim off with my scissors. Um, and then we can attach the two together. So I just cut slightly inside where I made my pencil mark. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, if you do just want this one die on its own, you can get that. It's in at £14.99. That's your home tweet home. And I'm sure you will. Lots of you are diving into that one as well. Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue. Yeah. 
and we'll just pop some glue down this. I find sometimes when I'm doing these dies, I don't stick every element down. I like to leave some of it just kind of, it gives it a little bit of movement somehow, you know, a little bit of lift. Well, I guess so, with those leaves, you could kind of pick elements of that and, and lift them up, couldn't you? Yes, absolutely. Um, but what I'm saying is you don't need to painstakingly go around and glue every little tiny speck. So sometimes what I do is I put, put my die face down. It's easier then to get the back on. Oh, of course. Just a little tip. And that glue's great as well. You've got a really precise nozzle on it. Yes, so you it really is. And then um, if you do have any little bits, I've just got a little bit too much on there. Just wipe it, but it dries clear so you won't Brilliant. see it once it's dry. Yeah. So just pop that down. Okay, let me grab a clean piece of paper. And then the next thing I've done is um, inked some ribbon. Okay. Now I'm going to put a glove on for this because I'm going to get my fingers in it. <laughs> and although it does come off your hands, it's not a problem. It's water-based, and it, but it does stain initially. So yeah. um, just for the sake of, of today, mm -hmm. I'm, going to, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to keep my hands clean. So I'm going to wet the, the ribbon first. I'm just going to scrunch that so that the water gets into the ribbon. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to bring in my airless mister. And again, I'm just going to sort of wipe up the ink, mop it up yeah. with that ribbon. Um, you can add a little bit more and just scrunch it about and then leave it to dry. I usually pop it on the radiator on a piece of paper or something like that. Yeah. But what happens is you get this fabulous tie-dye effect. Nice. So just pop that to one side. I'll just pop it there. Take my glove off now. I'm not doing any more surgery today. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe up the ink off your mat. And then we can have a look at the ribbon when it's dried. And I've already tied this into a nice tatty bow. Super. So that's going to go down the side here. Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely. So we can attach that with a little bit of double-sided tape or some glue, entirely up to you. I wouldn't use glue on ribbon where it's going to be seen mm. because it tends to seep through. Yeah. But on the back of a piece like this, you can certainly use glue. Just be careful when you're putting ribbons down that you don't pull it so tight that it boomerangs. That's never good. No. I know because I've done it. <laughs> you end up with a card like that. Yeah. So I'll just neaten up the scruffy ends of that. Just really not because they're going to be seen, obviously, but just to reduce the bulk at yeah. the back of the card. So there we have our home tweet home. And then it's really a matter of finding a lovely matching or toning piece of card. It's difficult because this one's come up slightly more yellow than my original one. So the peach doesn't look quite as good, but you know. Oh, I love it. Matching yeah. blouse, though. Lovely top. <laughs> Colour coordinated, <laughs> of course. <laughs> All planned. Oh, yes. So again, just glue or double-sided tape, whichever is your preference. And let's pop this on here. That looks great. And then we can cut our home tweet home. I could have done it at the same time yeah. um, from what we've got left here. Mm -hmm. So if I take the other part of the die, Pixie Sparkle does so much of the work. It really it? does. It's so beautiful. And this is really easy to achieve as well. I mean, it's not like you've got to spend hours and hours doing it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Corinne. She's kindly lent me a double sa uh, low tack tape. <laughs> um, let me just grab a little bit. We're all caring and sharing here, really. Of course. We? We're all lovely. Uh, where are my plates? Here we go. Come on. I'll discombobulate it today, I don't know. Right. right, so we'll cut this in our fabulous machine. So popping that through the... Popping it through the Gemporia die-cutting machine again. Oh, yes. Slicing it through. If you want to grab hold of that, that is on the web. And if you do want to get this particular bundle, which is bundle A, which is the first three of the die cuts, then you can get that for $34.99. You are making a saving on that as well. So grab so, a bundle. What you get with this, which I absolutely love, are the innies and the outies. Yeah. So if you're careful and you save the little extra pieces from the lettering, 
you can use that to put the middles in the O's. But that, because it's got a little embossed edge where the die sat, you can just take your scissors and cut around that. And that would give you something like this, which you can use on another project. Lovely. Um, but if you just want to save the middles in the O's, then mm -hmm. you can pop those back in, but you don't have to. It still makes sense to somebody reading it, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. So we'll just pop this out. And we've got the letters. And I want to show you how I get these back in the right position. Okie dokie. You can leave them in the die, put glue on them in the die, and then pop that down. But it's hard to see exactly where you're going with that. Mm -hmm. um, or what you can do is use your negative to get them in the right position. So if you pop this where you want it, and then if you take your glue in a fine nozzle, bottle just pop your glue inside that letter there and then you can stick your M in where it came from Perfect. and then whoops you get the idea yeah so you put all your letters in place like that it helps keep them straight it helps keep them all where you want them yeah great and when you've finished nice you'll have the full word um in the center where exactly where you need it so um you've got a sample there ruth that's oh. quite similar to this if this one if you find the one with the ribbon on oh yes yes there we go that has that's it there. that's the one so that's a slightly different example and what i've done there i've used some of the wordies and i've added them down the ribbon oh. at the side so that's just a slight variation on what i'm showing you now so if i just pop that there for com comparison and then i've also got from another bit of the offcut of my pixie sparkle i've popped some of the wordies down and glued them on so i've got congratulations and you did it well, that could be for anything couldn't it yeah you know passing exams passing your driving test having a baby, yeah. whatever it might be. Um, and then we can just add these to the ribbon at the side. I wasn't going to say, but maybe we just got through the show. Maybe, that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> so let's pop that. Oh. Congratulations. You did it. Obviously, if you've got home to eat home, then you're going to be referring to somebody moving house okay. and getting their first home or whatever, that, you know, in that and then onto a base card for that just to finish it off and i just chose a plain cream for that and if you imagine you've got home tweet home in the middle there gorgeous and there we go so lovely all of those different layers right obviously. lovely colors yeah really cheery yeah. chirpy yeah possibly say with the little birds isn't it yeah chirpy um beautiful and of course if you want to get that dye you can grab it on its own by all means but you can also grab it as a bundle you can get that as part of the first bundle bundle a we've also got bundle b for i love the word bundle uh, bundle it's just satisfying i have to say it a lot uh, it just makes me think of annie the music for musical because mr bundles was in that wasn't he mr bundles i've never seen it i've never seen it i've never seen <gasps> annie i was just about to play miss hannigan before the world shut down oh really a musical for about oh 20 wow years, and i finally went right i'm going for that and yeah i was very much looking forward to it mainly because she drinks a lot of gin um, right, so <laughs> shall we bring the wordies in? Because these are fabulous. We have just mentioned them. And then, of course, we've got another demo. We might go for by moonlight next. Uh, so wordy sentiment sheets. Oh, my gosh, there's loads on these. We've got birthday every day and inspiration. And when I say wordies, I mean words, 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 words galore on these ones. You literally have so, so much. They're brilliant. Look at everything you're getting in there. So you've got happy birthday to you. You've got cheers. Have a fabulous day. At birthday wishes. Have a wonderful day. Time to celebrate. Sending you lots of love. There's loads and loads in there. Um, the every day I like make a wish. Good luck. You and me. Enjoy. Hugs from me. Hello. Dream, my love. Believe in magic. Smile. You did it. Be you. Just because loads of those and you can mix all of these sentiments up of course as well over the moon just saying that's a nice one isn't it just saying just checking in just saying and you're inspirational at the end there as well you're amazing stay positive smile happiness looks good on you i like, I like need that to smile more i love that time, isn't it yeah life is a beautiful ride today's a new day that's a good one as well um never let go of your dreams wild at heart a dream is a wish your heart makes you need to sing that don't you really isn't that, isn't that Cinderella? 
Uh, Dancing in the Rain, Dare to be Different, loads. I can't believe that these individually are £2.99. I think that's just, I think that's absolutely incredible. And you are getting a pack of four of these. So you're getting two black and you're getting two white. So you literally are going to absolutely adore these ones. Um, so literally, if you want to use these, Glenn, is this just a question that you've just cut them out, just put them on foam pads? Or yeah, just cut them, them into strips. Um, you can put them up on foam tape if you want. Mm. You can just put them flat, as I just did, across the ribbon. Yeah. Um, you can make up your own phrases. Obviously, there's so many options there with the wording. Exactly. Um, you can actually colourise them as well, which I'll oh. be showing you as we go along. Um, even the black ones, you can put polish onto those oh, okay. um, if you've got some of the uh, interference polishes and, and things that are quite heavily pigmented they will okay. colorize over the black but certainly the white you can paint with the Alice misters and with the pixie sparkles and all of that you can color them nice. so I mean there's yeah. just loads there's loads on there yeah. and at 2.99 I know you get four sheets in each one two black two white with vice versa in terms of the lettering if you already open your order for less than a tenner you get the lot so I, I, w I would, because I think you'll find very easily mixing the birthday every day and inspirational. You can make up your own sentiments as well by using different words from those. Um, they, they just, they just, they're, they're amazing. I just think the little one, smile, dream, fabulous. It's never too late. There's so many different things that go on in life that you will look at these sentiment sheets and think, yeah, I, I could send this to so-and-so. They're having a, a time of it at the moment. They're just going off to try and do this. Maybe just on a bit of a wibble and a wobble in life and you just need to send somebody a card that says smile. We all have those days. We all have those moments. And there's nothing better than receiving, a, even if it's just, even if you're writing a simple letter and you want to put some of these on, be that person. Maybe you want to put them on the envelope, but be that person that thinks about, you know, your friends, your family. And, and it just, oh, it's, they're so lovely to receive. And I think they add so much more to your card than £2.99. They really do. And again, it's that professional finish. Yes, you can write, never give up, I miss you. But isn't it lovely to have that little professional finish on there as well? Whether you're putting it on the front of your card, maybe, maybe you're putting it onto a little box, a gift box, gift tag, up to you. And of course, it's creative expression. So straight away, it's the quality of these that you're getting. And it's a super large sheet. Um, you're talking 250 GSM silk finish print on those as well, which is just absolutely, I mean, they're, they're superb. They're absolutely beautiful. And I think I'm right in saying as well that the black ones are done with toner ink, so you can hot foil on them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just oh, wow. maybe somebody could double check that for me because... Um, I think Kat's having a look. Did we, did we maybe I, do some of that the other day? We had some hot foil... Uh, but we didn't we didn't actually do anything with them right so that maybe we'll have to do that on a future show perhaps yeah we'll get that cracking so keep adding those to certainly the worth order. a try definitely and have a play you've got so much here this is sometimes what it's about isn't it it's having a little bit of a play they're 74p a sheet <laughs> so there really isn't a great deal to lose on those I don't believe if you and if you struggle sometimes you can't quite get the words or you can't quite think of of what to say there's your inspiration straight away, isn't it? Just cut those out and, and pop those on. They're just, they're just brilliant. £2.99, you get four sheets, grab all three of those and you're paying less than a £10 note. You've got a lot of words to use there, haven't you? Should never be lost for words with those. That's the key, isn't it? Uh, so very beautiful. And keep adding them to your order. Goodness me, time is just dissolving again. Um, should we have another demo? I think we should do. Um, are we heading into the Let's, moonlight? Let's, we're heading into the moonlight with the hair. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what I've got, I've got the outer edge and I've got the internal decorative panel as well. I'm going to cut the two at the same time. Oh, wow. So this is going to give us a, a finished panel. Um, when, when you're popping a die through a die cutting machine, if it's got a very square edge, it's mm -hmm. always a good idea to put it on a jaunty angle. Oh, okay. It helps the rollers inside the machine accept it more oh, sort of easily. Right. Um, if you go head on, it's a bit like going over a speed bump. Okay. You know, it's ooh, and the machine yeah. doesn't like it. Um, and sometimes you can get a bit of a ridge where you do that. So just tilt it on a little angle. No, it doesn't have to be anything major. Um, and you'll get a much better cut. Super. Oh, and apparently we can confirm with regards to the sentiments that they're treated with toner, did you say? Yeah, so I thought they were, but I didn't yeah. want to say, you know, when you say these things, they well, think, oh. we trust you, Gwen. Yeah, but I've done things like that before. <laughs> 
So, yes, so in that case, I'm happy to report, you can hot foil onto them, which is amazing. So the black part of those wordies will take the toner ink. Um, it's made with toner ink, sorry, and we'll take the hot foil, uh, but it won't obviously foil over the actual printing. So they're going to look really cool done like that, aren't they? Really amazing. Well, apparently we've got big plans for hot foiling coming our way at Hobby Baker. So oh, I love watch it. This space. Absolutely love it. All right, so again, a superb cut from that fabulous die cutting machine and of course the quality dies that we bring you from Creative Expressions. And there are lots of ways of getting your, your bits out, you can, well, out of your die. You can yeah. just flick, uh, you can take a point, um, you know, and, and push them out. Um, but these, I, honestly, they fall out so easily, it's just mm -hmm. lovely. So there we've got our fabulous hair in the moonlight. Just a couple of little pieces that are still hanging on in there. So let's get so rid of lovely. those. He's absolutely gorgeous. And I can't get over the skill in these dies. I mean, the lady that designs them is an actual paper cutter. So she does oh, these wow. sorts of designs literally by hand, Good cuts them by hand, uh, which I think is just superb. So talented. And yes, so to have them brought into die format for us is wonderful. Really, really special. Really lovely. So now what I'm going to do, I've got some plain card and I want to create a coloured backdrop for my lovely hair. So I've cut this, or I will cut it rather, with the same outer edge from that pairing, okay. but I want to colour it first. So I'm going to start by adding some lines that are going to help me with my positioning. Right. Let's just tap the bits out of my die. So we've got the lines as a guide. I can use these to just create some sort of hillside I'm just going to draw literally along these curves and then I want to do this bottom hill here so just to give me a starting point really and I'm going to bring in our fabulous luster polishers now let me tell you about these no, these, these scrummy incredible. yummy jars of gorgeousness this one's called apple fizz Wow. It, you can just see it makes me think of those sour apples that you used to have as oh. a kid you know those boiled sweets yeah straight away but now these are like a gel medium base packed with large pieces of mica and obviously a colour as well. But the shimmer you get from these is incredible. All of our polishers in the families come f in the jars like this with your applicator in the lid. So you just pop that out and you've got your sponge in the lid there. So they're like a little self-contained unit. They're fabulous. And I even use my lid as a, a stand when I'm working with the sponge. So what I want to do, I want to put green on this hill and... I'm going to use the Tango Tees or the orange one on this hill and I'm just going to start by using the applicator. It doesn't need to be superbly accurate because we're going to put a black die cut over the top of it. But try and stay to those lines if you can. If you can't, the other thing you could do is cut yourself a piece of paper and use it like a mask to cover up the bit you don't want. Yeah. And just uh, and do it that way. So you get all three colours, by the way. So if you are taking these home, they're on screen for £18.75. So you get that fantastic apple fizz. You get a Tango Tease, which is a gorgeous orange. Oh. And then you also get a fabulous, that blue is amazing. They, they are stunning. I think of all the polishes, I'd have to say the luster polishes, possibly my faves, if I'm allowed to say that. I did try and get the <laughs> lid off that. I was going to have a little dab myself, but I'll have that in a minute. Um, £18.75 for three? Not today. Let's get your price down on these as well. They smell amazing. I know I, shouldn't, I, I smell everything. I don't know why. Uh, but they are so good. That photograph times that by about 100 because they are so much more than they look on that photo. Yeah. £14.99 for three. That's really good. That's really That's good, fabulous. actually. That is. I'm sure they're a lot more than that. Yeah, well, we've taken a bit more off. <laughs> taken a little bit more off today. Oh, is that the tango? So this is the tango tease. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's like a burnt orange. It's yummy. But the sparkle that you get in these is something else. So you can see I'm, I'm not being really careful at all. It's actually quite messy, but that's fine. Because we are going to cover this up. So it's just a backdrop to those dyes. Mm. So let's... And it's amazing because you're obviously keeping the pot nice and clean rather yes. than dipping in and out. But you can also see what great coverage they give. That's awesome. I mean, that's just one application and it's covered yeah. that cardstock. Now, I probably need to do a little bit of um, cleaning up. I've got a bit of a ridge going on there. Let's get rid of that. Oh, look at that blue. Look at that teal. I know. Isn't it gorgeous? I love that. I'm going to dip my head in that. I won't. No, please don't. <laughs> They're amazing. So there we go. It's not absolutely oh. perfect, but 
Oh, it's gorgeous. It's okay. And then what I'm going to do on the top, I want it to bring in a couple of the pixie sparkles and I'm going to use these sparingly. Um, yeah. And I'm just going to tap across the sky portion. So again, this is what I love. I, I'm really into the Cosmic Shimmer stuff because I love mixed media and I love being able to play with all these amazing products and find out how to combine them and how to get different effects. And it makes it so easy with, when you've got really good quality products, which these are, to do that. So yeah, really, really great. Yeah. So I'm just going to grab a Mr. Bottle and I'm going to mist this lightly. And do you want to keep that away from the luster polish? Or does it really no, it doesn't really matter. It just adds to the effect. It's if you were bothered, you could paint that rather than spritz it. Mm -hmm. You could certainly bring in your brush and, um, and paint it. You see, I've got some speckles going on there, but I don't mind that. No, I don't. It all adds to it. All right. And then I'm going to cut that out um, with the outer edge of the, the pair of dies. So make sure you know which bit you want to keep. So just pop that in, assess where you want the frame to go and then cut that out. Obviously that needs to be dry before you can do that. Yeah. So let's pop that under there because I have one I did earlier. Here we go. So here we've got oh. that coloured background. The pixie sparkles in the sky give it just the most beautiful effect, like a starlit sky almost. Mm. And then on the actual die cut itself, I've just picked out the stars with a silver pen um and then we're ready to go with that so let me grab my fine glue so i still keep saying i'm going to bring you the cosmic shimmer glue and i keep forgetting to ask to have it on the show i must remember because <laughs> it really is a superb yeah. glue and if we can bring you these little fine nozzle bottles as well it yeah, just makes right. life so easy because obviously getting down fine lines like you can see on this die um would be quite hard with the nozzle on the big bottle. Mm. And you need very little of it because it's such a strong glue. It's an acrylic glue. Okay. Dries clear, sticks anything. Mm -hmm. But I shut up because I didn't bring it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's nice to know what it does at the yeah. same time. So. You think glue's glue, but it's really not. It's, and there's so many different types. Yeah. And different glues, like you say, for different things. For different jobs and yeah. yeah. So I'm just going round what I would call the major parts of the die. Yeah. And that's going to be sufficient to hold the whole thing. You don't need to glue every little bone. So we just need to get this in position. That's so lovely. Those colours work so well together, don't just they? Just lovely, isn't it? And yeah. really easy to do. If you're not so good um, with the sponges and positioning, you can always... Um, use a brush you can brush with the luster polishes as well you can paint with them yeah. so um, not a problem you can stamp with them as well so that's something for another day there we go and then I have got um, a silver mount for that but when I put that on there I thought oh it's a bit much a bit much silver so I wanted something in between okay so I cut myself another slightly smaller square and I've edged that with the luster polish. I use these such a lot for this job. When you haven't got the right cardstock, the best thing to do is make your own. And all you need to do is just pull that sponge down a couple of times and you've got your own beautiful shimmery coloured cardstock and it's going to match your project perfectly. Exactly. It's just so easy yeah. to craft like this. Well, it, I think it is. But I love them. Love them. And they're on screen, we're crashing on the price on those. Don't forget, you all pay the final low price. So don't worry about that. It's 14 99 for three pots. Not only do you get that gorgeous, zesty apple green, you get that wonderful tango orange, that tango tease. And of course, you get that phenomenal tantalizing teal as well. All three of those, they are delicious Monday. So yeah, perfect that it brings the whole thing together. Yeah, and they all are water-based, so cleanup's really easy. Your brushes wash out with Good. water. Like Just a little bit about the sponges. If you're going to be using them a lot over the next few days, just mist your sponge before you put it away and it will keep it moist. If you think, I'm not going to use it again for a couple of weeks, then actually rinse your sponge out um, and store it in the lid and it'll be absolutely fine next time you come back to it. Okay. Do you need to let it dry before you put it away? Or? Not really. 
Oh. And if your polish gets a little bit dry, which they can do, because again, they are water-based, just mist the top of your polish with a, a, just a, a light mist. Don't absolutely drown it, but just a light mist into the top of the jar like that. Pop the lid on and that'll keep it nice and fresh and juicy, ready to go. Super. So that's just a little bit of maintenance. Same goes for all of our polishers, really. Oh, look at that. So that's, that's the layering arrangement that I was going for. And then again, onto some of the silver mirror, I've chosen some of the black wordies this time and I've put wish a make. Wish a make. <laughs> we'll do, you know, that, 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 that. But that I'm going to put them up so I can swap them around. <laughs> we all wish a make every now and then. So we're going to go I? make a wish. <laughs> It was just Again, the way. Gwen did that on purpose, just to show you how, how? to move these around so easily. <laughs> it's what it's all about. So, I mean, you can trim these with scissors. You can take a knife if you're good with a craft knife. You can do it on a guillotine if you want it really super straight. I don't mind too much. Um, a little bit of higgledy piggledyness here and there. The trick with when you're cutting long straight sides is to use long straight scissors and try and do one cut. That'll give you a better finish. Mm -hmm. So make a wish. Let's pop that there. Pop those up on foam pads so they've got a little yeah. bit of height. Now in that moon, what I did on the die, I took a little piece of silver mirror, mm -hmm. popped it over the moon and put it through the cutting machine yeah. again. And that has given me the bits out of my moon. So now I can have the silver moon that you asked about earlier, yeah. weren't you? So let's just put in a little bit of glue into this aperture. Even the two little pieces there. I might need my tweezers for this. And then I've got this um, just attached on some low tack paper just so I could bring it ready done. But that's really easy to piece back in. And then these two little pieces might be a little fiddly. Tweezers, if you've got, got good tweezers, you're all right. Good tweezers, good eyes, pop your specs on. Yeah, that's always a good trick. And then you can see I've got glue here and there. Just dab off yeah. the worst of it, but it will just dry clear and you won't even notice it. Gorgeous. So there we've got our hair in the moonlight. And here we've got the finished one with Dare to Dream. That's lovely. That's really, really perfect, isn't it? How professional is that as well? It's Beautiful. lovely, isn't it? Yeah, and you get the chance to do this if you want to grab those dies. Get them individually by all means. Grab the bundles if you can, because they are brilliant. You are making a saving. And of course, get your wordies, those wordy sentiments. Get the whole kit and caboodle for less than a tenner. Uh, Gwen is back with us. Thank you, darling. Gwen is back with us in Ooh. an hour's time. I know, we're there already. Ooh. Ooh. In an hour's time, we've got fluffies. Fluffy, fluffy. Fluffy stuff. Fluffy stuff. Oh, Coming can't out. wait. Don't go anywhere. And of course, the fantastic Corinne is joining us at the other side of this. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Here at 
hobby maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Let's do it. Gin. <laughs> I love Australia, but Turkey, cow can in Turkey, I need to go back, it's my heartbeat. A cat, I love my cats. Sleep all day, get looked after, get fed, go to sleep again, get snuggles, go to sleep again, eat again, cat. Never seen The Godfather. <laughs> night in, because I'm old, pyjamas, big glass of gin, cats, husband, night in. Torn, Natalie and Bruglia. Uh, you give the talent? No, can't do it. Da -da -da, I'm torn, I'm already. No, don't, no, can't even do, do that again. I can't even do that. That's horrendous. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So, how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Makers account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. Hello, welcome back to the show here at Hobby Maker. I'm delighted to be joined by the lovely Corinne, who I've not seen for quite some time. I know, time. it's a while, isn't it? We've only had one show I know. so far. I like we? this, look at this. Imagine I like height. this. I know, although oh, I have got... Makes I me have, feel good. I have got a chair, but I sat on it and I disappeared <laughs> behind everything, so I thought, I'll oh, say hello first. <laughs> How are you, my lovely? I'm really good, thank you. Looking forward to this. These are beautiful dies. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah, they really are. We've got a big show for you yeah. right now, a big sort of focus on die cutting right now. Uh, again, some exceptional bundles, some fantastic cards to share with you, the whole kit and caboodle, and of course, the mm. candy floss. <gasps> so da, pretty, da, isn't it? Da. Oh my gosh, it's, I mean, it's pink. It's I know. All I need to know in my life. Can I just um, say, ready for later, um, I have been removing gilding flakes from here <sighs> since I started setting up. Gilding flakes, we're going to be seeing those later at four. Well, but yeah, uh, yeah. So but, yours but, won't have gilding flakes on it. No, unless you, <laughs> unless you specifically want them. Unless you get your gilding flakes home, because we are going to do those at four o'clock. Yeah. Uh, it's gone crazy for gilding oh, flakes out yes. there right now. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. So we've managed to get you some. They're on pre-order now if you want them. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit of footage, actually, of, of Sarah Davies using those as well, because she did a fantastic vase. Uh, but they are, they are amazing, yes. aren't they? It's like, stop the world, get off. Yeah. Got to get them. Uh, but this hour, right now, as I said, we're really focusing on some fantastic, fantastic fantastic bundles we've got two separate bundles we're going to start off with first of all and then one whopper una so if you want to get everything together which chances are you probably will do when you see them uh, but we just wanted to give you options today which i think is quite fantastic as well so let's dive in because otherwise time will be just ticking away so i'm going to start with bundle one which is at the top um, and which is butterfly hearts spring blooms and then you've also got the dragonfly on there as well. Mm -hmm. um, the opulent dragonfly. I mean, I say that and there's so much more than what I've just <laughs> said, to be perfectly honest. Butterfly heart. I mean, just look at this. It's absolutely stunning. And when you see these in a moment, and we'll show you obviously some samples that have been made as well, you're just going to be blown away. The quality, again, is absolutely exceptional with each and every single one of these. Uh, they're a really lovely size. So you can see there, that is your butterfly heart. Uh, so you've got three individual pieces within there on that one. Um, I'm trying to think. Some have got three and some have got four. That one's got three. So that's yes, got three. Yes, so you've got, three so you've, got you've got the the two sides of the heart and the butterfly. 
Yes. Absolutely. Super. So you can see those yeah, possibly. Right, I'll bring them here then. We, do, we don't have to display, um, damage Wouldn't the fly, display. Wouldn't lean over either, which is fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Right, which one are we looking so at next? Butterfly Heart. Yep, then we've got your um, right. spring blooms. Spring blooms. Yep, you get six in this one. Lovely. So you, so you get the two out. You get the oh, should I put it like that? Yep, that's so you get the two outsides there. You can see the two outsides, and then look at this. You get all that's of these lovely, extra little it? flowers as well. Wow, that's yeah, that's so gorgeous. pretty. I think of my book. I do like butterflies and hearts, but I just love this one, and different, I'm going to show you a it? lovely demo with this yeah, later. It's really, yeah, really different. So that's your first two, and then your third part of the bundle is Ooh. the opulent dragonfly. <gasps> there we go. Now three again in here. So you've got what is so brilliant about these, and we haven't really talked about. It. So the two halves of your your aperture yeah. are different. Okay. But they they can they make a whole. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yep. Absolutely. So it's not a symmetrical um, aperture. Mm -hmm. So that means that you can use the two together. Yeah. You can use that one twice or that one twice. So you've only got two dies and your extra embellishment. Uh -huh. But if we concentrate on those, I've got three apertures I can make. Amazing. Then I could do off the edge of my sides of my card um, yeah. and ones like that. But if we just talk about apertures, each one of those pairs of dies makes three completely different apertures. Wow. Yeah. So again, a lot in every single one of these that you're getting. Um, and you can buy them all individually. We'll give you that option as well. They're all available on the website now. But We'd like to do you a deal on the bundle, because we always do. So if you, you're just thinking, OK, I'm checking out on those, £29. No, everybody pays the final low price. So we're going to take you a little bit off that. And in fact, we're going to go all the way down to twenty-four ninety-nine for those three individual dies, which is amazing. If you want it all, though, if you're thinking, I want the other set of three, wait. <laughs> all right? That's all I'll say. Hang on to your horses. Just wait. I know it's hard because they're fabulous and you want to get involved, but I promise you we're okay for stock at the moment. Uh, let's do the second bundle mm -hmm. for you as well. So this is featuring uh, your Nouveau Roses, the Floral Arch and the Floral Delight. Yes. So Nouveau Roses right. first so, of all. Nouveau Roses. So this is sort of your floral bundle. There you go. You can see them on there. But yeah. This is your floral bundle. Look at this. And That's I love lovely, that all of the apertures are different. We've got a heart. We've got an oval. We've got a square. And you're going to look at one in Good a minute. Point. Look at this one down here. You know, really sort of geometric shapes. Yeah. But they are all different. So this one, again, you've got the one frame there. You've got the really detailed mm. there. And then you've got two extra embellishments. So you're getting the full four dies in this one. Fabulous. So, so pretty. That's first Nouveau Roses. Yep. And we've got the Floral Arch. Oh, now this is going to be our first demo because I oh, love nice. this one. And so, again, you've got the two different sizes of your arch. And I'll show you here because I've already got this one out of the packet. Can oh, you super. see they are, they're quite different. Yeah. So you sort of have a, um, a fancy one mm -hmm. and a plainer one. I love them. I love yeah. the fact that they're not the same. Yes. I think it's yeah. Great. And then you've got your floral embellishment as well. Yeah. So loads of options because of that. And then Floral Delight is the third one in this bundle. Now this is lovely. Look at this. Look at that. It's Gorgeous. Art Deco, Very geometric. Much. It's absolutely beautiful. And the four pieces because you've also got two extra dies in there. And again, you know, have the flowers on both sides. And I'm going to show you, even when it's like that, don't think your flowers are going to be upside down. We can cut it from the back. Okay. We can cut from the back so that you're still oh, working. Of yes. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Ah. Yes, because if you think about it, if we did the heart, if you did the heart, if we did it like, if you cut like that, yeah. then if you turned it round, it'd be upside down. So if we cut that one that way, and then we'll cut that one that way up in. Amazing. So it's really clever if that's what you want to do. I'll show you how that all works in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll do some demos on all of these. And again, mm -hmm. another little deal on these three for you. Again, if you want all six, Hang fire, we'll do them all together as one big bundle in a second. But if you do want all of those, you've got four, eight, 11, 11 individual elements to those ones. 24. 99. I, and you know, so I did a four, eight, like count on that. I, I, I understand you're, you're pretty good with numbers. I like my numbers. I've, I've heard, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, oh, so I, I told you yeah. that. Uh, I can't tell you. Uh, little birdie, but uh, I'm no Carol Vorderman, but I understand you are. Uh, 24 99 on all of those. So a fantastic bundle again with your Nouveau Roses, your Floral Arch and the Floral Delight. So florals are your kind of thing, go with those. But they're not like girly, girly florals. No. They're really quite yeah. dynamic, actually. They are, yeah. But if you want everything, which you probably will, because you might want to add in your dragonflies, you might want to add in uh, the spring bloom, the butterfly heart and the opulent dragonflies, let's do something fabulous. Because really, really special deal lined up for you on this. So 22 pieces individually from all of these six. 
and we're going to go down on price. We're at £59.94, but check this out because you all pay the final low price, you know that. One set of P&P for everything. We are going under, well under £50 today. And on splitters, so £23.99 today for your split payment next month same day next month 23.99 again and that's it we don't add on any interest we don't sort of make you wait until the second payment until you get them you get them just like if you would paid for the whole lot uh, today and you can still but don't be afraid to ask to play on uh, to pay on split pay if you ring the call center on our free phone number and say can I do it on split pay don't be shy about that i always do it yeah. I, I don't remember the last time i did the full <laughs> price i went no splitters please i don't splitters um why well, not it's there to make life easier it is. i think it just means you can buy more in a show and you can spread that payment which is great and of course one set of pmp if you buy one item today or everything in the show uh, across the day till six it's still three pound 95 which is amazing and you're there hello helen hello to stephen to another crafter joining we've got brand new crafters again uh, every day here which is wonderful so come on in let us know you're there if you've got any questions of course for corinne please yes. send those in as well if you've never used a die like this if you've got questions please do but we are going to go through this step by step i always giggle when i say that we're going to go through this i'm not going to do anything because <laughs> we are a part of a team but we're going to watch we are because this yes. is how we learn as well so yeah. corinne's teaching us and we're going to see some fantastic cards as well that have already been made up do you want to see a couple of the cards first yeah, shall, we look at, shall i show you this one because yeah. this really shows how the dies oh um can be used in the different elements so if i show you this one can you see here they've if actually i would not automatically go yeah. that way but it's been put um sort of landscape but can you see we've got the two different sides yes. of the die there so you've got the two different ones but on yes. this one we've used the same die right. twice and can you see how, what the difference in the appearance Super. is? It works really, really well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's beautiful. There's so yeah. many different... I love it when we see the samples like this as well. Because there's so many different ones. I'll just show you a couple of these. This is designed by, uh, by Julie Howard. I'm guessing it's, it's going to easel card. Like yeah. That. There we go. So your easel card, yeah. which is absolutely it's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It really is. So she's used the two That's different the sides different. and then the embellishments to create these gorgeous gold ones there. They are just now superb. we were just talking about them coming over the edge of your cards like yeah. that. And doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous? So just using one cut into the side with a little bit of a drop shadow looks perfect and then all the little extra embellishments there just now you look at that one and i was like this one, mm, this one is a different collection they've just used a different <laughs> butterfly on the front because when you open it out oh wow isn't that oh beautiful now if you are liking these papers i th i'm pretty certain that yes That's this stunning. is um one of these papers are available on the show today these pattern the pattern papers this yes, is our vintage those. butterfly yeah vintage butterflies yeah. 12 by 12 yeah. paper pad is coming up in this hour as well is that from leanne who sent us that one uh, yes yes leanne uh, they are gorgeous we've got lots and lots to show mm -hmm. you we'll keep uh, sort of showing these to this, you we'll uh, just do we've one got, more then we'll oh, go but look at that are, look at the difference so if you change it and go black with your gilding waxes oh my you get goodness. a completely different look don't you that is really, really special. It looks as completely well. different, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally. So, yeah. lots of different ideas, lots of different ways of working with the same die. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you're working with different paper stock, whether you're adding on different embellishments, there's lots That's and lots it. you can do with these ones. Uh, so, um, should we dive in? I think Have we should. Okay. Right, I'm going to be using my Candy Floss um, Gemini. So, as you know, this is a limited edition um, die cutting machine, and we only have it here, and it's, you know, Get it quick. Get it quick because it's also with a massive deal. You get over £75 worth in terms of a free goodie bag, all right? So just while stocks last, um, it's on your side graphic at the moment there. You can see the, the code that side going to poke you in the ear then, but I did that. Um, so it is, it is there for you, but you get an amazing, amazing, amazing goodie bag on that whilst stocks last. You've named it. It is our fantastic candy floss, uh, Gemini die cutting and embossing machine. Same quality exclusive uh, to us right now here at Hobby Maker. So make the most of that whilst you've got it with the goodie bag on because it's fabulous. Okay. So I've just taken a plain piece of white cardstock and I'll, I can, I'll I might show you this in a minute. And all I've done is I've gone round the edges with my um, water reactive um, inks okay. and then I've just picked some up and splattered some on there. Now the purple really isn't on the show, that's our damson wine, but the green is our green topaz and we've got a bundle with this on. Just to show you how you can put all your different inks Super. together, that's really simple to achieve. You can do that after you've done your die cutting or before, it's up to okay. you. So I'm going to take the two bits. Now they are different sizes, if I just show you on here, if I put the cut blades, can you see 
the apertures right. are different. So don't, when you're doing two different ones, don't mark the middle of your card. If I was using two of the same, I'd find my middle point so that I've got okay. a perfect aperture. You, have, you need to do it by eye when right. you're doing the two separate ones because can you see you yeah. don't even though i've got this i've got the let's just go a little bit over there i've got the same size border mm -hmm. either side but that's not down the middle but that works perfectly yeah. as long as you know then you can work it out so tape on the waist always yeah. take the waist and put that one there and you can just see you can see the two points yes. that they meet so there we go and then I'm just going to run these through. Now, some of these dies are absolutely brilliant as well for embossing once you've die cut them. The roses one, right. um, particularly, so the roses, which is this one. Oh, spring blooms, that spring one, blooms. the spring blooms. If you then, once you've cut it and then you run it through your die cutting machine, it pushes a cardstock and you can ink all the detail through your die and we'll do that later. Excellent. Just to show you, there's lots of different ways. So this will have cut this. I've got my scissors out there, they are. I've got my scissors out there, perfect. So let's pop that. Now, just because it's two separate dies, you won't, it won't pop straight out of your cardstock because okay. you, can, you can't overlap dies otherwise yeah. you'll damage them so i've got the tiniest little pips but that's not a hardship okay. i could just pip there on oh, that one actually did and then just even that out now look at that, that isn't, isn't that it? beautiful one pass of my die and i've created that but i'm going to show you the other way to do them just to show you quickly if I take another piece of card, which one, which which arch do you like best? The the plain one or the pattern one? Um, which one? I'm do you... going for the pattern one. The pattern one. Yes. Perfect. Right. Let's make sure there's no bits in because we can't, can't blame the die for not cutting if it's got bits in. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, oh, bits at you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So whoop. you What's knew you were going to do that. Everything, everything's falling today. Right. So I'm going to pop that one on there. Just pop it on, and I'm going to cut that through. Just to show you, that's going to go through there. So I'm cutting one at a time. So I'm just cutting the first one. Yep. So we're not using the planar arch. We're just using the um, patterned one or the fancy one. Let that run through. I could actually do this with my smaller plates. I do have them. Mm -hmm. I might actually get my smaller plates. So you can still use the smaller plates through this Yes, machine. yes. So you yeah, can, your Gemini Junior time. plates. Right. Yes, yeah, because it's much quicker. I'll show you. Yeah. Let me just grab, because I'm not embossing. I couldn't find an embossing mat for the other ones. So I've got my smaller plates here. Right, now, what I'm going to do here, now, so I'm going to take this one off. You can see why I always tape on the waist, mm -hmm. because then if your tape does catch your cardstock, it's not done any hard. Yeah. yeah. Clean that one out again. If you tap your dies, as long as you tap on the back of your die, not on the blade the side, yeah. you're not going to do any harm. Now, okay. if you think about it, if I did this from the front, I'm going to get I'm going to get one upside down. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my cardstock over, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to line it up. Like there we go. There we go. Pop that on there. Now the other thing I do is the reason I love die cutting is I love that you get a curved edge. Yeah. Because you do you get yeah. the, you know in an electronic like a blade cutter you don't get that. So I don't want to lose that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that there and I'm going to pop it on my plate so that this piece is outside of the plates. Okay. So what that means is when this goes, oh no, I'll have to do it on the bigger ones to do that. Yes, because that goes through. Now we'll do okay. it on the bigger one because I was going to turn it round. That's not a problem. Right. So pop that onto there, just like that. Make sure the blade is definitely on the plate. Yeah. Pop that on here. And if you do just want this one die, you can get that. That's on the web as well. It's £9.99 if you really love this floral like what? we do. Yes. I should have just done I could have done it there. I would have done it that way. I wasn't yeah. thinking. I was trying to think I was trying to think of too many things at one time. So things. what you can see is this cardstock isn't between the plates. Right. So what happens is it can't get flattened. Okay. So I'm gonna um, retain the integrity of that die cut. Yeah, and that's fine to go through there. Still. Yeah, it didn't hurt, yeah. Okay. Absolutely no problem. So we can take that off there. There we go. Just take that piece of tape off. And this one. There we go. Oh, it's just it's cut it Popping straight out. out popped it. out because I've done it there. Now, can you see now? I just need to... Where did my pokey tool go? I had it here. There it is. Hiding. There we go. Pop out. Just got a couple of little bits mm -hmm. just to poke. I mustn't have cleaned my die properly so they didn't yeah. pop out. There we go. And can you see now? I have got a symmetrical... 
like yeah? that. And yeah. if you want it, so we've got the different looks. So we've got it with the, the two elements on. Mm -hmm. So I bring that down so you can see the two different dies. Yeah. There we have it with the same die twice. Mm -hmm. Or there we have it oh, with the other nice die well. twice. Can you see? So we've got the three different elements Great. and actually wouldn't that look lovely as a stack really beautiful <laughs> <laughs> as you're doing it yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> oh do you do that all the time all the time so let's clear this out of the way and we can uh, put this together so we're going to do a twisted easel card which right. is really easy to achieve so i've just got my card i was always a large card maker eight okay. by eight love my eight by eight and I've started making some slightly smaller, sort of six by sixes. Mm -hmm. Now this is, yeah, this is a six by six. And I love uh, that I've come down a little bit. They just look completely different. So I've taken my six by six and I've just scored bottom left to top right. Okay. And then I'm just going to score over there. Right. And then now you, you can either go back in and if you put, you do, you put another piece of card on and it, retake, and it gives it back the full yep. piece. So we can do that with our tape pen. You can do it with your wet glue. Now, the other thing is... Tape pens are on pre-order straight away. Put your tape on the base. If I put it onto here and yeah. I get it beyond where I need it to, it's going to stick to the card and right. it's not going to be an easel card anymore. Sure. So pop your tape on the base and then when you put your top piece on, you know it's going to continue as an easel card. You can hear the voice of experience, can't you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk about how many times I've done that. But can you see, it still comes up as okay. an easel card. So then I've got from my um, country... Oh. Not the vintage brush fire, the other one is... Uh, uh, Country, country garden. garden, yes. I've got some card. Now, we've got this on the show. This is a country garden, and we've also got our Centura Pearl on the show. These are absolutely yes. gorgeous. Now, I've taken... This is all out of one sheet, but I'm going to use the really patterned one on the base okay. and keep my little bit, what I call, less busy yeah. to go behind the arch. Super. Just because, it, for me, it just worked best. Yeah. So we can then pop this one onto here. There we go. This is going on here. Now, this Centura Pearl is That's absolutely cool, fantastic. We've just put that on pre-order and we've got a big bundle of that to share with you in a minute or two as well because it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And I'm using different bits and there's white in the Centura Pearl that we're using for card bases. Yeah. It's brilliant. Look at that and I love that. Isn't Gorgeous. that so pretty? So then this is going to be my front. So just, I always just double check which way I'm going. It's yeah. just worth, it's just worth doing just because we twist our cards round. I remember I did one once and, and the presenter picked it up and went, oh, isn't that lovely? And put it back down and then I was like, oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I get it. I made an Australian <laughs> card. But all right, this, all right. So. right. <laughs> These are double-sided papers. It's such a. Oh. So sometimes I think it's such a shame when you have a double-sided paper, but it gives so you nice options, time. doesn't it? Totally. Gives you options, and then we can pop that one on there. So there we go. So this oh, is going yes. to. Can you see where we're getting to now? Yeah. Now I had one of these. Which one? It doesn't matter, right? I can take that one. And no, no foam pads. And all I've done is out of that centre of pearl, I've cut it again, but then I've snipped it. Lovely. Now, if I kept it together, what I'm going to do is create a drop shadow. So it went like that. I've just trimmed some down. And if I did kept it as one piece, I'd have had a drop shadow. If I'd created the drop shadow mm -hmm. there, can you see that drop shadow goes behind? Yeah. So by cutting it in half, I can keep the drop nice. shadow on both sides. So we're going we're gonna to change our tape pen this time, and I'm going to go for our dotty tape pen. Yes, explain what the difference is with these. Right. Um, let me... We're going to pop them onto the screen anyway, just so you can grab... Because there is a distinct difference. There is. So if I, can see, I don't know if they can pick it up. Can you see... Oh. There, there. You can you see it's dots? Yeah. There we go. Rather than if I pick that one up, that one's solid. Can you see the yeah. difference? So what this means is I can go over my um, cutout areas, mm -hmm. and I, if I'd have done it with a solid one, when I turned it over, I'd have had threads sticky. coming through. Yeah. Uh, the, the apertures would have been sticky. With the dots, it only actually sticks. Where this card stuck. So, so clever, if I isn't it? Put that on there. That one's just run out. Good job, I bought two. You might get a little bit on your mat, but nothing worth worrying about. It doesn't, yeah. you know, it's it just rubs off. But it won't be sticky. Can you see? We've not got threads yeah. coming through there. Yeah. So all I then need to do is I'm going to pop that. So I've got my drop shadow there, and I can still do a drop shadow on there yeah. just by cutting it in half. Oops. 
There we go. And we've dropped the price on the pens. Uh, they're actually four for three as well. So you do get four. You get two of the tape with the, the, the strip, if you like, and you get two with the dots. So we're going to drop all four of go. those down for you to £14.96. They always, always sell. I've got to be on it. Well, they're the nuts and bolts. They're the bolts and braces yep. and everything, aren't they? Yeah, they really so are. Do get, do grab hold of these. I might have borrowed one of these uh, on, on Friday when I was yes. <laughs> trying to do some stuff. It was my husband's 50th birthday on Saturday. I went, how am I going to stick that and that? And I went, the tape pens. Yeah. So I squirreled and grabbed a little bit. Brilliant. <laughs> right, now the other thing we've got on the show is our foam pads. I know we've got yeah. some foam pads, and so these are brilliant. And what you'll find with Crafters Companion foam pads is look at how easy the backs come off. I've had foam pads yeah. where I've stood here and I've really Finally. fought mm. to get it off. Now, you don't have to take the backing off every foam pad. You really don't, because as long as you've got enough on to be adhesive, mm -hmm. the other ones are just there to to support it, stop okay. it from dipping. I've taken those off because it's so quick. Yeah. But if you had even more, I could have left some it's okay. on. It, so it's not a problem. That. As long yeah. as I take enough off. Oh, look at that. I can just see. Could I just twist it that? Just trim that bit just there. And those phone there pads are on the screen for you as well now. So stock up on those. And that's going to go just like that. Now, you remember we have an extra die. So I've yes. cut out my extra dies and I've cut some out in purple and some out in white. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to pop these on here. So you can see I've got the purple ones. Yeah. I just use the little scrappy bits that are out yes. of the middle. So we can take one. Now I've not um, put ink on these because um, I want that white contrast. Okay. It sort of looks, you know, cleaner and, yeah, nice and, and it doesn't blend in. So we can take that off. There. There's me saying, oh, so easy to come off. They're just making me eat my words, aren't they? There we go. So we can put that on here. And then, again, I just use my tape pen mm -hmm. to do that. And that is just going on here. This is how quick and easy it is to put it there. Then I can get from The great thing as well, when you do the drop shadow, it gives you a little bit extra space to put your foam pads. Right. <laughs> because you've just made those slightly bigger. Yeah. So there we go, we can put, just put three on. And the quality of these dies, we'll put the big bundle in for you again. If you want to get all of these, please do. A lot of you are going for the whole thing. And of course, they're on split pay at £23.99 on a two split pay as well. Have a look on the web. So this one, I've just, I've changed the colours around the other way. So I've just took two of the white ones, one of the purple ones. Again, on foam pads, because this is going to be my stopper, because if it's an um, easel card, even though this is a twisted easel card, mm -hmm. we still need a stopper. And I always, always put my card up and my card sort of tells me where you right. can feel when you do be. that, where it wants to be. Actually, I wanted to go that way, didn't I? Because I couldn't use that. That's going to go just Gorgeous. there. Last little bit, grab my tape pen. I'm just going to go, where's my bow gone? Oh, I put, I know I didn't. I put uh, red liner tape on the back of there and I even, started it going and then all you need to do then actually just just go there and how about that beautiful i love at, ribbons on cards so do i really do look at that isn't that's that lovely beautiful. and that's using the two different elements yeah mm -hmm. yeah so beautiful if you want to grab hold of that die on its own you can it's very much part of that big bundle if you want to go for the whole bundle or the half bundle of course as well is there for if you want to grab hold of that one and um, you can get the die on its own it's only nine pounds 99 but you do make a big saving and so much that obviously you can do with these Oops. individual dies so so much with them and of course if you are starting out maybe you want your starter uh, adhesive selection we've got those for you a little bit later on as well and that features your red tape your, your some glue pads some glue you've got a lovely lovely starter selection of those not many of them though i did mean to buy mine before the show <laughs> uh, so hopefully that won't go pear shaped are they on pre-order now Oh, they, they are going to go because we don't have a huge, huge amount. I don't have 50, 60 of those, unfortunately. Uh, but they are great to get you started. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So don't forget, any questions you want to ask, please send those through to us. Live message into the studio. We don't ever have silly questions unless I'm saying them. Um, absolutely not. If there's anything you want to pick Corinne's brain about, please do. Don't pick mine. Uh, it's empty today. Uh, but yeah, just keep checking out on that. And the whole selection, of course, going down on price, you all pay the low, low price. And today we're going down to £47.99. So it's like getting one or two of those for free, really, isn't it? Uh, so they are absolutely superb. And there might be just one that kind of grabs your heart more than another. I think they're all pretty stunning, actually. I was trying to look at them and think, do I have a favourite? And I, I, I keep flipping. I go for one and then I change my mind <laughs> and go for another again. And it might be also to do with the, 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 the sort of the cards that I have. 
in front of me. I'm just going to show you another one of these, actually, because uh, they're, they're absolutely stunning. Look at that one, if I fold that back. There you go. How, how lovely is that, again, with all the gorgeous butterflies? So that's from your butterfly heart. There we go. So you've got that beautiful sort of floral aperture die on there. This is by designed by Laura Hughes. Beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my love. It's a very, very nice card indeed. Let's bring in another one for you. This is, again, floral aperture dies uh, designed by Julie Howard. So this is using your spring bloom dies. And you can see, again, I mean, I love a ribbon. It's just, just wonderful. And you can see just how that works incredibly, incredibly well. So six pieces in that die kit, six pieces for $9.99 if you want to go for that one. Just fling in one more. I'm going to see another gorgeous demo. So you've got your dragonflies here again. So beautiful design by Julie Howard. So you've got the opulent dragonflies using the traditional sort of paper pads. Uh, you've got the Everyday Brights paper pad on that as well and the Rose Garden Happiness Balloon set. Look how gorgeous that is. Wowzers. So stunning. Remember, you can get all three of those designs in a mini bundle as well. And that's, you know, all $9.99 each, whichever kind of works for you, whichever is easiest. So your mini bundle there is the butterfly heart, the spring blooms and the opulent dragonflies. So you can grab hold of those on the phone lines or on the web. And if you've got any questions, if you're confused about which to go for, just give us a call. Absolutely not a problem. Get in touch with us and we'll help you. Of course, it's a free phone number as well. So, right. Demo I changed number my mind. Two. Oh, did you? That's <laughs> all right. You're Same die. You're in charge. Same die, now. different demo. All Same right. die, different demo, because <laughs> I like this one. Right, so we're going to use our spring blooms. And we're going to use the yeah. two different ones. And I'm going to show you how you can emboss through these. Can you see you've got that openness oh, within the dies? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pieces here and then we've got my tape let's get another piece just there and then we can pop these on so again they're not quite the same size like that can you see so you right. do need don't mark the middle of your card again okay. just do it by eye just yeah. have a look and then you can decide the great thing about this one is you can decide which way up you want it to go so I just sort of have a look I use sort of use my fingers to sort of go oh I've got the same sort of border all the way around yeah make sure the dies aren't overlapping because that's that's basically the only damage you can ever do to a die because right. inking it's not going to hurt mm -hmm. um yeah, you're not going to do it. The only time you're likely to do damage is if you overlap two dies. Okay. And that's why it's so important to tape it down so that you yeah, know it's so not going to come to any harm. So let's run this through on my mat. We can run this through at first. Now, it, as I said, when you die cut, you get that gorgeous bevel. But if you then... If you buy your Gemini, you will also, you'll get your metal cutting plate, but you'll also get a rubber mat. And that means that you can then emboss with your dies. So what we do is we take out our magnetic shim yep. and we pop in our rubber mat. So it's one okay. in, one out because Super. otherwise so it's there. So what we need to do now is, now what I'm going to try and do is just, I'm going to lift this up, put it onto... Just make sure I get the bits out. Yeah. And these should this... all last you again. You shouldn't. Uh, eventually, over time, you'll need to replace some of these. Yes. Is that the same with the with the rubber mat? Maybe. Yeah, the rubber mat probably yeah, lasts quite a long time. It sure. If you get the combination wrong, then um, why did I just do that? Sorry, it's because I was talking to you. That's I didn't why. mean to. I wanted to take the tape off and not to take the die no, out. Right. There we go. It's not a problem. There we go. There we, there we go. So it's just clicked. Actually, I don't need that one in because it's that side I want to emboss, so it didn't matter that I took it out. Right, so remember, metal shim out. Okay. So, so we've still got my four plate. You don't always have four plates. Now, you do get a full instruction manual with your machine telling you if you're, if you're using an embossing folder, if you're using a 2D embossing folder or a 3D embossing folder, yeah. it'll tell you what your plate combination and, is. And Crafts Companion are brilliant with these. I know this colour's exclusive to us here at Hobby Maker, your candy floss pink. But it's but the same any machine. Problems, it's yeah. exactly the same machine. And any problems, you're always there. Yeah, you, yeah, you certainly brilliant. are. Right now, so if I look at this now, what I can see is here, the, the cardstock has pushed level with the top right. of here. So I'm going to use my fire brown, which you okay. think rose is a bit different, but it will look hopefully nice. So this is in the <laughs> bundle. Um, show you what I did. I always put a piece of Velcro on the back and then my doorbell sticks on there. Leather. So when I get them out, I know I've got the right colour. Yeah, yeah, right. just makes it so much easier. So I'm going to get this, blend it down a little bit, and then, right, I want a scrappy bit of paper. Let me see, where have I got a, a rubbish bit of paper? Let's grab a little piece from here. Mm -hmm. I just want to, just, I, it's just that I'm 
not the neatest person sometimes. So I just want to make sure that it doesn't go, let's do one at a time and then I can do it. So just doing it over there. Can you see? It doesn't matter if it goes in the middle because that middle piece is going to cut out, mm -hmm. but I don't want it to come round the edge oh, too much. So I'm just, just doing that. And can you see how because it's embossed, oh, I have caught it there. Never mind. Sorry. Tell you what I should have done. I should have used my finger daubers. I've got those with me as well. There have we go. Seen those yet? Oh, they're clever. I'll show you quickly. So well, I'm guessing it's like those this, as it's are on the chain. finger daubers. Oh, well, I like these. And then, I see, you see, I'm prepping with this one. So you'd put it on your finger. And when you ink, you've got even more control. There we go. I should have done that in the first place, they're didn't amazing. I? There we go. There we are. It goes like that. Very cool. Perfect. And then some, you just... We need some of these, cat. Yeah. <laughs> and then just pop it back in there. And then, yeah. It ready Brilliant. so then I can take this off now you've done no harm to your dye at all yeah. all I do is I'll get a wipe or a cloth or anything like that and then all you just do is just wipe it off the ink is gone Brilliant. and you've not done any damage Super. at all and so then I'm just going to let's take this centerpiece out so we can see what we're doing mm -hmm. take this out of here there we go look at that and okay. then what you might want to do is get these and just pop that can you see each yeah. one of those petals will then pop up isn't that so cute because they're not cut all the way through they're not cut all the way through isn't that oh, lovely? lovely and can you see how they've just colored up yeah beautifully it them, doesn't it, yeah actually and so we can get the ink and just mist around the outside there we go all the way around the key to this is to blend the ink into your dauber first otherwise yeah. you get sort of those streaks yeah you know that what look a bit like brush marks and I love there it when go. it goes all the way around the edges. It yeah. really gives you that it does. Kind of border, doesn't it? It does. It really sort of finishes it off. Let's get rid of that ink. There we are. Right. And that's going to be... So that's basically the main bit okay. of it done. Now, you get your extra dies. Mm -hmm. And I've already done exactly the same to those. Look, I've cut them and I've embossed them Fabulous. just on there. Now, what you see on here is all I've done is I've got a couple of liquid pearls and I've just got some liquid pearls and I've just put one in the center of each of those. Nice. And then I've also put some on my card base, just oh, a bit stringy ones there, but there we go. But you can get the gist, so can you see, just like that. So that's yeah. all you need to do there. And I've got one here that's nice and dry, just to. Just say, how, how long do they take to dry? Just Half an hour, an hour okay, or so. To be sort of touch dry, but yeah. yeah, but there you are. Can you see, I've put those on there and I've oh, got yes. them on here. So now we're gonna pop this on to a piece of acetate. Now, I think we've got the acetate on the show as well. We do, indeed, so this is our super strong acetate. Now, what I've done is I put foam underneath and I'm going to stick this on with the red liner. Now, was the red liner in the bundle? It is indeed. A, yeah, it's yeah. in the bundle. So you've got the starter bundle, the Crafters Companion Adhesive Starter Selection, yeah. uh, which is already up for pre-order. And you've got glue, you've got the red tape, you've got some of the tape pens in there. So it's, yeah. it, it really is a great stuff. Because people all say to you, which, what glue do I use? Yeah. It, it varies for every single thing you do. Because you've seen, you know, I've used tape pens, I've used the dotty, I've used the straight, I've used the foam, foam pads, foam mm -hmm. tape, red liner. I've got liquid. It all, yeah. there isn't a right and a wrong. It's just what, depends what job you're doing. Right, sure. now, when I've taken my foam tape here, can you see that I've been really careful to seal it? Okay. So that there are no gaps. Because right. what we're going to do is we're going to make a shake card. <gasps> But if I had nice. gaps, all the bits would fall out. Fall out. Now, can I just say, I was up at yes. Crafter's Companion the other day. I'm just going to get a little bit of paper. Oh, I've got paper in my hair. It's, it's annoying me. It's okay. okay. <laughs> when I was up there the other day, I got introduced to our sequin dyes. They were amazing. They were like a solid dye and it, it welded together 25, 30 little dyes together in one piece. Oh and when you cut them out, it cut out circles hearts and star sequins so that meant that whatever you were creating yeah. you can now have coordinating sequins oh fabulous but i don't have them yet i've got them on order but i just saw them the other day and i just thought they were absolutely really beautiful amazing so yes so if you have a look at um our crafters companion website yeah, you will see those and they might actually be here if we've had the shaker cards here then, then they might they be long. here yes there we go. So I'm popping that on here and then we're going to get... So all I've done is I've just gone into my crafty stash and I've just found some glitter. I found some sequins, some little shiny books. I've just found lots of nice, mm. nice things. 
that I've got. So then, now this is where I was talking about, you don't have to take all of your tape off. I'm going to take these pieces off round the outside. Yeah. There we go, that's coming off here, because that will adhere it. And these pieces here will stop it from bowing. Right, OK. But I don't need to take the backing off. Yeah. Because it's not going anywhere, yeah. because it's it's going to be stuck on with the outside pieces. OK. If you wanted to, if, you, if, 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 yeah. if it makes you happy to do that, then do that. But, you know, when you're in a rush or you're doing... Yeah. There we go. I'm trying not to sneeze right now. I was thinking, <laughs> have I got my acetate behind there? Because it's so clean. <laughs> and look That's at great. that. Oh, wow. Look at that. They're Don't so they make? They're aren't they? They're yes. lovely. So what we can then do is, I have cut two pieces of card. Now, remember what I've done. Yes, it was eight and a quarter because this is the width of A4. Oh, okay. Eight and a quarter inches is the width of A4, so I've just squared it off. And this is the chocolate brown oh, Centura amazing. Pearl. So this is going to be my lid and all I've done in my scoreboard is scored at one and a quarter inches all the way around and then I just put a snip in. So yeah. we can then get a tape pen, let's just fold these over. You'll be making boxes like you wouldn't know if you've got the scoreboard, mm. once you've got that. Brilliant. Um, it was my friend's birthday yesterday and I, I actually I gave her a card I made on my last show here. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> but I made it. I exactly. still made it. It was still me, wasn't yeah. it? And uh, but I was like, it, I was like, oh, envelope. There's and I a had lot to... of pressure on you for your friends for when you send people cards. Yeah. Must be. Yeah. Everyone expects something amazing, which they will be amazing, obviously, because you're making them. But Yeah, but sometimes when you're busy with work and you're like, oh, I've not got time to make a card. Yeah, you've got to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you've got to. But I didn't have an envelope that was the right size for the card. Yeah. Two minutes, it was made. made I was like, brilliant. So this is going to be the lid of my box in that lovely chocolate box, isn't it? It's really so rich. Easy, nice. And then this is the base. Now, the difference is, just to show you quickly, all you do is, when you get your scoreboard, when I did it, when I did the lid, I scored at one and a quarter from the left. And when I did the base, I scored one and a quarter from the right. Okay. It says, it says, base. It says lid. Oh, yes. I was trying to find the lid up there, but it yes. says lid and base. So you know. Perfect. So if you look on here, these are at one... Oh, you, it's down the bottom, sorry. One and a quarter from down there. Perfect. Yeah. Clever, aren't they? Oh. Sarah thinks of it all, doesn't oh, she? It's just... a game changer. Yeah. Just to make it so much easier. So your card yeah. stock is exactly the same size. You don't have to make your base smaller, but the, um, the score lines will take into account. Yeah. Well, look how quickly it is to you. make to make a uh, car base. Now, the, the straight tape pen, so to speak, is super strong. OK. It, it is construction weight, if that's what you want to do. Perfect. And it also has, if I stick that down and then decide it's not right, it will actually lift okay. and let me adjust. If you, if, you know, if you go quite quickly. Yeah. Oh, we've so. had a question from Helen who said, hi, please can we see the paper pads? Thank you. Loving the show. It's my birthday today, so these are in my basket. Perfect. Helen, happy birthday. You're having a lovely. You're sharing our the birthday with jewellery maker. That's why we've got all the balloons here. We're not twelve yet. But I got cake while you were on there at one o'clock. I've not had any yet. That cake is oh. amazing, isn't it? It was um, a jewellery bust, wasn't it? Yeah, jewellery bust with the necklace on. It was oh, did, it, the necklace had gone by the time I saw it. Right, we'll look at that. Size that cake soon. Perfect we'll show you fit. The pads in a second. No perfect, problem. perfect fit. Super. And then I'm going to have to go this way. Now you oh, you you could decorate the sides, but I really like the chocolate brown. Yeah, I do. So I can pop that on there. Then I'm going to get my tacky glue. Now the tacky glue is in the. That's not tacky glue. That's tacky glue. <laughs> tacky glue is in the bundle. Yeah. But I've just decanted it into one of our fine applicators, sure. and then all I do is I can take those, make sure the petals. I just thought brown was a little bit it's different. We don't use it? brown enough, do we? Um, but again, no, the... I think we say brown and we just expect one colour, but there yeah. are so many shades and tones. There are, aren't there? And, and this, again, finish. is from one of the paper pads, so we can have a look yeah, in a minute. We'll look at those in a second. There we go. But just to add on a little bit extra. Now, I've got two bows. You're going to have to, I'm going to let you choose. Super. Do you want a brown bow? Go to that, or do you want a gingham bow? Oh, no. Oh, oh well, Kat shouted gingham. Fair enough. So let's go gingham then. I, I tied the brown. They're both lovely, aren't they? Yeah, I tied the brown, and then I suddenly decided that I liked the ging yeah. gingham. So I was like, 
Yeah. The gingham almost picks out the. the it does, doesn't it? Bit, doesn't it? Let me see. I'm going to do one more little one just there. Put that on there. And then, there we go. Let's see if I can get that off there and pop. Now, how? Look at that. So it's not only is it a shaker card, but it's a gift box yeah. as well. There it's you so go. Beautiful. Isn't that that's gorgeous? Great. And that's taken no time at all, really, no. has it? Which is, which is phenomenal. Um, amazing. You're going to be able to make this, which is very exciting. <laughs> uh, and of course, you can always go back and have a little look at these shows. They stay live on our website for a week. You can sometimes obviously catch up on them on YouTube as well. They're gradually sort of making their way over there as well. But if you do want that card, we'll have a little, do you want to have a little look at that now? I think I we we've should. we've got another we? demo to do as well. But this is just unbelievable. That pink's insane as well. I'm such a pink. Right, that's the third, no, it's the third time today, actually, Ben. It's the third time. What on earth is going on today? I do apologise. I have to be honest, I'm going to go my own defence. I've got a bad back at the moment, so I'm going a bit gingerly, and I think it's just making me really clumsy. Does that work? Yeah. It doesn't cover yeah. it, does it? Yeah, no, we'll, we'll let you off for that one. Let me off today, please. I'm sorry. Right, have a little look. <laughs> have a little look at all these colours. Now, them out for you. you have got the six colours of your Centura Pearl. So these are 310 GSM. So you've just seen, I've made a box with them. They are construction weight. So they're quite yeah. happy to, your card bases, your mats and layers. You've seen me use them for both of those today. Absolutely perfect. So you get 10 sheets of each of okay. those six colours. So that's 60, but we've told you there's 100 sheets. Because yep, what you're going to get is 40 sheets of our fresh white double-sided now can you well. I'll show you on there look can you see the pearl on there and on the back that's amazing isn't that beautiful it feels lovely as well yes. doesn't it? it's really nice to work with yeah it's an amazing amazing bundle and you're making nearly an eight pound saving on this so 27 pound 95 for that incredible bundle so 100 crafts companion 100 sheet centura pearl bundle and the colors are fabulous and i'm actually going to grab i don't know whether i should do this or not but i'm going in i'm going to grab the uh <laughs> it's all go to i'm going to grab one of those sheets of pink out just whilst we get ready for uh, another demo you can actually buy these individually if you want to but look at that i mean that pink is just gorgeous i mean there's pink and there's pink yep that's my kind of colour, that is. It's like bubblegum pink, isn't it? It's beautiful. So if you want to buy them individually, you can, whether you're making cards, whether you're making boxes, memory boxes, it's completely up to you. But they are stunning. And the quality, I mean, you can see it there straight away. Ten sheets each colour and 40 sheets in that fabulous pearl white as well. All of them together, £27.95. And still, you don't you don't pay any more PMP. It's still one set throughout the entirety of the day, which is quite amazing when you're getting a weighty old bundle like that as well. They're fabulous colours, they are. Right, should we squeeze in? Mm. Should we try and yeah. get we've, through we've one more? Let, where did I put those other plates? I probably what? knocked them in the floor. No. Let's they, were here. they were here. Let's see if we can do it. Right, now, we're going to do this slightly different. So, again, we've got that gorgeous, gorgeous vintage butterfly on there. So, that is perfect. And we're going to do just a regular easel card this time. I've got lots of pieces here, haven't I? There we go. Let's put that there. So, I've got my card base again. Now, this one, yeah, again, six inches. And we're going to pop that and we're going to create our easel just there. So just through there. Now, can you see we've got... Now, this is why your double-sided pearl white is so useful. Because okay. can you see we've got the pearl on there, but even when we lift it up for the yeah. inside, we've still got the, the, the pearlescence on the yeah. inside. So I can then pop my next piece on just to make my card. There we go. And you're going to get 40 sheets in this pack. So you're not going to have to worry about, have I got enough? You know what I mean? And everything. So yeah. that's my card base. But again, like I say, that's out of the white pearlescent. And let me see. I think the other these are the same size. Yes, they are. Right now, we're going to use this. And we're going to use one side for one. And then let me work out which one I want to use. And then we're going to use, there, I like that piece, slightly less patterned for the other. So I'm going to get this one here. And we're going to pop our heart now again this is where it shows you if you needed to you if you wanted to use both side one side twice you'd have to do it from behind okay does that make sense yeah because it's a heart because if yeah. i tried if i did that one and then twisted it round, it you, it wouldn't be a heart would yeah. it it would so we can pop let's pop those on just there 
There we go. And put the details of your mini bundle uh, on air because that's what this one is included in. So you've got your butterfly hearts, uh, your spring blooms and your opulent dragonfly. If you ca in case you want to get those as a, as a mini three bundle, that's there as well. If you want the trilogy. I was just get, making sure those cut in the right places. So that wants to go there, that wants to go there. I'm just making sure yep. it cuts just right. There we are. And so then we can look, that's not, that's a bit lopsided. So I'll just adjust it, it a little bit till I get it where I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And then again, we're going to put some tape in the middle because that piece is coming out. Then we can run that through our dad customers. Just to show you, if you've got your Gemini Junior plates, all you do, instead of going through sort of what say portrait way, we're going to put them through landscape oh. and that will just, so it's a lot, lot quicker. So it's half the, it, half the time. Yeah. Because it'll just go through and then we can pop them out. And that will have still absolutely oh perfectly cut. There we go. And you'll be able to use these dies time and time and time again. Oh, of course. There we go. Let's just catch those two yep. together. There we are. And look, isn't that's that gorgeous. gorgeous? So, so pretty. And that's the quality of the dies. It's the quality of obviously the paper that we're bringing to you at Crafters Companion as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It really is. So I've got lots of bits here. So we shall put these on. So I've got a piece of another piece of the white mm -hmm. and we're going to get some foam pads. I'm going to go for a slightly bigger foam pad, okay. I think. Helen, you wanted to see these, didn't you? Uh, so we'll have a little look at the foam pads. They're just, they are essentials. They're part of the essential uh, bundle kit as well. If you want to grab hold of that, that's uh, the adhesive starter selection if you want that. So here's your foam pads on the row. Yep. So, you, you know, you, your different sizes just means different speeds, so mm -hmm. to speak. And, you know, you can get through things a lot quicker. And there we go. And you only get a few foam pads there. You only get 1,120. <laughs> <laughs> so that will keep your foam padding for a while, I would say. So I can pop that over there. There we go. You can see. So okay. that's now given us a raised aperture. Yep. And then that is going to go on here. So I should have put... I'm, I'll just put my glue onto here. If you'd rather use wet glue, then use your wet glue. But I'm just, mm -hmm. for speed, just using that. There we go go now I have cut out see if I can find them all where are they all I've got some of the butterflies cut out I can see one here where have I put them blown away ah they're here at the side of me they're here at the side so I've just cut them out from the extra dies and these will then pop over there so I will get my wet glue now it's up to you how you do these you can either do them put glue all over oh that was there sorry and put it down so that, like that or you can just glue down the center and lift the wings and create nice. that effect. Oops. There we go. And then go on here. Are we going to get a chance to see the, oh, that butterfly in country? Oh, we're going to have to do it at the start of the next show, do you think? Very possible. We'll put them on pre order. I think, was it Helen that wanted to know about the paper pads, not the. Right, not the not foam the foam pads. pads. Okie dokie, although she'd probably like those as well. The paper pads, no problem. We'll put those on pre. That's all right. We'll put those on pre-order as us. That's, that's you know. We'll put those on pre-order for you as well, and we'll have a little look at those um, probably in the next hour if that's okay. There we go. So let's just go quickly with a little bit of glue on the back of here. Perfect. So that's going to go on to my. I got it the right way up. Yep. Card base. <laughs> There we go. I love these colours. They are so pretty, aren't they? The green is gorgeous. Another piece, I'm just picking one. I'm going to pick this one because the butterfly's down at the bottom. Yeah. It just makes logical sense when you see it as an easel because then we're going to see the butterfly perfectly. Mm -hmm. Aren't they pretty papers? Yeah, wonderful. And the 12 by 12 is on pre order for you as well. So we've got that up for you, Helen. Yeah. There we go. We can pop that on here that's going to go inside my card base there isn't that lovely and then i've got a sentiment and another piece of the green we can put that down there oh. got a few butterflies appear when loved ones are near there we go isn't that lovely that, isn't so just um stamp with something like your stays on ink because okay. it's got a pearlescent finish. Right. Your other 
inks probably would either take a very long time or not dry at all, depending on what okay. they are, just because it's got that coating on. Right. So uh, right. here's right. me telling you about stamping and inking when we've got the stamp queen over in the other side. <laughs> Does make me nervous when Gwen's about and I start talking about stamping oh, and inks. You're all so generous, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> She's told me lots over the years about inks and stuff. But that's the beauty of Hobby Maker as well. Everybody's here, everyone's learning different things yeah. and sharing different skills. It's brilliant. A little bit of a bow and how about that? That was done quite quickly, but just gorgeous. to show you how gorgeous they are. So, you know, it's up to love you it. whether you want to use one element um, twice or whether you want to use the different elements yeah. uh, across so yeah, you, know, you get different yours. effects they're gorgeous so add whatever you want to into your order today go for the paper because it's absolutely amazing that lovely sort of pearly uh, pearl sort of finish on that it's just beautiful especially if you get the bundle obviously features that wonderful fresh white 40 sheets of that 10 of the colored sheets uh, that you're getting as well but you can see how wonderful it is to use and a saving on that one as well you got nearly an eight pound saving so down to 27 pounds and 95 pence um, we also have, do you want to look at the pad as well, Kat, just very quickly? Just, I'm just thinking, because I know Helen wanted to see it. Which one was it? Was it the vintage? Or... Well, they come as a bundle. Oh, the, both of the vintage. And the, the plain paper. And the plain and paper. And the plain card, rather. There we go. Right. Oh, have we've you? We've got them individually All right. today. So let's just show you. We'll come back to these in the, in the, in the next hour uh, when Corinne's back with us at four o'clock. But I know that this is the one I think that Helen was uh, particularly sort of beautiful to get her hands on. Let me get it this way. There we go. So you see, There's an just, art to this, isn't there? There is. Well, I've discovered, even though I'm right-handed, I need to do it this way around. I yeah. can't do it the other way. Uh, Aren't they, they gorgeous? Are, yeah, gorgeous. So it's all 180 GSM and you have got 12 different patterns. And so you're going to get... Um, so it's, 36 pieces in total, so you yeah. get three of each. They are lovely. I mean, just absolutely glorious. You can take little sections of each one of them. I love that with kind of the script that you can see running across. There's that layers well. to them, depth to them. Really? Isn't there? Absolutely. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, look at the stamps on the top there as well. It's got those beautiful, beautiful little stamps in there. But it just means that you've got that alternative if that's what you want to use. Like, you yeah. know, when we were just cutting on that last one, you were able to pick. I don't so you see pretty. on there, there's little music notes on that one as well. So behind the butterflies, you've got music notes. But there's a lot in there. The colours are absolutely glorious. I use these these papers, the vintage butterflies, so much. I'm sure. Yeah. They are. They're wonderful. I'll just show you the back, actually. You can and see. just in case, you, if you do get that, if it's separate, then we have got the vintage butterfly pearlescent card. And this is 250 GSM. But look at the colours and when you yeah. look at this can you see how it's the perfect purple cream pink and green to yeah. go so that was the green we've just used sorry I put that out of the way that was a green that we've just used in the last card that was me this time oh it wasn't it was you didn't touch it <laughs> didn't touch it but yeah so if you want that's the perfect common but it's up to you whether you do there we go yeah and we've still got the other card to show to you in a second so 14.99 uh, for that a4 luxury pearlescent card pack so 24 sheets in that as well yeah i'm not i'm you're not gonna breathe are you, you know, <laughs> there must do you think there's just a, an extra presence in this you can, must have today. static about you i don't know what it is today it's bizarre <laughs> uh, should we just show you the country oh, the country lane one whilst we're there as well we've got a few seconds quickly we'll we'll literally come back to these uh, These Corin are uh, sort of stronger colours, but still pastel. But can you see it's a bit stronger? Yeah. But again, still got those layers, still got those dimensions. Yeah, Absolutely gorgeous. And those pinks and those browns in there you soon that we've used are going to yeah. go perfectly with <gasps> the Centura Pearl Bundle <laughs> as well. Gorgeous kind of almost peonies oh, and hydrangeas. Yep, yeah, the full Amazing. 180 GSM. So you, it's good for your matting and layering. It's good. It's going to add depth and strength yeah. without overpowering it absolutely and don't forget corinne is back with us in an hour's time she's back with us at four o'clock and we've got gilding flakes which is going to send the world <laughs> bananas uh, go and enjoy a bit more of that cake please uh, we will be back at the other side of this with the gorgeous gwen when you purchase anything on hobby maker you have a 30-day money-back guarantee meaning that you can shop with confidence happy shopping with hobby maker Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. 
Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobbymaker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobbymaker. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Let's do it. Gin. <laughs> I love Australia, but Turkey, cow can in Turkey, I need to go back, it's my heartbeat. A cat, I love my cats. Sleep all day, get looked after, get fed, go to sleep again, get snuggles, go to sleep again, eat again, cat. Never seen the Godfather. Night in, because I'm old. Pajamas, big glass of gin, cats, husband, night in. Torn, Natalie and Bruglia Glia. Uh, you can do that one? No, can't do it. Dun, 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 I'm torn, I'm already. No, no, can't even do, do that again. I can't even do that. That's horrendous. Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So, how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymakers account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Hello, welcome back. It's three o'clock. It feels like time to sit down with a cup of tea and your favourite biscuit. What is your favourite biscuit? Messier. Is it one wrapped in chocolate? It's got to be really, hasn't it? Or oh, a bourbon Not, or custard cream. They're classics, aren't they? You can't go wrong with those. I may have just eaten half a penguin. Lots of other brands of biscuit available. I've had one of those for years. No, I've not seen them for ages. They're, yeah, look, the biscuit, not the animal, by the way. I've not just eaten <laughs> half a penguin. So that'd be wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I'm so random today. Let me know your favourite biscuit, please. And don't even start with it. Is it a biscuit or a, or a cake? You know, the one we're talking about. Right, should we go fluffy? We're going to go fluffy. And I was about to say the gorgeous Gwen is back. Gwen's not fluffy. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we have um, a Cosmic Shimmer Sparkly Fluffy kit for you right now. Um, this is going to be pretty fabulous, I do believe. I've not seen this before, uh, so it's, it's new to me. So you've got your cosmic shimmer, uh, fluffy stuff. We've got some. So Gwen, explain, explain. I think more. the easiest thing to do is, is, is do something with it while I tell you about it. So okay. fluffy stuff is a creamy paste, comes in a bottle with a very fine nozzle and you can pipe it or you can spread it or you can paint with it or you can be really precise with it or mm. not. But you can... It, just add it to elements of a die cut or a stamped scene or whatever you want to add it to. And then what I've brought you today are the glittered jewels. And these are amazing. These are very sparkly loveliness in a jar. This one is um, just a white, but it has an incredible sparkle. So what we can do is sprinkle this into our fluffy stuff. 
Now the magic of fluffy stuff is when you heat it. Okay. So I'm going to get my heat gun on and we're going to see what fluffy stuff really does. So keep your eye on this. Obviously some of the glitter bits are going to run away, but this is going to fluff up and puff up like magical stuff. And it just ends up looking like snow. It's just the most gorgeous thing. So can you see how that's like doubled in size? That's so cool. And then the oh glitter. God, look at it now. Yeah. And then the glitter becomes encased within the fluffy stuff. So I just end up doing this with you. I end up like being like a little parrot over your shoulder. <laughs> Look at it, it's amazing. That's incredible. Now you can leave that to cool, obviously, initially, but now you've got this gorgeous, it could be snow, oh, but what I'm going to be showing you with it today is how you can also colourise this and incorporate it into other things. Oh, really? Yes. I mean, I don't want to say the word, but I am going to go for the Christmas. That I've, I've got to. I've yep. got to, I've got to. When we're talking snow, we have to. That's it. Uh, but obviously there's loads more that you can use this for. Should be £8. Shall we do an introductory price? Absolutely. I'm going to put my arms in because I keep knocking things off. Uh, let's take the price down for you today for your Cosmic Shimmer Sparkly Fluffy Kit. £6.99. Even tails for bunnies. I'm just Cheap. thinking. Sheep. Santa's beard. Message in. How many more fluffy stuff things can you think of? We've gone for sheep. We've gone for beards. We've gone for rabbits' tails. Pom-poms. Snow. Snow. Yeah, keep. I mean, we are we are there, aren't we? Well, we're kind of mixing between Easter and Christmas there, but it, obviously, if you can colour it as Some well. Some people have started Christmas already, but yeah, yeah I'm going to show you how to colour it and, and use it in a very different way. But that's amazing. It's, the, it's magic. It's great. First time we've seen that magic here at Hobby Maker, and her, uh, definitely not the last, that's for sure. Um, it's phenomenal. So £6.99. Make sure you're checking out on that. Tracy, well done, Susan. Carla, we've got Leslie, Pamela, Kate. What are you going to use it for? What are you going to... I'm even thinking about fruit. I'm even thinking about, like, if you... Do, well, I know you don't get a fluffy apricot. Well, the froth on beer. Oh, nice. Um, sea foam. So alcohol again, haven't we? Sea foam. Sea foam. <laughs> Love it. See, lots of ideas. Share what you're thinking about with us here today as well. Oh, that's got my head ticking. The brain's cogs turning. Um, can hear it. Well done. I can hear them going. <laughs> you asked me back. Uh, Linny, hello to you. What beautiful name. Vivian joining us as well. Geraldine, Margaret, Gail. Yeah, that's, that's fabulous. That is brilliant. It and always sells oh, out, so don't wait. Grab surprised. it quick. I think the fact the fact that you can even that you can colour it also is a yeah. game changer, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm thinking of like wonderful wild hair and oh, there's loads. Of yeah, like do you remember that mermaid, that lovely mermaid day I brought you? Yes, that would have oh, been fantastic, gosh, wouldn't it? Around uh, her or around the, the yeah. sea around her? Oh yes. Yeah. yes, gorgeous. Oh, there's lots you're going to do yeah. with this, that's for sure. And um, look, we are going to see this incorporated into some of the demos today as well, so don't worry about that. Uh, but we do have some fabulous um, demos to share with you, incorporating lots of these different elements. So don't forget the two lovely bundles that we have for you today uh, of course from creative expressions we've got two wonderful bundles bundle a uh, to begin with uh, this is your home tweet home we'll show these three uh, we've also got be happy and then your third one on there as well is your floral border on that one as well which is beautiful um is that the uh, uh, roses, roses in, in blue roses in blue yeah was in my hand yeah uh, so there is just be confident sometimes so you've got the roses in bloom you've got the be happy you can see on that one and you've got the home tweet home so this is just to show them to you when they've been cut just though i mean i i love them like that there's something really sort of stripped back and raw and just pure craft with and that actually that that's love. all you need to do yeah you know if you're not somebody that loves making all your own backgrounds and things like that yeah. and you like more of a clean look that's that's as simple as it can be and the dye does all the work for you yeah very wedding for me this is beautiful love it uh, so if you do want to grab hold of that bundle bundle a uh, you get all of those and of course they should be coming in at 40 pounds and 97 pence but we've got a deal for you today so we're going to take those all the way down for you three dies and they're a really good size as well you can use them full on or you can use little elements we've seen already a couple of demos today how you can kind of just use little bits of them uh, but we're going to take them down to 34.99 and 
Split pay, £17.49. Never be afraid of asking to do it on split pay. I always do it. I rarely sort of do it full price now. We do it as, as, as much as we possibly can because we appreciate it means you can potentially buy a couple of different things and then obviously you've got your second payment next month. No interest. We don't slap anything else on and you get them straight away. You don't have to wait for your second split payment either which is brilliant so three really individual gorgeous dies but very workable together also very workable with bundle b so bundle b uh, will <laughs> will consist of by moonlight where love grows and petty flirt frame so i'll show you those three together again cut out so you can see those as well they're gorgeous and we love that so you've got your little hair and you've got your little rabbit there just gazing up to the little bird that's dropping down that beautiful little love heart. It's very, very cute again. So all totally workable. Again, taking little elements of each. We'll show you some wonderful um, cards that have been made up using these as well. But they're really inspirational, wonderful detail. And it is the craftsmanship of the dies, but also it's the illustrations. I think when you go back to the very basics of these, they've got to come from the heart. They've got to come from the most incredible sort of talented artistry. And it's that detail that really makes these come alive. And actually, I think it's that that makes them work as well, mm, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. It's where it starts. Incredibly, incredibly talented people behind all of these, of course, for you here at Creative Expression. So £37.99. Again, down on your split pay, which is wonderful. But I'm going to shut up earlier this time because uh, I want to see more of Gwen's demos. Uh, so we're going to dive into some of these ones. Uh, so we're going to dive in for, is it Be Happy we're going to We're going to look at Be Happy and we're going to look at the whole gamut of Cosmic Shimmer that brought you today. Wonderful, wonderful. All wonderful. combined. I'm going to do a background and I have to say a shout out to Christine Smith, who's one of our lovely design team members, because ah. this was something I saw her do and um, I just thought it was wonderful. So uh, props to Christine for the basis of this idea. So I'm going to work on my, I brought my big old craft mat, my messy one. Mm -hmm. um, just let me turn it around because it's got a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to work on my mat. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of amber lights. I'm going to bring in the smallest amount of flirty pink because this is a really vibrant it's colour. It's beautiful. I'm going to use Tango Tea's Lustre Polish and I'm just going to bring a little bit of this in here and there. Not too much. And then I'm going to spread that even further with the stippling brush, which we've also got available for you today. So we've obviously seen you with that. Oh, oh look. Oh, here we go. Here we go. See, it's me. See, I just want it to be I think there's just something in the, in the oh, air today that's making us flopsies. Flipping neck. Oh, bless I'll Everywhere. You. Excuse me. That's all right. You sort that out. Well, we just talked to you about the about the bundle. Uh, so you've got a duo of the Cosmic Shimmer um, Airless Misters. So you've got the purple and you've got... Da -da 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 -da, there we are on that side. So you've got the purple and you've got the um, flirty pink as well there. So the purple spell. That's what happened. They put you under, your, you oh, under a spell, Gwen. That's I what don't happened. know what it was, but there we are. <laughs> and then, of course, your second bundle uh, is the Maya Blue and the Amber Lights. We saw those worked with earlier on today. They're equally as gorgeous, so you can grab those as well. Uh, if you want to, but they go such a long way. So the graphics are in for those as well. They're £10.99. Really different colours. I just think you want all the sun and sky straight away or the beach, the beach and the ocean on those as well. And obviously Gwen's just been using that fantastic, fantastic Tango Tees. Now we saw you use that earlier on actually with the little um, door yep. with the sponge at the top, but you, you're actually using it by... This sort of time I've just daubed it here and there and I'm just using my big, stipple, my big uh, stenciling brush to stipple that, to spread it around yep. a little bit. Otherwise, it will stay where you put it. Okay. I'm adding water to this as well. I've put in some pixie sparkles in there. And then I'm going to bring in my fluffy stuff. Love so it. I'm just going to squeeze this. And that's all right to put that on? Yeah, obviously. Like oh, this. That's gone already. What? Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> surprise me. It does it every it's time. Great. It's such fun. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more of my sprays. Just the middle was a bit lacking. And then just a piece of card and just a little bit of a oh. twist. And let me grab some paper because this needs this to... This is just so much fun, Gwen. I love doing stuff like this. I love... I'm, I'm like the mad scientist in... <laughs> I, love... <laughs> I love it. I love messing. Oh, right. Now that 
needs to be heated. This, I would take another print off that if I was yeah. at home. Um, but obviously for now, I'm just going to lob it on the floor. <laughs> Technical term? Technical term, lob. Stuck it on the floor, lob it on the floor. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get my heat gun on this. Let me just do my usual spritz yeah. on the back. So we stop the curly whirly. Yeah. It's just water to stop. Just it. water. Here we go. So this is going to, what happens, the fluffy stuff will absorb the colour. Oh, I forgot. I forgot a bit. Oh, we forgot your sparkle. I forgot my sparkle. Never forget to sparkle. Now, if you drop your sparkle into your fluffy stuff, it will hold it. The water-based ink sprays won't because they just dry and it'll fall off once it's dry. But the fluffy stuff, when it puffs up, as you saw in that earlier little quick demo I did, yeah. will actually encapsulate and hold this sparkle. I don't know what went down there, but something went. It's just because I'm standing next it's to your things effect. falling off again. It's your effect, Ruth. They just asked me what I was doing standing here again. I know, well, look. How it's gorgeous is happening. this? Hopefully we can see this start to lift and fluff yeah. up now. It does take a little while. But once it goes, oh, oh wow, look there at that. So just the bits with the fluffy stuff are going to rise. Yes. But it's going to bring some colour up with it. And when it's dry, this, it feels like suede. It's just the most gorgeous texture. Mm. Well, that's a good bit there. Yeah. So this is a lot more random and, it, you know, you'll get what you get. You can't really predict it. But it is such fun. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> and I guess if you want more of a rise, just put more put of it on. Put more on, yeah. If you're not happy with what you've got, you can do repeat the process. Oh, so you can go back. You can go you back. Can go back. Of course you can. And what I've done with some of mine, because it stayed a bit too white and I didn't want it so white, so I spritzed on top of it again. And that helped to colour it even more. So I'll show you that in a sec. Let's just get this dry. You can see how that's all puffing up now nicely. Just get that bit there. It's like an amazing sunset with clouds and it already starts. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Mm. So some of this glitter will be loose. If you just tap any loose bits, that will just pop off. But look at how much of that has been held by yeah. that fluffy stuff. Yeah. And you've got all that fantastic texture, shimmer, sparkle. But I just want to show you how, if you're not completely happy, you can go back in with your spritz and you can just add a little bit. These bottles are totally controllable. Mm -hmm. And look how orange the fluffy stuff has now wow. gone. So it doesn't have to stay, it won't stay white or slightly creamy or, you yeah. know, if you want it really coloured, just spritz on the top of it. Mm -hmm. And there you go, you've got a fantastic background. That's amazing. So let's progress on to the rest of our project. So I'm going to use Be Happy and I'm going to cut it from a piece of that that I did earlier. And I want to use the rest of it um, you're sort of going to get a two for one out of this. So I'm going to make sure I pop this in the middle. And you'll see what I mean when, I, uh, when I've cut it. And if you do want the Be Happy dye on its own, there's only two left. They're ah. incredibly quickly. Uh, so only £10.99. It's lovely though, isn't it? It's beautiful. It and bees are so popular and so topical, aren't so they, as well? They? And when's, when's World Bee Day again? 20, 20th of May. So coming up. So, so Gem Poria die cutting and embossing machine as well. So if you want to grab hold of that, if you don't have yours, um, that's going to cut it absolutely perfectly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a superb machine nice and uh, very, very easy to use yep. and cuts beautifully. So now, if I'm careful with this, we've got our innie and our outie, as we like mm -hmm. to say. I also want to keep all the little bits and pieces that have come out of the die cut as well. Yep. So all the little hexagons of the bee, the beehive, mm -hmm. all these little pieces I want to keep because I can pop those back in uh, and use again. Yep. So I've got this piece, which you think, oh, well, that's, that looks nothing. But if we cut that again out of another color, I love that. Let me show you what this bit looks like. So this is the bit, you might think this is the bit you want, which it is for one card, but mm -hmm. this is certainly not wasted. Um, and I, that's what I love about dyes like this, because you do get this, as we refer to it, an innie and an outie. Yeah. Um, try and keep all your little bits, and, um, and then if you do want to paper piece, you can do that. So just pop all those out. Gorgeous. 
and then I'm going to cut it again in a much darker colour cardstock for a contrast. So let's just get all those bits out. That's my doing it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't always get them all, but it's certainly a good start. It's off well. You do need to make sure your die is clean before you go back to try and cut again. Otherwise, the bits get wedged into the die yeah. and then it doesn't cut very well. Yeah. Um, so you do need to make sure you pick all the little bits out. Mm -hmm. But it's not a hardship, is it, really? No. So again, I've got this piece of our beautiful um, antique copper pearlescent card stock. It's beautiful. And I'm going to cut the die again. So I'll bring back my plates, keep my hexagons. And then you'll start to see where I'm going with this, hopefully. And if you want the whole bundle for Be Happy, you don't just want it on its own. If you want the bundle, it's in bundle A. So you get Be Happy, Home, Tweet Home. And of course you get that lovely frame, which Ooh. is Roses in Bloom. Okay, so now we've got the same. So I've got this That's waist piece and I've got this beautiful, dark, rich, shimmery, coppery colour. And we have our two for one because I'm going to put the outline from one into the outer of the other and vice versa. If nice. I can get it out of the die. Come on. That out. Proving me wrong now. Oh my word, it's gripping onto it. <laughs> if I can just get my finger between it, there we go. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. So you just need to find the right bit and we can pop that back in there. And let me move this and then we can see what I'm doing. Hopefully. So we've got that one there and we've got that one there. Lovely. So two cards yeah. out of one panel and one other piece of card. And then I'm going to bring in the fabulous glitter bits. <gasps> so I have here some double-sided adhesive sheet, which we've brought for you again. And I'm going to pop this behind my die cut piece. This is brilliant. And you get so what I recommend, really sorry. Nope, what I recommend is you take your release paper and pop it down so that you can flip that onto it so that when you put this across the back, it doesn't stick to your table or what's mm -hmm. underneath it. So just make sure that that's in place. Or you can pop it in afterwards. Hang on, let me just get it positioned properly. So you're going to get five sheets of the double-sided um, self-adhesive. And it's only £5.75 on those as well. This is great stuff as well, isn't it? Oh, it's wonderful. I use it such a lot. So there we are. I've still got a bit in my E. Come out. <laughs> e. Right. Um, just make sure all those little die cut edges are pressed down. And that um, is die on Gwen's finger. She's not bleeding, by the way, just in case you were. <laughs> oh, this is normally what I look like. You're getting the real me now. <laughs> Enough of the pretending to be tidy. <laughs> um, right, so I'm going to put the iced snow in here. Did you say that's all gone? Um, it's not all gone yet, but it's, it's heading that way. Oh, yeah, it's selling out very quickly. We'll bring the graphics back in for it, though, because it's gorgeous. So let's gorgeous. pop this across the oh. area of the aperture that's sticky, and then we can it's look amazing. just rub that through all those little apertures that are, of course, sticky. Yeah. Shake off that excess and look at that. Oh my goodness. How pretty. That's Sparkly fabulous. Sparkly gorgeous. And uh -huh. all those lovely colours. You can't really see it on the screen, can you? But it is really super sparkly. It's, re it's like really sparkly. It is, it's yeah. like frost. Yeah, it, it, that's, is. It, it really is like frost. It's just beautiful. And then with the other one, I'm going to use a different one. Okay. So again, I'm going to work face down with it. Let's grab the second piece. So I'm just thinking with that set, you could have Jack Frost covered in, in, in all of the glitter and the frost standing next to Santa Claus with all the fluffy stuff. <laughs> Gee, you're getting Press right into this, aren't you? Yeah, love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get our aperture, our shape in place. 
it should just snap back in because of course mm -hmm. it's cut with the same dye you might have to just coax it because yeah. cardstock does stretch okay so you might just have to coax it a little bit but nothing yeah. much and then we can pop this across the back and i'm going to be using the blush haze which is rather spectacular this is the one i popped into the background when i was doing that if you remember so this is going to help pull it together so this is part of your holographic glitter isn't it yes and what's lovely about these they have three different sizes of particle in them so even if you're filling up tiny gaps there will be a particle that will fit they lovely they are so just knock off the spare and look at that that's gorgeous love that color isn't it lovely oh it's, there's so i say color there's so many colors within yes that. yes that is the very blush. vibrant oh it's amazing they? there's blues there's greens there's yellows in that blush haze that holographic nature just yes it really it's, is it's something. wonderful it is part of a set so you've also got sea spray i'll do it like that so you've got the sea spray which is the one at the bottom then you've got your blush haze and then we've got the teal haze as well. Which, I mean, the teal haze, there's so many of those gorgeous magentas and pinks in that one as well. I mean, they are, they are just stunning. So many, and that's the holographic part of it is that you don't get one flat color. You get lots of different sort of elements. Not £13.50 today though. We are gonna go lower on those. Don't worry if you have already checked out, it's fine. You will only ever pay the final low price. You get 25 mil in each, but they last a long time. And no offense whatsoever to whoever took the photograph, at all i love you dearly but you just can't it's like you almost can't photograph them because they're so sparkly yeah. you need to see them at home you see them in real life they just they're just lovely aren't they they really are and the sim the finishing off is really quite simple for that one i chose a lovely soft pink and made a frame for it and this one i used the same soft pink but i made a frame with a circle cut from the middle of it and i've got that on some foam tape so i can pop this oops around this one so although I've done pretty much the same process on both of these we're going to finish up with two quite different looking cards the other thing I've done on my original samples was pop some of those hexagons back in and no. pick out the B but yeah. that all takes time yeah so once those are mounted these are the two cards that you could expect to finish up with they're fabulous beautiful look all that sparkle get your holographic <sighs> cosmic shimmer because it's a game changer Honestly, absolutely, they are just perfect. Especially with the, with the double sided adhesive sheets. You, yeah, it's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Definitely adding new adhesive okay. sheets on those ones as well. They're gorgeous. A few more designs from Be Happy to share with you. And then we're going to dive into Home Tweet Home again. For, I mean, look at that as well. Also gorgeous. This is also, so your Home Tweet Home is also from Bundle A. Is that Bundle B, my lovely? That's all right. Uh, so there we go. So there's another one. Let's bring in. Here we go again. So another card again. Using the acetate, you can see that on there as well. That's again bringing the craft, bringing in the, the sort of the, the string or the twine looks fantastic with your sentiments in there as well. So bundle A, these are all from. Let me show one more to you. So again, you can see in terms of the colour you've got that. So that again is using, I believe the is that using again the amber lights. I would think probably using your amber um, or would it be the it's, cosmic? It's amber lights, a little bit of it's flirty amber. pink and uh, one of the pixie sparkles. Right, there you go. So absolutely fantastic. They're beautiful. I'm going to show you the pixie sparkles in a second as well because I think they look amazing. Just to give you an idea of those colours because I didn't share these with you. Um, they're just fabulous. So that's your sunburst. Look at it. It's gorgeous. That's your sunburst. I just think these are fabulous. This is beyond blue beyond the blue then you've got that gorgeous fuchsia rose which is so so stunning oh look at that my goodness i managed i don't know what i'm seeing a butterfly in that just just chucking that out there purple affair we've also then got heavenly hues that's lush and green bay my wordy eh? aren't they fabulous so that's a, a little idea of what they will all look like actually Oh, really? So sunburst, I think we've seen the sunburst and it's so effective, isn't it? So the sunburst and the beyond blue are actually two of the most popular colours on those today. But they last such a long time. You've got a 30 millilitre uh, bottle, but they do come in a little bundle of two uh, on those ones. So that's your, your blue and your sunburst together on those ones. But they're fantastic, aren't they? They're only £8.50, but the, look at it from there. Gorgeous, bright and cheery is what we want right now, isn't it, quite frankly? Right, home tweet home. Let's go. Right, let me show you a couple of cards whilst we're getting ready 
for this again. So this is your home tweet home or from your home tweet home stencil, not stencil at all, uh, from your die. And um, you can see there it's from bundle A. Isn't that fabulous? We've got some serious sparklage going on around there as well. But it's the way that you can use your die. That's what's so exciting about this. Uh, not using all of it, just taking the little bird uh, section out of that, that from within uh, the aperture. I'm taking the home and leaving the tweet home. So it's just home. There's no place like home. And actually, there's no place like is from your wordy sentiment sheets. So you can add that into your order as well. And then you've got the, uh, I mean, we've used sort of the, uh, the roses, I think, on that, the roses in bloom. So mixing two of those dyes together, which is brilliant. And that's why we've really uh, sort of brought this whole uh, selection to you because these bundles do work incredibly incredibly well together right home tweet home there's no place like it is there Gwen? there really isn't so um i've done the background for this card in exactly the same way as you've just seen me do but using different colors right so i've used the mayor blue and flirty pink and then i've used the tantalizing teal luster polish the beyond blue pixie sparkle and the teal haze glitter bits so if you want me to do that again, I will do, but it's exactly the same as what you just saw me do with the oranges and yellows. Okay. So we can save time if, yep. if not, but if you want me to do it, just give us a holler. So I just want to show the dye in action because it's always worth having a look at how beautifully these dyes do actually cut. Yeah. If I can find the right dye. It's all right. And that's your Maya Blue and your Flirty Pink, by the way, just if you want to have a little look at those. I know, it's cute, isn't it? <laughs> flirty Pink, it's a gorgeous colour. So I'm going to cut the panel with both the frame and the decorative part. So let's get these positioned in place. Yep. And I usually start with a panel slightly bigger than I need, just so that I've got something to attach the dies to, as well as to each other, just to keep the positions right. <clears throat> Let me grab my plates. Oh, clean off the last lot. <laughs> okay. So cutting surface up with this machine on the magnetic plate, yep. which is fab. And let's run that through. Popping that through. And if you do want your, um, your Gemporia cutting and die cutting and embossing machine it's there it's on the web that is available for you to grab hold of as well and don't worry if you're looking at the plates thinking but they're all marked they will be marked that will happen naturally won't it yes you? that's that's what they're designed to take all the wear and tear that's yeah. exactly what they do they they are called a cutting plate yep they are designed to be cut into yep, so they without can... that give that you get from the plate that i wouldn't cut no Right, so let's have a look at how beautifully this has cut. And as I say, with that machine, it makes life so easy because all the little pieces pop out. They might stay in the die and you still have to get them out of the die, but they do come out of your die cut, which I find is the easier option is cutting it away from the... Uh, cutting them out of the die is easier mm. than getting them out of your die cut. Oh, I've got some strays in here from last time. <laughs> So you just poke all the bits out, but you get the idea. That's yeah. that's how well they, they, they do cut these dies. So I have got one that I've already done. So let's just have a look at this. All right, so I've got my main die cut and I want to sit it on a, a contrasting background, which I've done with the fluffy panel. If I can find it, I'll show you my blue sparkly oh. panel. This is just beautiful, look at that. Ah, oh, lovely. How gorgeous is that? So that's going to be the layer that's going to go behind um, my die cut. And you can choose which bit of that you mm. want to pick out. If you've made a big piece, you can probably get two backgrounds out of it. Um, you can decide, I think I like the blue at the top for the sky and the okay. those that look like clouds and plenty of sparkle. Oh, yeah. So you just position that where you want and then cut with just the frame. Um, cut out the, the section that you want for your background. Okay, so that's gonna be your next piece. And then with this piece, what I want to do is actually paint with one of the Pixie Sparkles. Ooh. So I'm going to use Purple Affair. And I'm going to just tap some into this little palette that I've got here. 
Um, you, I've already used it, as you can see, but I left it like that deliberately because you can reactivate these. If you've used them and they're in your palette, just leave them to dry. Okay. And you can come back to it and reactivate it and oh, carry right. on using it. So they don't go to waste. Fabulous. So let's add some water into that. And which colour are we using? We've gone for this the... is Purple Affair. Purple Affair. So give that a good mix. And then we're just literally going to paint that around the edge of this piece of card. Now, for me, that's a little bit wishy-washy, but that's fine because all I need to do is take a little bit more powder, mm -hmm. make the liquid a little more concentrated. And Purple Affair comes in a duo with Fuchsia Rose, so you get those two colours together. Which actually are the two that I've got in my little palette there. Lovely. They're gorge. They are really stunning. And I guess you can, can you control how intense the, the yes. colours are? Yes, absolutely. As you saw, the first layer I put down, it was quite pale and, um, you know, too much water for what I wanted. So I added yeah. some more powder. Lovely. Or what I could have done is put some powder directly onto the border um, and then paint from there. And that would really oh, wow. look at that. And that, that way you can also, really if you don't brush it completely out, you can see some of the, the other colours that are in there. I love these, absolutely love these pixie sparkles. The sparkle on them is something oh, else. Fab. Just so clever. So that's my next panel. Mm -hmm. And I always feel when I'm when I'm working with products like this and designing cards and samples, it's it's about making everything match. And because yeah. you've got products that you can use in that way, you that's what you can do. Mm -hmm. So it's really lovely to be able to do that. And then for my final layer, I've got a slightly bigger card and I'm going to bring in the two airless misters. So this is Maya Blue and Flirty Pink. Lovely. I'm going to just get my spray box for these. Maya Blue is very popular today, which I'm not surprised. It's the most beautiful, like you say, it's like the sea. Yeah. Uh, as your Maldives kind of mm. look, isn't it? Not that I've ever been, but. No, one day, hopefully. So this is just, I just want the borders of this um, coloured, so I don't need too much. If you vary the speed and the heaviness with which you press the button, you yeah. can vary what comes out. Okay. So you can get big blobs if you're more tentative. If you push yeah. it down firmly, you'll get a fine, even mist. Right. So you've even got control over that. And I guess depending on how far you are away. Yes, absolutely. And if you've got movement when you're spraying or not. Yeah. I've got to just great. get that to stay flat. It's almost gone like purple as well. That's right. When you mix, obviously, blue and pink, yeah. that's, that's going to happen. I want a bit more blue, so I'm going to go back in. Right, stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good trick as well, is knowing when to stop. Oh, just sure. need to let that dry on its own. You can, again, speed up with a heat gun, but when that's dry, you'll finish Look up with something that. a little bit like that. Fabulous. Okay. So... We can then begin to put this together. So we're going to have our lovely colourful background. We've got a white piece to mat it onto, a white card somewhere. Oh, never mind. Um, so layering up, yes, I've got a white piece to separate the borders as well, because they all get a bit much when you see them all together. Yeah. So you do need that white separation. So then we've got another white panel like that. We've got the piece that we've painted the edge for, and then we've got our fluffy border, or we will have, with our white birds on there. Mm. And that's what you get when you put that all together. That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's got, got the those. fluffy stuff and the sparkle and everything in that background. It's just... Phenomenal. And you pull it all together by using the colours again on your layers. Just lovely that you're getting that colour from, from behind the actual mm -hmm. image, aren't you? Mm -hmm. it just, it... And again, I featured some of the wordies in there. Ah. Yeah, don't forget your wordies. They are very popular. They were popular a little bit earlier on. They're only £2.99. You get four sheets. And there are three different um, choices. So you've got the birthday sentiment wordies, you've got everyday, and you've got inspirational. And there is loads on there. Literally four sheets with each one. So four sheets of birthday. Loads of different phrases. You can see some of them on there. Like best wishes, cheers, age is not a number. No, age is just a number. It is a number, uh, sadly. Hip, hip, hooray. Make a wish. Hugs, just for you. 
every day and this is the most popular right now in there you have enjoy be you good times celebrate hi cheers joy always cheer up all in there uh, you've also got it's probably not probably not say like that they'd be a bit more of a cheer up rather than come on cheer up you uh, then you've got it depends where you are in the world inspirational inspirational today's a new day i like that one uh, live laugh love that's a favorite uh, remember this moment that's good dare to dream they really are inspirational i love those there there are no little dreams just big adventures i want to say on that be a voice not an echo sometimes i get told the other way be more of an echo ruth and, and i have to say creative expressions have really done the work there haven't they really do uh, my producer cat saying she's really bad with coming up with the right words uh, and his, uh, her boyfriend's really good at it, awkward. You, you need these in your life then, Kat. Simply, hello, I like you a lot. Um, they're great, they're absolutely great. And then you can be inspired by those. You can actually change the colour on those as well. We spoke about that a little bit earlier on. Uh, by hot foiling, we're going to see that at some stage in the future uh, because of the toner that's been used on those. So four of each, remember, two ninety nine pounds for, for a set. Grab all three. Then you've got 12 sheets of sentiments for less than a tenner. Love it. And you're only paying one set of postage and packaging, don't forget. Doesn't matter whether you buy one die today, whether you buy the entire kit and caboodle, whether you buy everything from all five hours, still only £3.95. And that lasts until midnight. So even if you just trot off to bed tonight, about half past nine, after you've had a cup of cocoa, and you think, oh, I've got to go back and get that, you will be able to. My ambition is to try and get to bed a little bit earlier. I'm rubbish at going to bed, are you? No. Are, you, are you all right? Well, I usually go up, I read, and after, within 10 minutes, I'm ready to go. Oh, you are good. See, I, have to, I do have to read, but it's just actually getting into bed. I mess, I've all done this since I was a child, just mess around forever, doing nothing, stalling, my mum used to. Are you stalling? <laughs> yes, um, Right, OK, let's bring back in. <laughs> just been wandering around on the landing. Cosmic shimmer, sparkly. Our landing was really small, by the way. It wasn't like a grand place I lived. Just used to stand there because I didn't want to go to bed. I didn't understand. I thought it was boring. I thought sleep was a waste of time. Now I, <laughs> now I know. Can't get enough of now it. I can't get enough of it. Literally, can't sleep. Six pound ninety-nine for your sparkly, fluffy kit. This is rather fabulous. Lots of you are checking out on this. It does come with your iced snow glitter jewels. Have a look at that. So that's your cosmic shimmer. Really popular. It literally is like the fresh snow like the frost that you've got on there as well and of course there is that's your fluffy stuff that's your white fluffy stuff looks like glue when you pop it on then when you heat it it, 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 it fluffs up so you make some fabulous fluffy beards sheep or the frothy bubbliness on your beer fluffy um, white rabbit a fluffy white rabbit just the tail would be really cute wouldn't yeah. it just a little bobby yeah. tail and we've got some lovely obviously some lovely um top of a cupcake the icing oh could eat a cupcake i could That'd go down. Just it's always food. I know. Well, I've not had a slice of cake yet. If you're wondering what the twelve's about, by the way, that's our sister channel, Jewelry Maker. They're twelve today. There was a lovely cake. Have we had any? Not yet, but I'll sniff it out. Don't you worry. I will find some of that. Right. Okie dokie. So moving on to, moving on to where love grows. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous one. Let me share this with you. So this is one of your dyes we launched a little bit earlier on as well. It's beautiful. You've got the little rabbit staring up into the tree and there's a little bird there a little dicky bird and it's dropping down a beautiful little love heart and you'll see then in the tree not only do you have the leaves the buds there are little perhaps flowers stars you've got hearts in there as well so a lot of detail i'll show it to you when it's coming alive as well look how gorgeous that is as well just for you that is absolutely beautiful and i'm guessing that has maybe is that the fuchsia rose potentially the pixie sparkles could well be could be could i am well guessing be. but you can certainly see, see the sparkle a mixture, in it can't you yeah. yeah it's wonderful let me show you another one as well so you can see just you i mean the rabbit's gone on that one uh, you don't have to have it in on every one he's probably gone for a nibble somewhere so really focusing on the tree of life potentially on that one and then bringing in another oh look at this oh i like that as well how different is that that's gorgeous that's my friend irene who's done that isn't irene. that fab that's Again, wonderful just in the craft brown and cream just beautiful but she's used an embossing Detail. folder with wood grain to get that that's lovely isn't it isn't that special that's gorgeous and the border again from the home yeah. sweet home die that is lovely just beautiful you can see that and you've got the little twine at the bottom as well that's really and the little story you told us earlier on about the little bunny, bunny and, and bird the, bunny and bird is actually inspiration from Makes a book sense, doesn't it? gorgeous 
yeah. very very beautiful so if you want that dye on its own it's there for you at 14 pounds 99 so that's a that's a, another wonderful one to have are we going to do a little demo with that one is that the next yes, one yes actually yeah, super is. duper that's lovely that is cool so i'm using the outer edge and the inner cutting uh dye for this next one or am I? Let me think. No, I'm not actually. I don't <laughs> need the outer I? cutting edge. Now, the beauty of that is I can cut this with the border as wide as I like if I don't use that cutting edge. Um, so it's really lovely to have them in that format yeah. where you've got the option of having an outer edge or not. So I nearly, nearly did it wrong then, but hey. All right. She's throwing things everywhere. This I, know. I, was, I thought I'd covered that Gwen to you said. <laughs> It's a long way down. Right. So, this is cut from a pearlescent cardstock and it just gives it the most beautiful shimmering finish. This is, our, again, that vintage copper that I was talking about that we do have in our range. That's wonderful. Put that down. All right, so we've got the die cut and I've got the option, as I say now, of having that frame as wide as I like. Had I cut it with that, it would have been that size and that would have been it, which is fine. Yeah. But that wasn't quite what I wanted. So, I wanted that so I could then put something else on top of it and make the borders wider. So behind that, I'm going to put a panel, same procedure you saw me do earlier with the fluffy stuff, mm. the dyes, the glitter, the pixie sparkles and all of the above. Lovely. So that's, that was actually the first print I took. When you do that method, I did mention that you can take more than one print off what you've got on your mat. So yeah. this was the first print, so it was very strong, heavy mm -hmm. colors. And then the second print will be a lot milder. So this is going to go behind our bunny and bird with the tree. Mm -hmm. And again, you might need to just play around and decide which bit you like best. I quite like it there. All right. And then I'm going to put a frame over that once I'm at that point. So that kind of pulls it all together. Wow. So just pop that to one side while I show you another step in this. Mm -hmm. sample so I'm going to be using tango tees I'm still wearing it <laughs> best way to be when you're a crafter yeah got to have, got to have mucky pulls oh okay. yeah you can't craft clean so we're just going to swipe this up and down the edge of the piece of card so that again we've got that beautiful coordination between all the layers even though there's a lot of different textures and products going on as long as you pull all that together by using those same colours and products in different layers and different ways, your project will work. There's nothing worse in my life than trying to find a, a matching colour to no. mat something onto and, and you just don't have quite the right colour and no. it just, it can ruin a project if it's not, you know. And like you say, you can be searching for hours and hours and oh, hours and still not. Yeah, whereas anymore. this, you've done it in minutes. Yeah. So that tango is part of a set of three. You've also got that gorgeous green, which was the apple fizz. And you also get that amazing, amazing blue, which is the tantalizing teal. So you get a set of three there for, uh, for £18.75. So there you've got your background to your lovely bunny. I've also got um, my panel already cut, but obviously I need to cut this to fit. So what I can do is use this now to create the backdrop to my bunny die. So if right. I bring back in my plates and I can select, as I said, the, the portion of the background I want to utilize. Yeah. And then choose that. And these bits that are left over, you can use on something else to mm -hmm. make a border from or cut a, a die cut sentiment from or yeah. some flowers. It never goes to waste. No. I always, always make a panel a lot bigger than I need when I'm doing things like this. Yeah. So I've got extra bits and pieces because you can guarantee you get to the end of it and you think, oh, I wish I had a sentiment, yeah. but I've nothing that matches to, to cut it from. So it's always a good, a good habit to get into. Okay. So there we have now our lovely panel and obviously that you can use for something else on a later. It's like a frame for another card as well. Absolutely, you could do that, yeah. So look at that now. Gorgeous. And I've got my panel that I've already cut down to pop on there. And actually what I decided was it would be quite nice if there was a bit of distance between that and the background. So what, what I did, I actually pushed it in ever so slightly. So can you see how it's bowed up slightly? Right. 
So you don't always have to lift things up on foam. Mm -hmm. And then I got my frame onto foam and that really sets it off. Yeah, okay. In my opinion, you might not agree, that's fine. No, I do. And then I mounted that onto craft card stock and there oh we gosh. have that one. They're done. just, they're fabulous. So all those backgrounds with the same exact procedure, all yeah. done on the messy mat. Just swipe your cardstock through whatever mixture you want to put down. And if you put the fluffy stuff down, mm -hmm. put the glitter on while the fluffy stuff's wet. Yeah. And then get your heat gun on that and watch the magic happen. It, and it really is magic. They're wonderful. So I mean, literally go. hundreds and hundreds of different designs, colorways that you could add on. Yeah. To I mean, those two look things. quite different, don't they? Yeah, completely. I've got one. I mean, I love those colors. I think those yeah. oranges. Well, are I was thinking sort of autumn, I think, when yeah. I'm in the head with the colors I had. They are, they're wonderful. And if you have used the fluffy stuff, I've got just found one here as well, uh, handmade by Christine. And I mean, we've got fluffy stuff going on in abundance, I believe. Yeah. On well, the as I that. say, it was Christine's original method, this, that I uh, pinched. So Borrowed. that's Christine. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And that says, happy birthday, which is cute. And look at the little heart there. So you've got a little heart possibly cut it's out. It's popped out from one of those, yeah. Yeah, so you can see yeah. there. And it's got the little gold glitter on as well. Nothing goes Absolutely to waste, lovely. nothing. But look how different every single one of these cards are. Similar, obviously, I mean, obviously you've got the same die, but literally taking inspiration from so many different things. And another one here, a little, a smaller size on this one, uh, handmade by Christine, which is also gorgeous. Really, really fabulous, isn't it? There's beautiful bright colour tones. Is there fluffy stuff on that as well? Yeah, we've got some fluffy yeah. stuff in the corner, definitely, but yeah. You've got fluffy stuff on that. It's wonderful texture. It's really yeah. tactile it's as well. It's very suede and soft and velvety. It's, lovely. it's beautiful. It'd be lovely on baby cards. Oh, Little cute. light pink bunnies. And really cute. Even on birds. I'm just thinking yeah. about the stalk and everything. Yeah. You can still make it stork. work on that for a bit more. Oh, the stalk. The stalk. You know, remember, that's yes. how they arrive, Gwen. Remember, yes. that's how babies I've arrive, forgotten. by by the stalk. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of a flower stalk, you know. <laughs> 14 99 If you want to get hold of Where Love Grows, grab hold of that die because it's it's just it's beautiful if you want the bundle of three you can do that as well, well bring the details back in for the bundle of three which is a bundle b so uh, a little saving on that one for you as well on bundle b so you get where love grows you get by moonlight and petty fleur petty fleur there we go by moonlight there we go uh, and of course you also get I can find it. Dun, 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 dun. Which one am I missing there? Oh, um, the, one, the one I literally just had in my hand. The tree. Rose. Mm -hmm. There we are. Obviously, very simple, Ruth. Um, I think we might have time for another demo. Oh, OK. We've had a request. Yes. OK, request for demo three with the petty fleur. Yes. If that's possible. That is absolutely is that okay? possible. Just give me two that's ticks. That's OK, no problem. So we'll bring the petty fleur. And what I will do... Let me show you Petit Fleur on its own, and I will show you a couple of the uh, card designs using the Petit Fleur. If I can find them, because I've mixed all of these up. Um, is that my Petit Fleur? I think it might be. Over here, over here, Petit Fleur. Yes, there we go. Let me put my little rabbits down. There we go. So Petit Fleur, here we go. So you can have a little look there. Rather nice, rather sparkly again. Look at that. Gorgeous sentiment again in the center. That's rather beautiful. And then mixing two of these together. So not only do you have the petty fleur, you also have home tweet home, but just using the little birds from within there. Don't knock those over, Ruth. Uh, so you've also got those. And I know, so far we've got 350 minutes. I haven't yet knocked anything over. Don't there is speak time. Too soon. There is time, exactly. And then look how wonderfully rich that is. That looks incredible. All of the different colours that you're getting. Got some embossing going on behind there as well from Ali. Wonderful. So some really, really lovely styles on that one. So gorgeous border dye. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll have a little, a quick little demo of this one, if that's all right. Yeah. So Petite Fleur doesn't have an outer edge. It actually cuts its own edge. So it's mm -hmm. all in one, which is lovely. So if you did want to border on it, you just simply make a bigger mat to sit it onto. Or you could have a frame that comes just to the edge. You know, there are still options, um, but it's really lovely because it's kind of a finite design. So it's really easy to work with. So let's just pop this through the machine and get that cut. It's absolutely packed with detail, this die. It's so intricate, it's just beautiful. Zooming it through. I always feel like I need to clean after I've been here. I live such a mess. That's all right. <laughs> we know you've always been here. I like it. <laughs> Leave your print on life. 
Leave evidence. <laughs> no, never leave evidence. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'll talk to you about that later. <laughs> so when you cut this, the middle comes out. Um, so you've got that opportunity to put something, obviously, in the centre as well. And then again, you just need to release it from the die because it is so intricate. It's not that it's not working properly. It's just the intricacy of it. The die doesn't let go so easily. But once you get one corner lifted, then it's quite easy to remove yeah. from the die. But again, take your time. Don't just yank. Um, just gently tease it out. And you can see most of the bits have stayed in the die, which makes life so much easier. Because you can just take out any any small pieces that are left in here and just pop those out. It's so easy. The more intricate the die, the more of this you'll have to do. Mm. That's just the nature of the beast. Yeah. So I'll, uh, there are some other needs to come out, but I won't spend time doing that because what I want to show you is how I can change the way this looks completely. So I'm going to bring in that amazing tantalizing teal luster polish. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to colorize the whole die cut. Mm -hmm. So just when you're using these, the thing to do is to create a little slope up the side of the jar. Just swipe the sponge up to the side and make sure you've got it loaded, but not clogged with material. Yeah. And then I can just ever so quickly, this is so quick, it's the best way ever to colour a die coat, mm. I can't tell you. Just pounce that and sort of, I'm sort of pounce and, and little movements, nothing, yeah. nothing technical. <laughs> and you can give it a couple of coats and really build up that luster. Mm. Just watch if you get a uh, build up in the corners, just right. be careful of that. Let's have another go at this corner. Look at that. I've said there are a few bits that need to be poked out, but yeah. that's okay. okay. All right, and that's basically it. And then I'd also cut myself a sentiment out of this section that came from the middle. Um, Use that to cut um, a sentiment out of that as well and colorized that. I don't know what I've done with it now. Oh, here we are. So that came out of the waste bit. And I've cut myself a little shadow in silver just to help set it off. Yeah. Nice. So pop those two together like that. Um, but again, you could put some flowers in the middle. You could put a lattice, you, any, anything. There's yeah. all sorts of ways of utilising these sorts of dyes. Cool. So let's pop that to one side. I've got one that I've already done. And oops. Oh, no. I'm at it now, Ruth. There we have. Just, I've just passed over the droppy. So again, I'm using our double-sided adhesive sheet. And um, if you don't know what this is, it's a double-sided adhesive trapped between two protective papers, basically. So you take one layer off and you expose one side of the mm -hmm. adhesive. And then there's another layer on the back that you expose when you want your sticky surface. So I'm just popping this onto a piece of card. And then what I've done is taken an oval die and with the adhesive side facing up into the die, I've cut yep. an oval out of the middle of that. And what that's given me is this. Okay. All right. Now that's been sized so that this can sit on top of it. Gorgeous. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take the other side off that sticky. Now, if you remember, we left it facing upwards. And then I can position my petite fleur over that. So it just barely fits. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. And if you use your release paper to just make sure that's all pressed down really firmly. Yeah. Top tip. And that adhesive and, is on the screen as well now. And now what I'm going to do is bring in the sea spray glitter bits oh. and I'm going to just pop this mm. through just use your fingers to roll that around a bit and as I say because it's got those three different size particles in there it will fill even the tiniest little gaps because the smaller particles can get into those yeah and is that the sea spray this is the sea spray so it's your cosmic just shimmer so you've got three pots of those that's lovely and then you just gather that back Okay, 
and you're left with this amazing frame with wow. super sparkle and we can put that onto a background where are my bits so i chose a nice uh, silver mm -hmm. um, for a mat and a pale aqua and then i'm going to put my frame onto that so the matting and layering is quite simple you just let the yep. die speak for itself yep. really add your uh, sentiment and in this case i've done that little silver drop shadow so you just glue those together with a very slight offset and it's amazing how much depth and dimension it gives that and, sure. and it makes it really distinct and then this one's with a slightly different sentiment but that's the finished card oh, so that's really nice. that's the die cut colored with the luster polish amazing. and the sparkle Ah, oh, sending love to But isn't that beautiful? It really is. It's striking. And those colours, that teal is it's just gorgeous. amazing. Um, a quick message coming in. Is that a designer, Mark? Uh, Mark says, factoid. I think it might well be. Uh, it was with us yesterday. A factoid. The little shapes that pop out from a die are known as? Ephemera. Exactly. Loving the show. <laughs> I didn't know that. Did I didn't know that. I didn't ephemera. Know that. Ephemera. 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 Ephemera is more like a collection of collectibles. Yeah. Oh. With all the little shapes that you collect, ephemera. But obviously, oh, it has another there you, meaning. Well, there you go. Thanks for that, Mark. Every day's a school day, Mark. Thank you very much for that. We'll all be Googling that on the break and lots of other internet providers as well. Uh, thank you very much for that. <laughs> keep your factoids coming in. We like those. And keep checking out for all of your creative expressions. Bits, the dyes, the sprays, everything. But Gwen will be back. We're not letting her go yet. We're not letting her go. Uh, back for one more hour, of course, at five o'clock. But go and grab yourself a very quick cup of tea because it is that time. Um, and uh, yeah, a few more biscuits because Crafters Companion are back at the other side of this. We've got loads more to share with you in depth. Demos. Going to have a look at those inks as well. Uh, so, see you in a couple of minutes. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. Right guys, great news. Monday is going to be a big day because I'm going to be in the studios all day and I'm taking over. I'm taking over literally every channel. So from 8 o'clock I'll be on Sewn Street, 10 o'clock I'm going to be on Jewellery Maker, 1 o'clock I'm going to be on Hobby Maker for a full-on Crafters Companion takeover. Now, we don't do these very often and when we do, they are a big deal. So we've got free gifts galore, we've got some amazing special offers, literally time-limited special offers that you will not want to miss. We've got the most incredible lineup of products, I've got some fantastic demo demonstrations and I'm just telling you now hold on to your seats because it is going to be a fast and furious day from the second I arrive in that building to when they will me out at the end of the day so I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Monday for a full-on takeover on all of our channels I'll see you there welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel hobby maker dedicated to crafting We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations, and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making, and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, 
size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Let's do it. Gin. <laughs> I love Australia, but Turkey. Cow can in Turkey. I need to go back. It's my heartbeat. A cat, I love my cats. Sleep all day, get looked after, get fed, go to sleep again, get snuggles, go to sleep again, eat again, cat. Never seen The Godfather. <laughs> night in, because I'm old. Pajamas, big glass of gin, cats, husband, night in. Torn, Natalie and Bruglia. Uh, you give the no, can't do it. I'm torn, I'm already. No, don't, can't even do, do that again. I can't even do that. That's horrendous. Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So, how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Hello, welcome back to the show. Thank you very much for staying with us this afternoon. It's a fun old show and it's just going up another level. Corinne rejoins <laughs> us, of course, now from Crafter's Companion. Are you yep. right, my love? I'm really good, thank you. Yes, yes. Bit excited? I am about this, yes. A little bit excited right now because we're going to treat you, as you can see in front of <gasps> me right now. Uh, we have an incredible collection, although we're not going there first, we're going there. We're going there. Uh, but this is something we had for you just a couple of days ago and it went bonkers it did literally went absolutely crazy uh so we just had a little word before we came on air and we is there any chance so yes is the answer so new today for you the crafters companion 3d in fact i'll let you explain this because this, yeah. this is totally new to me yes so i could read it and that's fine but yeah. it's so new, you, 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 okay. you haven't even got I haven't got them yet. Mine are due to arrive tomorrow. <gasps> so you understand the concept of gilding flakes. They're absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous little gold off. flakes. Now, you're going to get... I'm going to pick them up because it's easier. You're yeah. going to get three 200 mil, millilitres... Yeah. I thought it would be... ...of these flakes. You get the silver. Wow. You get the sort of coppery bronze. Rose is always, isn't yeah. It? And I'm going to see if it just, it's burnished. So, And then the... Lovely gold. Oh, it says on there, it says it, burnished copper, argent silver and a red. Sorry. You're quite right, Julie. Julie's message, please don't let Ruth get near the gilding place. <laughs> <laughs> you're quite look, right, you're Julie. safe, you're safe. They will be everywhere. You're safe, yeah. look at this. Look, watch, watch, watch. Oh, see, that's Ruth proof. It's Ruth proof. <laughs> yeah, because we found out if gilding wax go over the floor, you can't hoover them up. Oh, Rick, they, they just go They up. just blow. <laughs> 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 It's like they create a 
<laughs> in front of you. Yeah, it's good fun. No, they're absolutely gorgeous. Right. So you're going to get 600 mil of these beautiful plates. They're gorgeous, large pieces. Now, what you're also going to get is you're going to, I'm going to bring it in, bring yeah. it in. You're going to get two packs of these foams and there's three sheets in each of these wow. packs. So you've got 57 shapes in there and 39 shapes in there. Okay. So what they are is it's double-sided foam cut out into the pattern that you can see there. Take them, put them on your project, yep. take the second side of the foam of the adhesive off, cover them in your gilding flakes. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm going to need these in my life, yeah. aren't I? Then the final bit of the collection is your toolkit. Now, you... That little sponge is once you yep. put once you put it on. So do whatever your project is over a piece of paper, just a bit like you saw Gwen just a few minutes ago doing her sparkles. You put paper yes. underneath. So once you put once you put them down and burnish them on, you can brush all the excess off with that. That's what that's for. Now you've got a dry ink pad in there and some glue. So your glue is going to whoops, put, create whatever you want to to do, stick them to everything. But what you can also do is you can put the glue on the ink pad. Okay. Then you can stamp any of your stamps and turn them into gilded beautiful designs so instead of so you would stamp with this clear liquid yeah. let it sort of start to cure yeah. then put your gilding flakes over Amazing. and that means that all your stamps can now be gilded in these beautiful colors look at these these Amazing. have been Unbelievably popular. Yeah, well, so we only introduced gorgeous. them on Monday, didn't yeah. we? And everybody went absolutely I'm not surprised. bonkers for them. And we're going to bring the price down for you. But remember, you've got super bumper pots here as well. Uh, so they are 200 millilitres each. So you've got 600 millilitres of that wonderful silver, that kind of burnished, almost like a rose gold copper. And then the pure, pure luxury gold. And of course, you've got the stamps. And of course, you've got the kit. 29.99. <gasps> wow. That's that's a launch deal, really, isn't it? That's yes. your starter pack. Yep. There's a lot in there for twenty nine yep. ninety nine. There is a lot. Give it a go. If you've been tempted, if you've seen us ever work with uh, this before, go for it on this. If you've been tempted to use the gilding flakes, maybe you've seen a couple of demos. The Those colours, colours, though, they are so opulent. They are so Wonderful. intense. They're absolutely gorgeous. The things that you're going to, to do, mix them together. Yeah. You can put them over your red liner tape. You could die cut out of your sticky, um, your double-sided adhesive sheets. You can, like we said, we can stamp with them. You can put them onto your foam pads. You can use your glues. So you can just, you know, put... There are certain... It's it's home decor. It's scrapbooking. Yeah. It's it's projects. Well, it's place. Yes, I'm going Have to... Have I just given something away, though? That's I just right. realised as I said that. Yeah, no, no, I've got some glass plates ready to do some demos with. Yeah, so actually, glass yeah. you can work with. And actually, yeah. Sarah, Sarah Davies has, has done a, a, an amazing video on... Uh, I don't know, it's on her social media, I think, yes. of, of doing, Instagram, creating yeah. a fabulous vase. We can show that to you, actually, now. Um, and it just... It's such a transformative yeah. thing. So all it's she's done there... Speeded up. All she did there was glue, put the glue on the inside, yeah. not all over. Because I was watching no. this at first, I was thinking... So she's just just using the brush now just to sort of burnish them down because yeah. of that. There you go. All you spent. Look at that. There's more oh, coming back in that pot than there was to take out. <laughs> now, she's put this tape on the top just to protect it and covered it up. Now, just spray adhesive and then she's filled wow. the inside of the vase. Look and look. That. That is I mean, fabulous. that is amazing, isn't it? I mean, you're going to have so much fun with this at the end of yeah. the day. So if you've got any sort of... Um, glassware you're thinking about at home right now again obviously that's a wonderful vase charger plates anything even I'm thinking about photo frames yep. all sorts so you've got the gold Gorgeous you've got that the, rose gold uh, mirror Phenomenal. Gild up your mirror frames. Yeah, absolutely. And you'd pay a fortune for something like this. Yeah. I'm going straight into kind of an antique uh, store right now. And you see these individual pieces that have been done by hand that you pay premiums for. You know, I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Oh, uh, yeah, beautiful. So you're getting all of this. That looks amazing, doesn't yeah. it? You could do the project that she's just shown you using this collection. Yeah. Because that's the gold. And did you see that once you started putting it back in, it expands? It's it expands. porridge. Yes. <laughs> Bubbling up and out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's 29.99 grab hold of that because it's a massive massive kit we do have and watch that what and obviously watch the show on monday because hopefully you'll see more of that on monday showcase as well um we've got a couple more selections for you here as well if you want to really build on your colors we can do this as well do you get them all I yeah them all. oh my word right you've got some of the moat these colors are absolutely phenomenal and just to confirm None of the colours you get in the starter kit are repeated. So, yes, right. you've still got 
uh, you've still got golds. Yeah, totally. You haven't got them, but they're completely different tones. So if yeah. you do want to mix to give you that absolutely oh. beautiful. Look at that. So running through those, you've got Midnight Mauve, Deep Iris, Lapis Blue. Then we've got Rose Gold. So that is a classic rose gold. Yeah. Then you've got the Soft Rose, which I, I love these. And then the Pretty Pink. They're amazing. Then if we go back to the top, uh, we then have, we're going to Outer Space now. So we've got Outer Space at the top. Blue, oh, it is May the 4th, isn't it? May the 4th be with you. Blue Moon, Starlight. And then as we go through into the following patina shades, you've got Sun Glow, Rich Copper, and you've got the Verdigris as well. Gorgeous, not your price. Now, all of these are, I think, uh, are they 100 mil, these ones? No, they're 50. 50 mil. So mm. you've got 50 mil on those ones. 12 piece collection. So, I mean, that's a but fabulous collection. But even at 60 pounds, it's only a five pound apart. See, maths. £44.99 now for 12. Wow. On £22.49 on split pay, you're getting 12 individual pots. Mm. That's £3.74 a pot. Wow. That's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, and they are bumper pots. I mean, these, these obviously, they're smaller than the other ones, but 50 mil, hopefully it's... It's sealed again. Hopefully. Are they roof proof? We shall find out because I'm going to go pink. Ofs. <gasps> wow. Let's find out. I mean, there's, there's pink and there's pink, which is that. That's the midnight mauve. <laughs> I'm going to do it over here. Just, yeah, I am. Yeah, I can't help it. Hopefully I, it's sealed. I don't think it will be roof proof. So I'll do that. <gasps> Oh, no, it is. I can feel it. You can feel it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a shame, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they are But fabulous. turn it upside down and you can really see, can't you? Yeah, I mean, the colours are amazing. Look at those. Look at that. Whoa. Just gorgeous. You can you can imagine see. if you could, you know, the two of the purples or even the blue with some of your gold mixed in. So you, they come in little pieces, so just lay them down. Yeah. So what we'd suggest is if you get a need, you might want to get some um, little containers or something so you can put them in. But always get a spare container okay. for your mix. Because okay, you're going to okay. create mixes at the end that the aren't going to go back into one pot. But well, then yeah. you can use your mix again and again and again. They're yeah. phenomenal. A few from each of those colours and creating yeah. a rainbow. Perfect. Oh, fabulous. So on split pay for £22.49 today, which again is wonderful. And please do add in that bumper collection. So popular. And actually, you can watch the show back, don't forget. It it was three o'clock on Monday. So if you want to watch back the three o'clock showcase, you can do. You can always watch back seven days. And very often they go onto YouTube as well. But we had to mention them today because we had so many of you <laughs> contacting us about them as well. But can't you see why? I yep. mean, they're just fantastic. Life's for colour and sparkle, isn't it? It Super is. Flat. Just phenomenal. Um, right, okie dokie. So we are going to see some more fantastic demos, of course, for you right now. We've got, just to recap, we've got two bundles and one big bundle on the die, um, which we, we can have a little look at. Should we start with the 12? Is that the, do you want to do the full? Yeah, let's do the whole kink. Why not? Let's do the whole kink, Caboodle. So the full... We've already told them about it once. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you're getting 22 pieces in here. So it's a massive, massive bundle. So this is your uh, your uh, Crafter's Companion Gemini Floral Aperture. Bless you, Andy. Uh, collection. So 22 pieces within there. Um, but obviously lots of different elements yes. made up in uh, each one. You can see there's three on this one. You've got six in there. All different styles, but they all work together really, really well. Uh, and we're going to see a lot of different designs on so these. what you've got is you've got two different parts to your aperture. And you can use them together to create one shape. Mm -hmm. But then you can use both one aperture twice or then you can use the other aperture twice. Okay. So this, can you see there? So that's where we've used both pieces. So yeah. you've got the detail and sort of the less detail. Then we've used the same detail twice by cutting from behind on the second one on that yeah. one. And on this one, we've used the, the um, less detailed one twice to create that gorgeous create that sort of art deco one. You don't need to go from behind that one because you can just spin that one and yeah. you can still cut it from the front. That's so can you see, nice. you've got at least three options. And then what you can start pulling them further apart yeah. and creating different different apertures as well yeah. it's so so pretty I just think it's a really pretty shape this one it's, it's, it's a, a bit one. different isn't it this is your yeah. floral delight yeah so floral delight um that we're going to pop that in on its own for you mm. that's actually one of our producer cat's favorite we're not allowed favorites but you know you can't help it sometimes uh so that is there on its own uh, and we'll bring the details in for that because people are buying these individually which absolutely you can do depending on your circumstances today it might be that you're just going to go for one it might be that you go for a, a, the whole bundle which is a, a lovely saving on that as well 
or you might go for the split bundle because we've done them in split as well so you can get three of one and three of another and we'll whiz through those for you as well so 9.99 if you want to grab hold of just that one now the top layer the top tier we are going in for uh you've got the butterfly heart the spring blooms and the opulent dragonflies uh which again all glorious and I, it's i can't pick a favorite from those at all uh middle one for me just yeah. because I've been using it, I'd love that I can emboss that one and raise the flowers on it like I did on that box. Yeah, true. I mean, I, I say that and then I go for the hearts, then I love the dragonflies. I love a dragonfly. Uh, but again, really workable. You can use different elements uh, from different dyes. You've got obviously six in that one as well, which is a, a lovely... You get all the flowers. Yeah, all the little variety of the flowers in there is super cute. So if you want to go for maybe uh, a half bundle, that's absolutely fine as well. So that would be £24.99 on that, which again, a great price considering all the different elements. You can see on the opulent dragonflies you've even got the little dragonfly that's sort of flying loosely mm -hmm. around in the center within there which you can sort of cut as many of those out as you wish really that's the whole beauty of them and then our second bundle the other three uh, we are talking about the nouveau roses the floral arch and floral delight so if you are more of a floral mm -hmm. kind of a person the bottom tier uh, which i'm going nowhere near are all of those floral uh, and these are really 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 detailed the ones yeah. that you've got there we've just had a little look at obviously more of the art deco one that you can see but gorgeous opportunity to get these as well i'm going to take the price down all the way to 24 pounds and 99 and you might just naturally gravitate towards one set than the other you might just look and go no i, I like more of the dragonflies or you might go more of the, the yeah floral, yeah yeah you're gonna have fine. favorites aren't you yeah you sure. really are sure. okay should we, should we see in them in in, per, in action yes. yes right now we have some centura pearl yes. now, i don't think this purple's in the centura pearl but i'm going to team it with the gorgeous pink. yeah i'm going to team it with the pink and i'm also going to team it with a gorgeous paper so this is the um country come on name it country, country lane, lane that's the word country lane paper so can you see how these colors are all working together so so beautifully yeah, they are fab aren't they yeah right so i'm going to i'm going to work with my um junior plates and i'm going to take two dies so you've got four dies in here you've got your two apertures and you've also got your flowers and your foliage. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to, just for the first one, I'm just going to cut the two together. And again, remember, we don't, we don't mark the centre when we're using these because they are yes. different sizes. So if you mark the centre, unless you wanted it mm -hmm. off centre, you're not going to get it quite right. So I've just done that by eye. I made sure my dies don't overlap. And then we're going to put one piece of tape on there. See so if I can get that second piece off that I put on. There we go. And then just pull that back. So because the dies are separate, you will have a tiny little pip to release. You okay. can't get round it because it's two dies. It right. cannot be continuous. It just yeah. can't be. But, I mean, it's the smallest pip that you have to release. So I'm going to cut that like that. And then I'm going to show you how we can cut it. Well, let's do it... Let's do the other one. I can do it this way. Right, so we've cut this out. There you go. Look, it's popped out. Isn't right. that beautiful? Glorious. So, so pretty. Now, let's take this one. Let me just clean. I think I just did that. Yes, dropped yep. it, cleaned it. <laughs> and uh, let me get this one last little piece on there. Make sure you clean your dies between cuts because... If, you know, if you say, oh, it's not cutting properly, just check whether you, your dye is clean because that could be as simple an explanation as, you know, why it is. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop this one on and I'm going to pull it right across the edge because it's going to be quite tight. And we're going to cut that just there and run that through just to show you how the different combinations, but look at this. Now, I'll show you something that I have done with this. Look at that. And all I've done behind there... It doesn't have to be pretty, but I've just added yeah. some piece of the piece of the pink and then little pieces of the, of the green. So the greens yeah. come out of the the butterfly vintage butterfly paper pack, yeah, out yeah. of there. And then the pink is the Centura pearl. So you can see. Right, now, let's have a look in here. So this has cut one half. Now, what you wouldn't want to do now is just... Let's just clean that a minute. There we go. You wouldn't then turn that round. Well, you could. It would flow, but your flowers are upside down. Yes. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, clean that, turn it upside down, and then cut from the back. Can you see there? I'm just going to have to just 
overlap that a little bit because it's my yep. card's a little bit snug because I, I cut the cardstock. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, showed you earlier, I'm going to hang that over because I've created that lovely, I've got that emboss effect mm. from using a die. And you see that piece there? Yeah. You can see it's, it's hanging out here. I don't want that to get flattened. Okay. So I can then just pop that through there. It's not hurting, it's just out the back of the die cutting machine. Perfect. So long as the plates are over your die, yeah. that will still cut perfectly. It's not a problem right. at all. And so then we can bring this one out and then you can see I've got the tiniest little pip just there. And, oh, that one's come out because I've got yeah. them lined up. How about that? So I've now got gorgeous. the mirror image. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Really so to show you the three options, I've got the two together. Yeah. I've got the Art Deco one on its own. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, I do really like nice. that. And I've got the two floral ones gorgeous. together. So you've got the you've got complete choice. I was thinking of this. I was just as we we're doing this. I'm thinking, right now, if I cut this out in black. Then I get a sheet of um, adhe adhesive, yep. put it on some white. Then I can get my gilding flakes, mix them up and create a background and then put that over Definitely. in black. It would look beautiful. Yeah. It would look so, so pretty. It would really be good. OK, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two smaller dies and I've got some white cardstock just here. And... There we go, right. And do you keep your dyes on the plastic? Yes, because like there's, um, yeah. there's adhesive on there. Okay. So they'll just right. pop back on and then they'll pop back in the packet. Lovely. So then I'm going to take that and I'm going to just cut those out of there. There we go. And that's going to oh, make sure they're on. There we are. And again, we're just going to go. And that's with the junior plates again. There we are. Right. And then we're going to colour those in. And it's so easy to do. We're going to do a couple of little bits. Now, as I showed you, I always put my foam pads on the back of my ink trays because then you just know you've got the right one. Yep. So we can pop that in. There we go. There we are. Look at that. So if I put that there, can you see? Gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? There we are. There's my Looks sticky fine. mat. And there's my release hole. And I've got that one there as well. So those work perfectly. We'll so all your, in, your ink pads, oh, I can't even say it now either. Your ink pads are on the yep. screen as well for you. So you've got the whole Spectrum Noir Harmony Water uh, Reactive Ink Pads. And they're again on a saving down to £41.93. And you've got some lovely kind of natural colours on there as okay, well. Okay, so I, we, I know we've not got our tri blends on the show, but you'll have seen them on plenty of Great. shows. Lovely. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to pop this. Now, I've actually used my stamping card. Normally, when we're using our pens like this, yeah. we start using our, um, our Nina card because that's sort of really good for blending. But I'm, it's such a small amount of blending that we're going to do that this will still work. I'm going to go in with a darker one. Okay. And then pop that onto there. Just colouring in that white. It makes such a difference, doesn't it? Yes. And let's get a mid one there. And then we can, oh, that's a bit dark. It'll, whoops, let's go that way. There we go. And then we can blend across the middle. Now, what you have to remember with alcohol pens is they, they dry a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. So whatever you've got, it's going to slightly change okay. as it dries. So sometimes it's worth going in and adding a little bit more right. on. But look at that. Gorgeous. Look out the ombre. Can you see the ombre yeah. effect going up there? And then all I would do for the others, I'd create a very similar ombre effect. Actually, I'm going to use my daubers for this, my finger daubers. So I've got these in here. Open that up. I've got two of these. So I'm going to go in with my lightest one first. And I'm just going to cover up that because I'm a bit like you. We can, if, if there's somewhere to get the ink where I don't want it to, you know. You knock things over, I get ink where I don't yeah. want it to. Oh, it's so all good, it's all good. I'm going to go in with my darker colour and then I'm going to come in, I'm um, lighter colour, sorry, go in my darker colour and then I'm just going to go down the middle like that. You can always come back in and just blend. Yeah. But how easy Great. is that to colour up? Gorgeous. But doesn't that look effective yeah. with, the, with the shading as well? Yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely and gorgeous. And you can see those fingers at some stage. Watch this space. Yeah, we are, they're, they're always around. Yeah. Let's put the right lids on the right inks. Yep. 
Okay, so I've got quite a few of those. Look, can you see I've got quite a few little elements there and I've done exactly the same on my little foliage pieces as well. Oh, and the other thing I did was I cut out the same oh, dies nice. out of purple. Oh, wow. Yep. Gosh, that purple's gorgeous. Isn't it, it is, isn't it? Absolutely. I think that's out. Now I've just thought about it. It's in the, yeah, it's in the pack, isn't it? Yes. I knew, I knew I'd used it for a reason. Okay, so this is really easy. So I've got a card that four and three quarter inches by 10 inches. So I've just done it from a piece of 12 by 12 card and I've folded it in half. Well, it's not four and a half inches. So it's, um, let me open it back up. So it's nine, nine and a quarter inches and folded that in half. And then, you remember when we were doing the twisted easel? Mm -hmm. So this is, I've cut it so I can now do two twisted easels. Okay. There we go, and that's going to go just there. So that's now going to go. Can you see we've got our double twisted easel? Wow. Really easy. So we're going to build it up exactly as we did before. Let's get that one and that one. And then we're going to put our tape on the base, just like we did before, because we can still get it in the wrong place if we don't, and then put a full piece on. And then we're going to go in with that gorgeous Centura Pearl Fuchsia. And the tape's on your screen as well, and it's coming in at the moment on a four for three. So you get two tape pens, which are the dots, which again, we'll talk about in a tick, and you get two of the extra strong, just the permanent pen, the, the whole strip as well. And it is strong, isn't it? It's it is, stuff. yeah, it really is. It's, it's, you know, we can we do construction with it, we use it for our boxes all yeah. the time, and I'm putting it on here, and I'm not worried at all about it coming off. But these dies, these have been absolutely so much fun to work with, just sure. because of the different combinations, the way you can mix and match them you know it's so so pretty so there's my pink and now what I've got to do is I've got to decide which of these to use so I've got I've got my sentiment so we could put nice. so I've just used some stamps now we might have the stamps on the show there was talk of that they were going to be on but look at that just by putting that like that and then you could do that like that or if you wanted to I'm not sure if that will my, my, yeah just adjust where you put your special friend yep. sentiment. Do you know what I mean? So you can see how you can change it around. But doesn't that Amazing. look beautiful? And I'm just going to pop that on. I've got one here. Ah, oh, this is the one. I've got it here with the colour in as well. Wow. And I put some of my foam pads on the back because we've got the foam pads on the show. Yep. What do you say? Just a thousand of them. Just, I think, 1,120. Just oh, a few small yeah, foam just, pads. Just a few. Which is great because you never want to skimp on them. You want to no. feel like you can just use them and go for it. Yeah, exactly. And if you've paid your one set of PMP for today, just add them to your order. You don't want to not have them or be at home sort of creating designs going, I'd like to lift that light a bit more and you run out of the foam pads. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be in that position. Because I've yeah. cut some of these down to make them smaller. That's when it does start to get quite difficult to get the backing off. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't cut them, the backing just pops off. But once you cut them, it starts to get a little bit more complicated. Right, I need to, before I stick that down, tape runner. Let's, there it is. We can pop that on. The tape comes in as quick as we can, literally as quick as we come out. So if you do want to grab the, uh, grab the tape, grab hold of those. And then look at that. Oh, let me just lift that one up. Just position them where you want them to be. There we go. That's look so at that. So, so pretty, isn't it? And your little pearls. Yeah. Always stick a little, per, per, you know, what little decorative element on. Yeah. Just adds so much. I have done that right, haven't I? Mm. <laughs> it's for everyone that's lying down horizontally that wants <gasps> to read it like that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So that does happen, but there we go. quick like that, you can just take it off. So yeah. This is just to show you if you are new. <laughs> to crafting we spoke a lot about this in the first hour uh, mm. about how you can kind of mix this around yeah yeah know, right see? corinne's made a mistake so we're going to have to just put these on here right okay That's all right we've made a we've done a we've done a slight error here when i've been prepping i've prepped these and i've made a, a slight bit but we'll get That's there right. you'll see the principle of it yeah yeah I it forgot. happens, doesn't it? That's the thing. Like, we always yeah. do it, don't yeah. we? Right, and again, as I was saying before, I'm not taking all my foam pads off. Mm. So I've taken off enough to make it sticky, and then the rest will hold it tight. 
We'll put that there. So now we need to just to decorate the inside. So I've got, look at that paper. Lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's from your vintage butterflies. From yep. the 36 sheets, the 12 by 12 pad. That, of course, is your gorgeous, gorgeous pearl that I love. Yeah. Now, just to show you, the reason I've been putting in there, now, if I put that onto there, that looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me move it up a bit, sorry. That looks really pretty. Yeah. But if I put the white layer in first, can you see it's how it just, it? just lifts it and gives it... It, it just looks more professional. Yeah. I don't, it's, it's weird that something so simple would do yeah. so much. Yeah, it doesn't take much to do it, does it? It just mm. sort of separates the colours and stops yeah. them sort of all merging into one another. Yeah, which is um, why you always need white cardstock. Oh, yes. It? Particularly if you get that, um, uh, the set with the pearl as well. Yeah, exactly. Right, and then, so that's now going to work. Yeah. Yes, that's going to work. Yeah. Right, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inside here. Oh, I put these onto, I've already taken the backs off these. So we can top, pop that one like that, and we can use these gorgeous elements just there Jeez. to act as my stopper. Taking the back off that one. So that's going to come just, hopefully you can see, you can still yeah. see from overhead. There we go. That's going to, just because they're, just they're delicate, they all still work as yeah. a stopper. So we can then, oops, stuck to me. And if you do want that pink, gorgeous pearl, uh, it's in your bundle, 100 sheets of the Centura Pearl Bundle. And it's 30, well, normally 35, 36 pounds normally. We're going to do it today for 27 pounds 95. And you get it 100 sheets. So you get 40 of the white pearl, which is fabulous anyway. I'm just going to show that to you and see. There we go. Look at that. It's lovely. Hello, Margo. Oh, Margo said it, um, it does my heart good to know that you're human. Thank you, says Margo. <laughs> uh, fab <Yeah>. dies. <laughs> yeah. It is nice to see in the nice possible way. It is. You know, I knock things over. Uh, it's, it's, we're I've human. Put it, I've, I've cut it to the different dimension, but there yeah. we go. Oh, so good. we can just build these up. We can add in extra bits of foliage. There we go. Yeah. And mixing these dyes, of course, you've got the opportunity to get the whole bundle. Yeah. Uh, you can mix and match a lot of these. They work really nice. You take a little sort of element of, of one. You might want to add a little dragonfly on there. You know, there's lots of... Oh, that would be lovely, flies. wouldn't it? Mm. So we can then oh, just a put a little bit of ribbon on here. Just give it a nice twist. And down here, a nice little twist. That's lovely. Now, it's... Excuse the fact that I initially started the wrong way around, but there we go. How about like that? Okay. So we're using all of the extra elements. We've got our twisted easel. Actually, it works. Nobody, I works. should have shut up because so nobody would have ever known. We would never, ever never have, have known. known. <laughs> it looks fabulous. It just shows you the too. different techniques. You can paper piece behind. You can use one, the two separate ones, the same one together, add the elements or even use them as stoppers. They are so, so versatile. It's glorious. Um, look, let's show you uh, the Vintage Butterflies A4 Pearlescent card. Uh, this is where the purple comes from. Mm. Uh, you've got the 24 sheets in there. I was going to try, I was going to get those out, but I didn't want to rip the back. But um, So $14.99 for those. And they are, you know, I'm going to go in. Here you go, I've got mine. Have you got yours? I've got oh, mine. Save me ripping open in fact. There we go. It's, always, it's great to show you. I've only got on one purple front. left, but oh, every... look at it. Here you go. They are just lovely going, cream, they? isn't it? Yeah, they're really, really wonderful. I'll gradually build all of those up, and you've got that lovely sort of peachy hue. That sage green is stunning. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, look how well they all work. Absolutely. Phenomenal. I mean, work this has worked together. brilliantly with the Country Lane flower. But if you go for the vintage butterfly 12 by 12 pad, yeah, perfect. They were made, you know, they were manufactured to go yeah. together. So yeah, it's perfect. That's how it all happens. In fact, let's show you that next as well so definitely get those colors because you've just seen mm -hmm. uh corinne working with that and they are just I just want to stroke them <laughs> glorious aren't they it's and they're double-sided so you know you haven't got to worry about you know if you what if you do if you're folding yeah. things we were talking about this earlier with um easel cards you know when you're making those because you then see inside and out exactly. you know you've got that yeah. perfect color and there's a lot in there as well 24 sheets is going to get you started uh, so they are absolutely beautiful but they do work brilliantly thank, thank you, you. Uh, with the vintage butterflies with the 12 by 12 pack this is good and these tend to be um, when we launch these 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 i kind of want to say a one print wonder but with with the these kind of signature collections that, that sarah does 
you, you have them and then that's it? I think so, yes. I mean, I'm quite new with Crafters Companion, but yeah. that's my that's my understanding, yeah. is once they've gone, they've gone. Yeah, and you do get various different ones as time progresses, but I remember when we when we kind of brought this to you when we had it for the first time in Hobby Maker with Sarah, actually, and she was sort of explaining that to us. So do stock up on them, because people then, uh, you know, really wish that they've had even more of these. Um, but they do look fabulous. Has it gone? Gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. That's what happens. That's what happens. Let's go to the country lane then, because that is still available and show this to you. But again, so pretty, isn't it? They are fabulous. It's, it's the multi layers that get to me. It, they are yeah. so in depth. When you look at them, every time you look at them, you will see another layer, another detail. Can remember you were saying earlier, it's like, oh, look, there's musical notes or there's this heading in there or there's. Yeah. The, there are so many layers and they're all double sided. So you've got what I'd call um, a detailed pattern and a more. Not muted pattern, because that refers to colour, but if you're not muted within the design, I don't know yeah, if that's... exactly. I was kind of thinking of a shadow, but it's not a shadow, but it's almost like the you've got a feature wall and what would be your other walls yes. if you wanted to go. It's, it's very hard to just kind of... Look at those. They're absolutely beautiful. Solid colours right the way through. And you can see, look at the images, but look beyond the images. Yeah. Look what's kind of floating in the background. I mean, I, I, that's my favourite. That is absolutely my favourite. Gorgeous, isn't it? I just want them. I mean, gilding flakes on that as well. <gasps> Would that work? Yes. I mean, I'm, go I'm going in. Uh, what you I'm could do with that is cut stuff. whatever size you wanted and then put um, a piece of your finest uh, red liner tape round the edge, all Ooh, the way around the edge, nice. like a border. Yeah. Peel off the back of your, your red liner tape and then go in with your gilding flakes. Stunning. Yes. And you can take little portions, obviously, of the paper. <coughs> you might want slightly sort of the... the, 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 the <laughs> my arms are aching. You might want the less kind of fussy part of that you paper. See, we that we did that with the card we made earlier, didn't we? So if you remember with earlier, when that's exact, that exact piece, that we've used the detail piece on the base where there wasn't okay. much, but where there was a lot of detail, we've used the, the yeah. plainer piece just so that it didn't get distracted. Distracting. I just love them. They're absolutely just yeah, stunning. So don't don't wait on that. Obviously, the other one has gone. Fifteen pound twenty nine. There's thirty six uh, sheets in there. Thirty six pages. Obviously, they are double sided because you've got the the, the different uh, pattern on the other side. Twelve by twelve. That's your country lane. They're just gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Right, if you are just thinking, I'm not going to even put that in there. If you are just thinking <laughs> about starting out on your crafting journey. I need this, don't be daunted. This is gonna set you up when it comes to all of your sticking, your gluing, your tape, etc. Let's show you what you get, because uh, I don't think we showed the image of it, I'm not quite sure, but this is everything that you get. So you've got your all-purpose um, glue in there. You're getting your tacky glue. You've got your odorless 3D glue on that as well, which we'll talk about in a second. You've got your extra strong permanent glue tape. So you've got your dotty one and the, 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 the full sort of normal tape, if that makes sense. Uh, you've also got your extra strong, well, that's your extra strong glue tape and your warning dots. Uh, you've also got the red liner tape, which we were just talking about. And we're starting off with 80 of your foam pads, which is, you know, a decent amount to get started with. That's the thing. Um, but it's really fabulous. Should be more like 30 odd pounds on that, but we've taken it down to 22 pounds and 99. So the... <laughs> Even if you're not starting out right now, but you just need a little a little top up, then that's kind of covering <laughs> most angles, isn't it? Kind mm -hmm. of a gift price as well. Uh, so you've got the three D. Is that the three D glue in there? Yes, this is this one here. So, look. So right, I've got this here. So this is your transparent, odorless three um, D glue gel. So what you can see is when you'd use this, it's. Um, it's known as chunky glue up at the office. <coughs> Can you see? It's not going to go thin. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's nice and detailed. So the other thing you might want to do is get a syringe and you can then control where you put it. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I've got, that's all right. I've got a frog. Yeah, so this is your chunky glue. Right. So this is, this. I could then, so I could put it on the back of, of here of and then pad. instead of a foam pad. If I wanted different heights, I can yeah. then add on to this. If I was adding flowers to my kit, I might consider using this chunky glue as well nice, for that. Absolutely, you can see. And that's not flattening out. That will stay like that. It's lightweight, it's transparent, it doesn't smell. So brilliant. brilliant. And that sounds stuff. weird, but there are quite a lot of these that do smell. Okay. And you don't smell them straight away. The next day you come back and you go, it's a bit weird. It makes a bit messy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the other glue you've got is your quick dry tack 
tacky glue. So this gets, oops, I went a bit hard. This gets um, tackier the longer you leave it. Okay. So when you put it on like that, it's not overly tacky. Give it a minute and then it really, really will. Super. So I've decanted again, I've decanted that into a small bottle so yeah. I can control that and put it behind all my, um, you know, all my, different elements so this is really good this is your water-based one right. so this is really good for just adhering two different papers together okay. that are sort of your uncoated yeah. don't um and that yeah your tacky glue is that your pearlescent this will work perfectly with your pearlescent fabulous if it's coated like your foil cards use this one right um, don't use the other one because that's alcohol based and it will end up taking the okay. surface off Right, so yeah, right. if you if you use the other one and then you get a little bit extra and you know you wipe it off, this dries clear. It yeah. would um, dull your shiny dull papers paper. and things like that. So you've got literally glue for a, a, mm -hmm. a sort of um, paper stock. If you uh, well, a, a selection of, and yeah. you're going to use them all. That's the thing. But that 3D glue is uh, is brilliant. You've got your red liner tape as well. Loads of people always ask for more and more of that. Uh, we can't keep up with you on that. And of course, <laughs> the glue pens, which are just essentials really so you've got the full tape glue pen which is super strong uh, and then you've got the glue tape pen with the dots as well so that will obviously if you're doing intricate detail it from the back it's not going to cover everything and leave you all sticky it's just going to kind of almost pick out the bits bits that you want but it's brilliant we just don't have a huge amount of that unfortunately but it is a great starter selection we've got less than 20 now goodness me um so less than 20 of those but it might just be that you want a little stock up you want a little bit of everything just to uh, uh chuck in your chuck in your drawer uh, ready to use Right, let's have another demo. Mm, we're going to use spring blooms because I told you this one is my favourite. So there we go. This is going to look so different because you remember we did the box with this earlier. Yeah. So we've got the box here and uh, lovely, we did it, it as a shaker shaker box. Can you see all of those elements? Oh, it went that way up, didn't it? There we go. So we're going to do the same one, but we're going to okay. make it look really different. Super. So with this time, we're only going to use one half of the die. Let me, okay. let me see if I can get all these bits out. They're not coming... Oh. I should have, yeah. You can Snowy. go quite, yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when I go from one demo to another, and I don't quite have time to clean out the right. clean out the dyes. But this is Actually, I've got it, when you to look after your dyes. Yes. To I've... keep making, just just make sure that you do that because obviously then otherwise you're not going to be able to get sort of the full. Yeah, I've got my dye brush here. So that should get those out. There we go. That's done that perfectly. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, dye and I'm going to just pop it over the edge right there's my tape let's put a piece of tape on there so we're going to do we're going to do this in two parts so there's the first one yep. and let's die cut that and I've got oh, I've dropped my magnetic mat down and we can pop this now this is using the white within the bundle the okay. big bundle yes so the big do you call it yeah. fresh white fresh I believe white. Oh, like here we go so this is your fresh white yeah so there's double sided there we go. Oh, well, it didn't knock anything though. There we go. Oh, is it, is it out of stock? It's the pearl. There we go. We're bringing that in. So that's your pearl. So there's 40 uh, within there as well. So 40 sheets. So that's if you want to buy just that, not as a part of part of the bundle. So it's £11.99. That's brilliant as well, actually. Mm. Um, only, uh, only about six or seven of those left. So you need to dive on that. Okay, right. So I've cut this one out. <laughs> Done again. And I've now put my rubber embossing mat in. So rubber embossing mat in, magnetic shim out, because otherwise it'll be too thick. There we go. Popping it through. I'm going to pop this, that through. Obviously, if you want the die cutting and embossing machine, that's available. This collar is exclusive to Hobby Maker it at is. the moment. And candy floss. Get it. it's, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Candy floss. Um, we asked viewers to name it, didn't we? Yeah. yeah when Sarah was in last time. Great. There we go. It comes with over £75 worth of goodies at the moment, so absolute dream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that there and take this. I'm going to get myself a little dauber and I'm going to... Let's see if I've got a scrap of paper. Oh, there we go. I can use Thanks, that. There we go. I can <laughs> pop that under... No, is that going to lift? No, it won't. I'll do it. Just be gentle. Just be gentle. Right, I'm using the fuchsia. Um, so that's not in the bundle, but I'm going to also be using the green topaz, which is in the bundle. There we go. can pop these in here. There we go. So just do all this before you lift your die off. Okay. And that's going to really pop. So we can lift that off now. So remember, we've only cut half of it. 
Yep. There we go. Now, this is a great one because we can actually rotate this one. We don't have to come from behind because of the, the way the flowers are. Can you see that just rotates? Let's line it, line it up. Because it's just going to look like they're going yeah, it's round. It's bird's eye view, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than having now, stems or anything. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop this and I'm actually going to do just like we did earlier I'm going to put it right over here because I've embossed yeah so this is a doubly reason why you don't want to flatten it because okay. we've definitely done so I'm just going to get another piece of tape I often just do that sure. because otherwise you find that you know when you lift and you bend and mm. yeah I think when you're at home it's things. it's not it's not as, when you're at home, you're less likely to slide it out because you usually yeah. have your die cutting machine in sort of... Well, you're not nice... set up for a camera, are you? No. That's the, no. That'll be the difference at home. So you can see all easy. I've done is just taped it there so that it, the cardstock yeah. finishes, I mean, the die finishes before the end of the, of the um, mat. Fab. And be confident doing this. Be confident, it's fine. Oh, just a minute. I've not put my plate, I'll just run that through again. I've not put my top plate on in the right place. I've been a bit... Rush there. This is another thing when you're doing it at an angle. Let me just. And on uh, all the pressure. Oh, that, that bit doesn't bother me. It's just, I've, it was the angle that. There we go. I just needed to make sure that that. There we go. Most of that will have cut, but the end bit was. The end of the die was just sticking yeah. out. And that's the thing with the, with the Gemini. You can oh. pause, you can reverse, you can go yeah. again. It is absolutely fine, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we run that through. And it's pink. Yeah. And it's nice that your die cutting machine's going to look pretty in your craft exactly. room, isn't it? Exactly. So I'm going to lift that one out and I'm going to do, see, I can see it's cut perfectly. Right. I'm going to pop my rubber mat on. I'm going to do exactly the same. And remember to take out my take magnetic out. shim. And that's just going to pop that embossed detail up. But because we've done it that way, um, it's not all going to flatten. Because okay. you know, why emboss half of it to then flatten it back out yeah, again? Absolutely. It doesn't make sense. Because the pressure in these machines it's is so intense. Thing. Yeah. So intense. There it's we go. Perfectly balanced, so it's all gonna cut or emboss at mm -hmm. the same sort of there we go. pressure as well. So let's take that piece of tape off from there. Then there it is, my pink dauber. We can get that. Let's come through here. There we go. Go around there. There we are. Oh, nice colour as well. There we are. Right. And then I can lift that off. And then all again. Again, I'm just going to do a couple of little snips Snip to release bit. that there. And to release that there. There we go. And look at that. Gorgeous. Isn't that absolutely That's beautiful? Reef, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to just get our green topaz and we're just going to now this is in the bundle today so yep. this is in today's bundle so ink it up work it into your dauber on your mat and then go round the edge just to Lovely. oops that was a little bit heavy there we go the, round the edge and then there we go the they're asking, could we use our gilding plates? So if I wanted to use my gilding plates on here, I could either use the adhesive and let it start to do. But what would look beautiful is if I took a piece of card and I put double-sided adhesive on, yeah. die cut through the adhesive, a bit like Gwen did in that very last demo, peeled that off once it was cut, right. I could then gilding flake oh, across. Nice. And you'd still get all the... Because the gilding flakes break down in such a way that they wouldn't then... Because you'd think, are they going to clog up the holes? Yeah. No, they won't clog up the holes because um, they're, they're so fine, they will just brush through the holes. Nice. And, you know, that's why you um, you have that piece of paper underneath to catch okay. all the bits because, you know, they'll go into the holes and then just brush Brilliant. through. But Brilliant. how about that? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wonderful. Can you see the pinks? And that kind of silvery hue yeah. you get because of the pearl yeah. is, is absolutely wonderful. gorgeous. So let's have a look at that. Make sure my hands are reasonably clean. And then we've got our cardstock again, the same one, the white cardstock. Yeah. And you and it on the screen as well, by the way. The Harmony Water is, uh, Reactive ink pads are all there for you. That whole bundle. Let's then go in. I'm going to do it with the tacky glue just to show everybody that we can use the different glues. There we go. And that's going to go on there. So that's the fuchsia out of the bundle. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Then we've got out of, that's out of the country lane. Yep. Isn't that pretty? Stunning. There are some of those available. The other one has sold out. Yeah. Uh, but the country lane pad, the 12 by 12, there are some, some, some still some. available. There we go. There we are. And then I'm going to come in with my pink again. Lovely. And this has just got some foam tape on the back. Yeah. There we are. Which, of course, foam pads are on the web. You've also got your starter uh, adhesive kit on the web as well. And then I'm going to come in with... Um, I'm going to come in with that one next. Now, I could then be putting all my little foam pads on the back, mm -hmm. but let's speed... To speed it up, just to show you the yes. different ways, all you can do is, if I come in with my uh, liquid glue, and you see you can get into so places that your... <laughs> Sorry, that's my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying it's, a, it's fi five hours is a long time, isn't it? It's a small bear, that was. <laughs> there we go. So you can just put the glue where you want. And it, once you put it down, it basically, it will self-level. But look, can... It's great, that is. There we go. Just lift that. Is it still going? It's still going. <laughs> I'm going to have to have another biscuit. <laughs> there we go. Just let that... Grab, there we go, that's grabbed. So can you see it's lifted up the centre? Yeah. So all I need to do next is I've got little circle cut out with the, um, again, the, the white and mm -hmm. off from the country lane. And we can pop that in there. That's well. going to go just there. And then that will fit perfectly into my aperture. And then the final little bit I've got is a sentiment and a piece of pink and then we can pop let's i'm actually going to go i'm going to go with my chunky glue that syringe is nearly all gone so i can put it mm -hmm. in here actually let's put that one on first so i don't flatten it again just around the edges with the green yeah. just to finish that off it just softens it doesn't it it makes Gorgeous. it look really really yeah. lovely but it's, it's really it really frames every single element it does put together and the great thing is so yeah i've got Glue under there, but not there. Yeah. But it doesn't matter what I do, because it will just level itself out. Fabulous. I can put that on there, and then if I press, Cute. it just squashes that more than it mm -hmm. squashes there. Then the only other thing I would do, now if you've got um, little pearls or liquid pearls, you can then just go around the centre of each one, just like that. How quick Gorgeous. is that? Just finishes that off absolutely. Yep. Such Perfectly. An eye for detail, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if I was doing that, I would then consider, because I always like to tie things in. Mm. If you just put a couple just down there, it ties it all in. Now, nothing fancy on there, no bows, no nothing like that. But how pretty is that? I just think I'm going to be careful because my, my pearls will run. Gorgeous. But how gorgeous is that? Amazing. And you can grab hold of all of this, of course, today from your dies to, of course, the paper pads. Mm -hmm. You can grab that pearl card as well, which is amazing. That die on its <coughs> own is £9.99, the spring blooms. It's been very popular. It is also part, of course, of the mini bundle. If you want to get those three, we'll bring the details in for that mini bundle as well. So you've got the butterfly heart, the spring blooms and the opulent dragonflies. So those three big dies all went down together collectively. You can get those for £24. £4.99 or if you want the big bundle that has been the most popular today which is wonderful because they are gorgeous aren't they all of these they really are grab them all 22 pieces individually collectively you've got six different sort of main designs there mm -hmm. and this huge bundle you can create so many different designs cards boxes uh, have a your quick, order, really. quick look at what we've done just yeah, to show you the recap. different sort of views Absolutely. so we started off didn't we we used our arch and we used our arch and we used the two Two different elements on there to make a lovely twister, um, twisted easel yeah. using the separate elements to create that. So, you know, absolutely beautiful. You can put your sentiment across there whenever you're ready. Then we went on to do, I think we did, did we do the box next? I can't remember. But there we go. So that's using the two, di um, two different ones again, but really bringing it together, but putting some acetate behind and then you've got your aperture. I mean, that could be a card front. You could have a box of cards inside. Yeah, perfect. It's lovely. Then we went in oh, with the butterflies. Isn't that so, yeah. so pretty? Really tranquil, it's gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. And then we went in with, the... we went in our twisted easel, but we just used, um, to show you how you could use the same one twice 
or you could use the two different ones. Can you see you get a really different effect? Yeah. Very different. There aspect. we do. And then finally, we've just done, I've just put it under there, but I've got another one go. just to show you. We've just got this one here showing that. Isn't that beautiful? They're fantastic. I, I know why I, I do like this, this they one. They are lovely. I like that as well because it's pink. <laughs> um, all amazing. Keep checking out on those. Don't forget you've got until midnight tonight to keep doing your checkouts on these. So add them to your order. We've got a couple of sellouts. Thank you so much for it's being It's been a pleasure. Us. Do you know when you're back with us yet? Uh, not sure, back. not sure. Um, Perhaps no, you're back. Soon. With um, you, yes. You specifically will be back with us soon. I will be, yes. It's been wonderful. Thank, Thank you. very much. And don't you go anywhere because we're back in a couple of seconds with Gwen for your final hour. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Right guys, great news. Monday is going to be a big day because I'm going to be in the studios all day and I'm taking over. I'm taking over literally every channel. So from 8 o'clock I'll be on Sewn Street, 10 o'clock I'm going to be on Jewellery Maker, 1 o'clock I'm going to be on Hobby Maker for a full-on Crafters Companion takeover. Now, we don't do these very often and when we do, they are a big deal. So we've got free gifts galore. We've got some amazing special offers, literally time-limited special offers that you will not want to miss. We've got the most incredible lineup of products. I've got some fantastic demonstrations and I'm just telling you now, hold on to your seats because it is going to be a fast and furious day from the second I arrive in that building to when they will me out at the end of the day. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Monday for a full on takeover on all of our channels. I'll see you there. Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are live from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer, and phone. Hobby Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. 
When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Let's do it. Gin. <laughs> I love Australia, but Turkey, cow can in Turkey. I need to go back, it's my heartbeat. A cat, I love my cats. Sleep all day, get looked after, get fed, go to sleep again, get snuggles, go to sleep again, eat again, cat. Never seen the Godfather. Night in, because I'm old. Pajamas, big glass of gin, cats, husband, night in. Torn, Natalie and Bruglia Glia. Uh, you can do that one? No, can't do it. Da -da -da -da, I'm torn, I'm already. No, no, can't even do, do that again. I can't even do that, that's horrendous. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So, how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Makers account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. Hello, welcome back. It is our final hour here this evening on Hobby Maker. Thank you very much for tuning in. Maybe you've just joined us. Maybe you've been out at work. Has it been a good day? Has it been all right? It's over now. It's all good. It's all good. What are we on Wednesday? I don't like the hump day thing. I've never heard of that phrase until not long ago. Uh, every day is a good day, really, isn't it? Uh, well, it's... It is here at Hobby Maker. We'll cheer you up. Don't you worry. Sit down, grab yourself a glass of... It's five o'clock. Get a gin. Um, <laughs> we are... It's time now. We are going to do some fantastic things for you still in this hour. Um, but we'd like to see what you've done. That's the thing. What we've started to do here at Hobby Maker is ask for your... So share your makes. You can send us your designs and every last Saturday of the month... Everyone's designs that have come in that we've shared on the TV deli box screen will go and into um, a, a draw. Somebody will be picked at random and somebody will win £100 credited to their account, which is amazing. Now, we, we are, we've been inundated with pictures now, which is amazing. So let's share a few with you. We only have time to share five, but don't worry. If your picture's not shown, you still go into the draw. So don't worry about that. You will go in. Uh, right. Oh, hello. Look at this straight away. Isn't that stunning? This is a card made with love for my mum's birthday. Best wishes to all at Hobby Maker from Sherry Redbourne in South Wales. Well, that's absolutely glorious. It looks, it looks delicious. Looks good enough to eat that. Does the ribbon and the little pearls and the butterfly, of course. Wonderful colours on that. I'm sure she was very, very happy with that. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. Our next one is from Angela Astle. And this says, oh, look, wedding day blessings. How fabulous is that? So you've got this gorgeous card here. As two hearts combine in holy matrimony, Tara and Malcolm, stunning. And how lovely to give a wedding card that you've made. I mean, the, the sentiment behind it is as beautiful as the card. Well done. Thank you for sharing that with us, Angela. Our third card. Well, well, I say card. Goodness me. Started off card making. Now do a wide variety of crafts. Watching with coffee. Crafty coffee addict. Bless Jennifer. <gasps> My goodness, Jennifer Shaw from Worcestershire. Look at that gingerbread house. They're fabulous. Oh, and I love the flowers that you've got there as well. That's really, really clever. Oh, I don't need more time to look at Oh, it's our wolf. Do you remember this one, Gwen? A wild wolf, wasn't it? Good afternoon, hobby maker. I made this card using a die from the brilliant Creative Expressions paper cuts. I love their dies and demonstrations from Helen in Bristol. I remember that one. Yeah, that is beautiful. You've done a great job on that. Well done, I love Helen. it with kind of like the tartan frame as well. That's yes, I really do. Exciting. Well done. Thank you very much for sending that in. And one more. Oh, Brenda. Brenda Young. Look how cheery and gorgeous that is as well. Those fabulous sort of buckets of flowers. 
I love that kind of ribbon coming down the side with the paper, the little embellishments. Happy birthday. Brenda, thank you. Really, really well done. I, I mean, everybody, just, you're, you're, you're so talented. Honestly, these are all gorgeous. So you're all going into the draw, even if we didn't show your creative card or whatever it might have been that you sent to us, you're going into the draw. Somebody will win £100 credit to their account on the last Saturday of this month, which is super exciting. We'll have a bit of that. Now, we're going to start this hour by recapping our sentiments because these have been so, so super popular. So we're going to start with the birthday. Just so you know, if you have just joined us, we've got the birthday, everyday and inspirational. They're $2.99 each. So I'd get all of them. But you get four sheets of these. They are designed to cut into, to use. Uh, so you've got these wordy sentiments uh, sheets. So the birthday one that you've got there, you get two white and you get two of the black. And I mean, the sentiments are just fabulous. So just to go, well, you can see them there. Happy birthday, best wishes. You've got the big ones that are sticking out. Hip, hip, hooray. Not older, just wiser. I like that one. Make a wish. Wishes, congratulations. Just wanted to say, hooray. Did someone just say cake? Is that on there? Amazing. Don't want to talk about cake, though, because I've still not had a slice of the birthday cake. Livid. Livid. Um, happy unbirthday. <laughs> Age is just a number. Have a fantastic day. Birthday boy, sending love. Sorry, I missed your birthday. That's quite an essential one. That's important. I'm always doing that. Um, loads on there. Absolutely fabulous. So you can just cut into those. You can add colour onto those as well. Uh, and you'll be doing that with your inks. Yes. Yep. Uh, yes. We'll have a little look at that in a moment. Um, so that is your birthday <laughs> sentiments. Then we have every day, and these are really cute as well. So again, you're getting two white and two black. So if they're two, um, that you get the black with the white font and vice versa. Uh, make a wish, good luck, you and me. Believe in magic, happy, you did it. Smile, dream, congratulations, so proud of you. It's your day, totally awesome. Hello, sunshine. You're amazing. Over the moon, friends. Happiness is homemade. That's a lovely one. Just saying, never give up. Again, two black, two white. Love and hugs is quite a big one on that one as well. But you can chop them up, so you don't have to keep um, the, the love and hugs together. If, well, but you do need love, love and hugs together and love and dreams, to be fair. But you could, you could cut each individual word and mix and match. You might actually want to mix and match the black with the white as well. It's totally up to you. But remember, all of those, £2.99. So £2.99 for the birthday, £2.99 for the everyday. And finally, inspirational. Be real, not perfect. I like that one. Although Gwen is perfect. No. Be unique. <laughs> a dream is a wish your heart are unique. Dream is a wish your heart makes. Uh, create the world you want to see. It's never too late. You're amazing. Be you. Uh, there are somebody's, you are somebody's reason to smile. Sorry, remember that, Ben. You're somebody's reason to smile. Dare to be different. Hang in there. I can and I will. That's a good one, isn't it? Every moment is a fresh beginning. Happy ever. Laughter. Uh, oh, happy ever laughter. Oh, I get it now. Dare to be different. Hang in there. There are no little dreams. Be you. Today's a new day. Remember this moment. <coughs> be kind. That's one we always need to know, isn't it? They are fabulous. Quality of them is absolutely brilliant as well. So two sheets of white with the black writing, two of the black with the white. And add them to your order. Grab every one of those, two ninety nine, less than, you know, less than a tenner. And you've got the lot to use. And you will use them, whether you put them on foam pads, whatever you want to do with them. They are brilliant. They're selling incredibly well. Another new craft has just joined us on those as well, actually. So welcome. Welcome on board. Now, today we have been doing our, our uh, paper panda dies. We've got two separate bundles for you. We've got bundle A and bundle B. So uh, we'll start with the home tweet home. Is that one over here? Here we go. Let me pick these up because you've got... Sleeps the other one causes. I'm trying to lean forward and knock and not knock anything over because I've been doing a lot of that. <laughs> I'm trying to knock everything over. Um, so have a little look at these again. So that is your first one from the bundle. I'll put them on there for you, Andy. It's a bit easier, isn't it? Be happy. Says it all, doesn't it? So be happy. You've got that lovely design in there with the little buzzy bees. You can see the little uh, honeycomb in there as well. You've also got home tweet home, which is wonderful. And you've got so many different elements within there. I'll turn it around, actually, so you can see kind of the back 
of those dies as well. So you've got your little birds having a, having a little kiss, aren't they there, really? I've just realised. Um, it's after five o'clock, we're all right. Little love birds potentially. And then, of course, you've got that wonderful kind of frame. So the rose is in bloom on that one as well. And you've got the outer die on that one. So that's actually two parts, isn't it? So they look wonderful as well on that. So that is a three part bundle. So you get three fabulous dies. And we've taken those down on price as well. I'll show you some of the samples of those. That's all right, $34.99. You can buy them individually if you'd like to. Let me show you some of these samples because they look and make be happy. Well, so that's got acetate on there as well. That's sold out on its own, the be happy, but you can get that still on the bundle. You've got a couple of those wordy sentiments on there as well. Be kind, of course, is a great one. Have a little look. There we go again. It's totally different. Lovely, happy colours that you can see on that. I really like that one, actually. It's really rather lovely. Um, home tweet home. I'm going to show to you in uh, kind of just, just very basic, which really, really effective with the white against the craft paper. Looks so, so gorgeous. And then if you want to add in a little bit of colour, or quite a lot of colour actually, that stunning, stunning blue that works incredibly, incredibly well. Then using the lettering in there as well, this was handmade by Christine. I love those colours. It's fun, isn't it, as well? It doesn't have to be stuffy, it's, it's fun. Uh, they're gorgeous. So that's from your home tweet home. And then if I show you the roses in bloom, here we get, oh, hello. hello. There's a lot of sparkle going on in there as well. Isn't that glorious? Wonderful. And then just using a little bit of that. So you don't have to use it as it is as a frame. We've got that coming sort of from behind from to, to create sort of the frame of that heart in there as well. Completely different. Each and every single one of these totally different. Isn't that lovely? So you've got great sort of detail from the rose in there as well. Isn't that lovely? So you do get all of these, don't forget, all three of these in this bundle. So that is a bundle A. Then bundle B, let's share with you as well. Uh, bundle B. A bundle B. That sounds like quite nice, doesn't it? A bundle B. Uh, the first one is your petty fur. Uh, fur. It's not furry. It's not furry. It could be furry. Food again. Food again. Could petty be four. Yeah, petty, petty fur. <laughs> <laughs> so that is, again, Gorgeous, gorgeous detail frame. That is the first one in there. We also have our lovely hair. He looks very serene. He looks very happy. So that's by moonlight. You've got the hair on the hills. You've got the little house on there as well. You've got the stars. You've got the trees, the moon in there as well. And of course, our lovely little, this is the bunny rabbit. The little rabbit and the little bird in the tree where love grows and so much detail on the tree. The leaves, the little hearts and flowers on there as well. Super beautiful. So again, those three really lovely sized dies actually uh, coming your way as a part of that bundle. Again, down to 37.99 on that one. Oh, look at that. Deep and seductive and gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? So almost like the silhouette and then you get the silver coming into play or you can certainly add in lots of color on that this is love very much very much like the one that you that, that the lovely Gwen uh, did for us a little bit earlier on oh I don't think we've seen this one with the little gray there you go just slightly different again that's gorgeous they're just wonderful they're absolutely brilliant to see so that would be perhaps a couple of ideas for you uh, from that particular die then we're going to do the let's let's stay with the bunnies Let's stay the one. Also, we've got acetate on there as well, just for you. Cute. Isn't that lovely? So much detail and texture working. Obviously, with the acetate gives you obviously that lovely kind of uh, reflection, doesn't it? And then really lighting things that we had a demonstration earlier on uh, working with that. I'm just seeing if there's any that I haven't shown from there. I'm sure there's probably going to be one. Let's go right to the back. Oh, let's go. Let's no, Let's go bright pink, shall we, again on that one. It is one of my favourite uh, favourite uh, sort of colours, as we know. And that's obviously going to be using one of your pixie sparkles in there as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? That wonderful kind of shimmer that you see. And then last, but certainly not least, if I can find right down at the end, right down over here. Let's have a little look at these. Hope your day is wonderful. It has been, I have to say, it definitely has been wonderful. So again, you can keep that and use the entire frame, or you might just want to use a little section of it. Ali made this one for us as well. And again, using Pixie, uh, the, the, you've got the mango blaze, you've got the sun yellow, 
the uh, red in there as well, but looks phenomenal. I think my talk back's gone, but they're, they're probably only being mean to me anyway, so it's, it's not, not a problem. Uh, and then you've got, there we go, there's two little birds. So that's mixing two of those dyes together. So you've got the outer uh, dye and then you've got the tweets, the home tweet home little birds in the centre as well. So £37 and 99 pence. If you want to get those on split pay, absolutely go for it. That is not a problem, uh, but they look super gorgeous together. Right, Gwen, you have to tell me what we're doing next. All right, <laughs> I thought we'd start have with a little demo. be happy. Yes. And I'm going to do a, a, a spritzy inky background with one of the pixie sparkles. So I'm going to be using the, um, oh, if I could read it, it would help. Sunburst, amber lights and flirty pink in Lovely. the airless misters. So I'm going to start just by misting my card so it doesn't bend up. Gorgeous. I'm all about mixing and max it, uh, matching these cosmic shimmers. Yes, absolutely. It's about playing and having fun. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And I'm going to start by tapping on the Pixie Sparkle. Yeah. So just tap the bottom of the bottle all over your card stock. Now you can see, because I'd already moistened my card, you're beginning to see a little bit of that colour come through. I've stabbed my finger so it's hurting, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the hazards of using a bokey tool. Oh, bless you. <laughs> I was thinking, now oh, this is why is this hurting my finger so much? And then I realised, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to activate this, not with water, but with the airless misters. So let's go in with oh, our nice. beautiful amber lights. They won't activate as much as they do with water. So I'm still going to go in with water after this. Now I just want, I wanted it. This is quite amber, uh, clue in the name, but I wanted it a little more orange. So I'm just coming with a tiny bit of the flirty pink. Um, but you can see how I, I managed to get that very light mist with the airless misters yeah. because they're very controllable, having that lovely big button at the top. And if you go in with a very heavy pump, you'll get that fine light mist. If you, if you hesitate a bit and just sort of press it a little bit, then you'll get lovely big droplets. Okay. So you've got controllability with them, which is fabulous. And I don't know if I mentioned, but you can actually spray them upside down. Oh no. Yeah, I because do. they've they've no tube to get clogged. Right. So they've just got a little tiny tube here and the bottom of the bottle moves up as you empty it. So you never lose the vacuum. So you can literally pump them upside down and they work and I've done Great. it. So yeah, it does work. All right, so there's our background. Obviously, that needs to dry, but how vibrant and colourful is that? And when it dries, it'll have an amazing sparkle. So I'll pop that under there, and I can show you one that I did that's now dry. So it's going to be slightly different each time you do it. And sometimes you do get these sort of rings and tide marks coming out, which I quite like. If you don't like that, when it's still wet, just take a brush and sort of feather it out, and you can, you can get rid of that. All right. Okay. So out of that, I've cut a shaped die. This is one of the dies that we have in our collection from Sue Wilson. Um, I can't remember what it's called, something like cut corner rectangles or something like that, mm. but it's a really lovely one. So I've cut from the panel um, that, that I want to use, but I want to really show you the Be Happy. And I had in my head the sort of colours that you associate with bees sort of honey colours and oranges and browns. So I just chose a selection of card stocks um, that I thought might work with this as well. So that was my starting point. And then when I grab the die. And you can only get the Be Happy die now as a part of the bundle. It has sold out on its own. So I'm going to cut this out of the, this is a, a colour that we have called Taupe, which is a lovely soft taupey colour, sort mm. of mushroomy. Yeah. It's a really pretty colour. It's nice. Yeah. So let's through the Gemporia die cutting and embossing machine. Which is fabulous. Order. I do quiet. like it. It's really quiet. Yes, it is. You just have to watch you don't drop your plates when they come out the other side. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Let me just get rid of all that. Keep, keep not tidying up and making a mess. Right, so we've got all the bits in here. And... Um, this will come out really, really cleanly. Let's just get that out of the die. Okay. There we are. And then what I've done is cut it again out of the other two colours. Okay. And... It's so satisfying getting all of that out. It is. It? I've paper pieced a lot of this in. Mm. So from this sort of peachy colour, yeah. I've cut out the Be Happy 
Okay. And with the bees, I've cut it again in craft and then pieced back in the bees' bodies and then put the whole thing onto there with the bits put back in. Do you need to see me do any of that? No, that's okay, I think. I think it's fairly self-explanatory, yeah. hopefully. But if you do want to see, just message in. Yep. All right, and then when you pop that onto the background, it all really comes alive. And what I've done to set it off is again, a, a layer of craft, again, a frame cut with the same set of dies. Pop your beautifully spritzed panel in there and you'll be happy with all the elements put back in through those little apertures and the be happy picked out. And this is what you get. It's just so bright, it's so cheery. It's, it's a wonderful card to receive, yeah. isn't it? So you can see I've picked out some of the honeycomb in the peach and yep. the wording, which I've just snipped with some scissors, the centers of the flowers and then the bees in craft and just kept all the right little pieces in the right holes. They are fabulous. They there look so go. beautiful. And have a little play with these. Again, if you yeah. want to get the air misters, uh, you absolutely can do. Uh, the airless misters, the amber light comes with the blue, which has been really popular. I'll show you those two colours, actually. So you've got the amber lights with the mayor blue, which is a mayor zing. <laughs> I'm here all day. So what you did there. Yeah. Uh, so that is a very, very popular colour. And obviously you've seen the amber lights being used a little bit today, which is just great on a lot of these dyes that we've seen. I'll show you the other two whilst we are there. Because uh, they, they're all, look at them, they're all really, really beautifully complementary as well. So if you want to use the mayor blue and the amber lights alongside your flirty pink, flirty, and your purple spell. I got a spell on you. There you go. So you can see those purple spell. I believe. Yeah, purple spell. What will you think? Purple shell. <laughs> it's not a shell. Are you a shell? Uh, no, it's a, it's a spell, putting a spell on you so you can see those two together as well. So you're getting a bundle of two, £10.99. There's a lot in there as well. And you can see just how easy these are to work with. Have fun with them. I think that's the thing. I always love whenever we see um, any demos like this with going with creative expressions. It's fun. It's about playing. There's no right, wrong. You just, you might start off on one adventure thinking I'm going to do this and it turns out to be something completely different. That's fine as well. Sometimes you want to let the, 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 um, the inks or the pixie sparkles do what they want to do. Sometimes you can't kind of control them uh, and they go and bring you exciting different things. That's part of the excitement when you're, when you're crafting, when you're creating. Uh, so there we go. So your airless misters, that's the purple spell and the flirty pink. And you can mix these with, of course, your cosmic shimmers. Uh, you've also, of, co of course, got those duos of the pixie uh, sparkles. You've got different colours of those as well. And of course, we have those fantastic um, inks as well. The luster polish, sorry, which they've been so, so popular today. The luster polish. I mean, look at the colours. Why wouldn't they be? You've got that amazing, amazing zesty apple. You've got that lovely tangy tangerine. You've got that wonderful teal in there as well. They are just stunning. They work really nicely, actually, alongside the cosmic shimmers, really very well hand in hand. So you get a set of three of those da, 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 for £14.99 and they're wonderful to use. Plus, obviously, your cosmic shimmer. And then, of course, we had that amazing sort of fluffy stuff. Mix and match, enjoy yourself. You're allowed. This is like go. This is like being a child again, but with permission to play. It really is. But you can do some really professional work. That's the thing in terms of your end results. You've seen some of these fantastic cards. We're going to see another demo uh, as well right now. But they, it really is all about getting the most incredible results. Um, are we going to see some roses in blue? Oh yes, shall we? Shall we? Go let's, on then. <laughs> let's do that. So this is the same panel that you just saw me do. Okay. Um, so that's got the airless misters, the amber lights, a little tiny bit of flirty pink to make it a little bit more orange. Yeah. And then that beautiful sunburst sparkle, pixie sparkle. So you can see that fabulous shimmer on there. And I'm going to cut the die with its outer edge so I get that completed panel. Okay. All right. And let's pop this through our machine. So again, you're going in at a slight angle, so it doesn't yes, hit it. Yes, that's oh. right. If you go on a slight tilt, it's a lot kinder on the machine and on right. your, your rollers and your mechanism inside. If you go head on with a straight edge, it kind of hits that speed bump and it jolts and jumps across it. So it's not, not doing any of your machinery any favours, really. No, you want it to last forever, don't you? Yeah. Think you so let's just get that up and that out of the way. So what I want to do with this one 
obviously that, you, if I'd cut it slightly more carefully, I could have had a frame that I could have utilised mm. there as well. I want to try to preserve some of the pieces that I've got in the die. Now, if you're lucky, these will stay in the die, which for paper piecing is an absolute boon because it means you know where they go. Yeah. And you'll find if you're using a piece of cardstock like this, which has been coated with something, that tends to happen. They tend to stay in place a little right. bit better. So behind this, I want to place um, a piece of card that's coated with double-sided adhesive. So this is plain cardstock, and this is our double-sided adhesive. And you'll see me do this a lot because it is a technique I fall back on a lot. And it's perfect when you want to add uh, glitter in between a die cut. I mean, imagine trying to do it with a glue of any description. No. It just <laughs> wouldn't happen, would no. it? So this way we can... Um, adhere everything all in one step really because we can put the die cut onto the sticky and we can then fill up the gaps with the glitter so that's what we're going to do so I've got that now attached to the card and this is the other protective backing on the double sided adhesive so when I peel this back I will reveal the sticky surface mm -hmm. now I've already got one that I've cut to the size I need so Let's pop that to one side. This one will fit the die perfectly because I've cut it with that same outer cutting edge. Right. And this is where it's lovely to have that because you can create that back plate that's the perfect size without any measuring or worrying, is it gonna fit? What I tend to do though is go from the back. So put your protective paper down and you die on top because obviously if I was to put this down with that big gap in the middle it would yeah. stick to my paper underneath and I know because I did it just the other day and it's an absolute nightmare because you can't get it off again no so pop that down make sure it's all pressed really firmly and it's been protected look with that so right. we're good to go now I want to paper piece some of the die so I'm going to take the middle out. That you can use for a die cut. We've mm -hmm. talked about doing that before as well today. And the pieces I want are just the inner bits of this rose and this okay. rose here. So first of all, I have to decide which is which. And that is that one. So let's get these pieces out that I need. So just poke out a few at a time and Keep them as best you can in the right place so that you know which bit goes where because some of them are really tiny. Yeah. And although you might think it's a bit fiddly, but when you're on your own, you can take your time over this. Exactly. And it's actually quite relaxing. It's quite, I find it relaxing anyway. Yeah, I quite I'll like do. it. So then all you have to do, and again, protect your sticky surface from your hands because you need somewhere to rest your hand. Yes. And then we can pop these pieces in where they go. Well, so could that's, you do that with other colours as well? If you yes, of course. Up. Yeah, you could you could add this in from a, you could cut it again with a second colour and piece those in. Mm. Don't have to be the same. But I quite like this because you still seem, you still get the detail of the rows yeah. with the cut lines. So even though we are going in with the same colour, it still shows the shape of the rows and I really like that. Yeah. You could also paint a couple of pieces differently and um, yeah, now I don't know which bit's which. <laughs> oh, I know where that bit goes. This is the fun, it's like doing a, a jigsaw. So pop that in there. Uh, maybe that the bit I want is still in the die, which is that bit there. So as long as they're in the die, it makes it quite easy. It's when they fall out of the die that you might have trouble. And this is where the adhesive comes in. Absolutely. It's played brilliantly, doesn't it? Yeah. So, so we'll be gluing all of those in. Well, that's it. I mean, you can do it that way, but it is very time consuming. And then you've got to be careful. Well. Yeah, and you might get your glue where you don't want it. And yeah. Yeah, it's, um, this makes it so, so easy. And all right, it's not the quickest process in the world, but why does everything have to be done quickly? No, exactly. It's nice to take time out. That's why I Yeah. Love it. So I just feel I want, I don't know if that's part of the rose. I think it is that bit there. So let's find that. That's right on the edge of our die, this bit here. Let's pop that out. It's quite an impact, isn't it? It's there we go. It makes a massive difference. Look at that yeah. now with the solid rose in there. Don't need those other bits. I would fill in the other rows, but you've seen me do it, so I won't take the time 
up doing that. And the next thing I want to do then is to bring in some of our amazing glitter bits. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to show you how to colour your wordies. Oh, super. Yes. Yes. You mentioned this earlier on. People we did. We can do it and we can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in my little palette some of the Sunburst Pixie Sparkle. Okay. And I'm going to mist that instead of with water, with some of the amber lights. Because I can. <laughs> you can so you will. <laughs> and um, excuse me, I just need some tissue. All right. So I've got um, a flat brush and I'm just going to mix that together. So I've got, remember, amber lights and pixie sparkle in there, no water. And then just paint it onto your wordy. Come, sir. For some reason, I thought this was going to be so much more technical and difficult than it is. You could have just, you could have just sprayed it. Yeah. You, you could ink it. You can do whatever you want with them. They're really cool. So obviously that needs to dry. Yeah. Um, so while we're waiting for that to dry, I'll go back to where I was and bring in the glitter jewels. So I'm going to use the white ones. Oh, I can't because. Hold on. I need these in place first. Okay. All right. So let's cut them. They don't take many minutes to dry. All right. I could always pop my heat gun on it. So let's have a look. How do we want to split this up? Wishing you the very best and then birthday. Yeah, wishing you the very best birthday. Let's do it that way. So, birthday, the very best. Oh, sticky already. Wishing you, <laughs> yes. Don't press it down with your kitchen paper. No. Because that will stick to you. Sticky so keep your release paper handy. There we go. Super. And then now I can fill up with my glitter. Mm. And this glitter is from your fluffy kit, this your is. fluffy bundle. It's been very popular today. I love this Not one. Not surprisingly. I use this such a lot. It's so pretty. It's great for bridal. Yeah. Great for winter, Christmas, snow, mm. and just yeah, everything. What's also fabulous about it is that it will take on whatever colour you put behind it. Yeah. So I've got this backed onto a piece of cream cardstock, mm. but on my other sample, which I'll show you when I've finished, I backed it onto a different coloured cardstock oh, nice. and it's made it look completely different. Yeah. So that will only stick where you've got gaps in your die cut. But look at that now. Gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? Sparkalicious. Really it's fabulous because it's not just the sparkle, it's added texture. Yes, well, absolutely. All those little discs refracting the light. Ooh, yeah. get me. Oh, look at you. You'll be on our sister channel next. Hey, don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're down to the teens of those now. So uh, they we were are. brand new today. The sparkly fluffy kit uh, was brand new, but we are down to the teens, so we don't have many of those at all. So make sure you are checking out because it, it's, it, it's, it's great. And you can watch actually the, uh, the fluffy, fluffy stuff glue. Um, you can watch back the demo from earlier on today as well at three o'clock because it was pretty fabulous. So there we've got our panel and I've just cut um, in a contrasting colour with a scalloped edge, which again is another of our lovely die cuts that we sell at Creative Expressions. We have hundreds. Yeah. Honestly, we've so much to bring you and share with I'm you. Sure, I can't, can't wait. wait. We're barely scratching this end. I know. It's so lovely. So that's going to fit Perfectly. That's the other thing that's great about these dies. They are sized so that they will fit other standard size dies, which is really mm. cool. I'm just going to turn this over so that I can give those little discs of glitter a really good press into that adhesive. It does need a bit of um, mm. pressure to help them adhere properly. I guess better and way then, of doing it would be fingers. Yes. So there we are. That's I'm one version. Yes, I like orange and teal. Yeah. So this one, if you look at the difference, I, instead of backing it onto cream, I backed it onto the teal and that is the same glitter. So as I say, whatever colour you put at the back of that, it's going to reflect. I like that. And then I've just, <laughs> I put it on grey. I don't know why, but I felt the grey really set it off. So yeah. That's stunning. They there are completely are. different, but I do like that. I have to say yeah. the impact of that. We got a lot of oohs in my ear from the gallery when you bought that out. Good. Uh, but great to see again, more ideas to work with. But that, that orange and that teal is just... I love those colours <gasps> together. They're wonderful. They really do. And then of course, you've got the sparkle, you've got the texture on there as well, of course, because of your cosmic shimmer, uh, the iced snow, which is rather lovely. Uh, now, speaking of teal, 
Speaking of sparkle, we do also have our Cosmic Shimmer Holographic amazing glitter bits these are fabulous they come in a set of three uh, you've got all of these i don't want to knock these off because that's i've done too much of that today so teal haze you can see that from a side view straight away these are amazing so these are 13 pound 50 have a little look at this one are they not today is that not what we i can't remember what we did all right we're going even lower on those then look at those colors so even though that is teal you are getting so many more colours from that as well. If I pop that back down, you've got the purples, you've got reds, you've got greens and pinks. Next one along. Oh, hello. That is your blush, which is gorgeous. Blush haze. But that's your kind of foundation colour. There's reds, oranges, yellows, or rainbows within there. Last but not least is your sea spray. That is lovely as well, isn't it? Kind of mermaids and fish. Absolutely. Imagine you're doing a little sort of stickle. Is it stickleback? Stickleback fish that have that little when they have that little bit of glimmer. Oh, lots of them do, don't they? Well, this is true, yeah. This is true. You can do whatever you want to on those as well. Uh, but you've got the set of three, £11.99 for those. Uh, but that holographic element is what gives them so many different colours. And actually, again, gives them a little bit more in terms of dimension from those. They're not just one flat colour with a lot of sparkle. You've got lots of going uh, things going on, almost like the like a, you know, within a gem that's kind of refracting. Um, Oh, Kidokly. Right, we've had a request to have a little look at our die cutting and embossing machine a little bit more. That's fine, we can do that. Gwen has been working with this all day for us. Uh, so we can have a little look. We're going to do another demo anyway. Uh, but yeah, this is it. It's a limited edition. It's A4 size. So this is your die cutting and embossing machine. This is ours here at Gempori. We only ever commissioned a certain amount of these, and that is it. So once they are gone, they are gone. Now, I know this is Gwen's, which she loves because she brings it in every time she comes in because I helped her today with it. Uh, it's all, you know, it's, my, my handbag's heavier. Um, <laughs> but it's got, it's got a lovely little carrot handle on it as well hasn't it yeah. so it is actually really I mean it's, it's, it's not lightweight it's not going to be it's very yeah. substantial but portable yeah so um, it's not going to shift around a lot of the frustrations I have with some of the die cutting machines I use mm. is that you're trying to wind them and they're slipping about all over the place yeah. I actually have a rubber mat that I sit mine on this doesn't move anywhere it's no. quite quite firm you've got your on and off button you've got your run which is your forward action and you've got your reverse which is your reverse action mm -hmm. simple that's it yeah. it comes with all the plates so two clear cutting plates Keep one flat and one for cutting into yeah. it'll last you longer if you try to do that you get a clear uh, shim you get a metal shim and that's brilliant because you also have this magnetic plate with a grid this is fabulous if you want to position things accurately mm -hmm. like getting an aperture in the center of the front of a card for instance if you make your own yeah. aperture cards so that's the simplest way of explaining it but if you want to get a sentiment straight like I was saying before about that bit that came out the middle of the die if I'd wanted to cut a sentiment in the middle of that and I wanted to get it absolutely straight I could have used the grid and cut them both at the same time that would have been easy enough um, this magnetic plate is genius because when you put your die down it stays put and if yeah. you're trying to position two dies together like with these with a frame and a panel then they're not going to shift mm -hmm. so it's really really useful that to have that magnetic so really tape on that no the only time I would need plate um, tape is if I was trying to position this really carefully mm -hmm. but use a piece bigger than you need and pop it on top and then it's not a problem yeah and you can um, see that's obviously well well used already. Yes. And and you've not got to worry about that. That's doesn't no. actually take the imprint, isn't it? So that's right. And you can see, you know, it starts to bow a little bit. So yeah. if you reverse the way you use it, mm -hmm. keep flipping it, yeah. um, that again reduces the um, that that uh, effect. Mm -hmm. And, and then make, just make sure you line your plates up all sideways together, press the run button, and once the machine's got it, you can and see. it's quiet. Yeah. It is lovely and quiet. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about trying to wind that through. It's taking exactly. it at a really nice kind of slow pace. It's not wiggling and wobbling around. No. Oh, and the other thing you get with it, which I haven't brought because I wasn't going to use it, um, is a rubber embossing mat. Right. So if you like to emboss with um, stencils or you can emboss with dies as well, 
then um, that's what the rubber mat would be for. So, and you can do your embossing folders on it as well. All the things you would expect a die cutting machine to yeah. do. It's absolutely brilliant. And for yeah. the price is something else. It's fabulous. And it's on split pay. So you can get it for 33 pounds and 33 pence today. Then you've got a second payment and your third. So it's on a three month split payment get sent out after your first payment so you don't even have to worry about that money back guarantee in all the business uh, so get it home and stock because if you're looking at these dies and you're looking at this sort of fantastic pixie sparkle or the mist thinking i want to do all of this and um, get your get your machine it is literally it is your nuts and bolts of everything there's a whole world of cutting and embossing and so much to do out there that you need your machine for. It, this is going to give you that professional finish. I don't, I, I'm not, I wouldn't even, I mean, I look at some of these dies and go, there's just no way I'm gonna sit there with my, with my scissors and even attempt to do that. But there's so much more when you think about the embossing side of those as well. And those plates are gonna last and last and last, obviously just look after them. Um, and eventually at some stage, we should be getting uh, the replacement sort of um, plates for those, oh. but you, you won't need. Yeah, I yes, mean, please. <laughs> yeah, don't you worry, don't worry, but they are gonna last you, that's the yeah. thing. Uh, as, as you're setting off and buying your machine, you haven't got to worry about that. I mean, mine gets an awful lot of use, as you can imagine. Well, you're doing it 24-7. Um, that's right. It's my job. And yeah. I, it gets used all the time. It gets carted up and down the country. And my yeah. plates, they're, they're fine. They've hardly, you know, taken anywhere. Yeah, exactly. So they are going to last. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, just a little bit of care. Keep remembering to rotate them. Mm -hmm. If they get covered in little bits of cardstock, which will happen, just wash them yeah. under a tap with a little bit of... Um, you know, a, a scrubby, kitchen scrubby, something yeah. like that. Just give them a wash now and then. Yeah, absolutely Same fine. Though, isn't it? Look after your tools yeah. and they'll look after themselves. Absolutely. Um, but if you've got any tips, obviously message in and share them with us. But the price is the big thing here. £99.99. It's, and it's those the, the rollers in there perfectly balanced as well. It takes those dies and it cuts them to perfection which is what you want. And don't worry when you hear the little crunches or the bits, that's the die cutting. Uh, so £33.33 .33 this month, same the next month, same the following, no interest, as in we don't add any noughties onto that. It is what it is. We take your price, we chop it into three, and there we go. Uh, so enjoy. And actually that postage deal is amazing because I've posted, not this machine, but other machines up and down the country, because I have a, a shop. Yeah. Um, and um, it's cost me £15 to post, it, post one machine. Yeah. So £3.95, you add it yeah. on to your PMP here. Mm. Amazing. If you bought anything else today, you only pay one set of PMP. You can buy the whole quickly show. Before they change the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? She says, quickly before they change the mind. <laughs> <laughs> we won't. We're very lovely. We're very yeah, lovely. Uh, so if you are new, because this is quite revolutionary, you might not be used to that in the crafting world. No. You might be used to paying one set of PMP for, uh, for I, I don't know, for the, for the wordies, you might pay another one for your, for your diet. Another, 3.95 that's it and it lasts you until midnight so you can keep going keep going keep going keep going on that and have a good old browse on the web because if you are excited about buying your machine suddenly you've just opened up shop you're ready aren't you ready to get in and get involved so and it comes beautifully packaged the little box it comes in actually is lovely it's sort of it's, it's got you've got your little polystyrene in there just to protect it it's, it's got this little carry handle i remember when and we it's, get it's, you yeah i was dead chuffed um, it's quite compact as well, so if you are short for space in your craft room, if you've got a craft room, yeah. um, it doesn't take up much room at all. No, it's That's great. That's another good thing. It's really nice. And um, we've only got 15 minutes left. I guess Eek. we should uh, see another demo. Let's. If that's all right. I was just going to show you this. When I said about being careful about whether you, you die was straight or not, had I been a bit more careful, um, that would have come out straight and oh, I, like I could have had a frame to use on something else. Um, yeah. But, so that's just something to bear in mind when you get more familiar with your machine. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a piece I need for my demo. You see, there's method in my madness. <laughs> and um, I'm going to do another spritzed panel. Okay. So let me grab my box again and another piece of scrap. I don't have to get through a lot of this scrap, you know. That's all right. That's what scrap's for, isn't it? Oh. So this time I'm going to use the Maya Blue and the Amber Lights together. Okay. Really lovely. They're both from the same bundle. I'm just going to mist my card so it stays flat. And that's just water, isn't it? Just water, just to, yeah, because when you start wetting card, it bows. So if yeah. you wet the other side, it stays flat. So I just did both sides to get me going. Um, so obviously, because this is yellow and I'm going to incorporate some blue, we're also going to get some green. Nice. So these colours do work like any other primary colours. Um, so 
that is just going to give you even more options. Oh, I've, I've lost all my yellow. Let's do that again. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go quite green now. So there we go. Love that. Just let that settle. Leave it to dry or you can blast it with your heat gun if you're impatient. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. So when that's dry, it will look very different. I love this one. It's come out looking almost like a fossil or something. That's it's really just nice. You can't dictate what's going to happen, but I had a lot of water on that. I did mist it with water as well afterwards. And so it's that's created these, these little like sort of puddles. Like I'm swimming in the barrier Ooh. reef or something. Yeah. So I wanted to cut um, a panel for my card. And I've got another beautiful edge of dye from our fabulous Sue Wilson. Oh. And... Um, I'm going to take this one in place just to make sure it doesn't shift, okay. but it only needs just a quick, remember to put it on the slight angle mm -hmm. and then your cutting plate on top, your one that's all scratched, keep that for the top. So your die is facing up, your cardstock's facing down yeah. and it will cut up into that plate. Okay. And that's what it's meant to do. mesmerizing even the dye it really is lovely yeah so we'll get this off put them to one side oops so i have got a little frame there that i could use again i didn't really bother about getting it straight i could have been a bit more careful and i could have had another frame to utilize but that wasn't the plan today so that's the die i've used it's like a postage stamp mm. it comes in a set of about six or eight dies can't remember but anyway hopefully we, somebody one of us will bring that to you at some point yes. um and then you might think my colors are a bit weird but pink and green it can work so i'm going to glue that onto there and then i'm going to glue my little uh, tree oh which way up do i want that i'll have some bit more blue at the top yeah that's better and then the other thing i've done is I've got some leftovers from my Pixie Sparkle piece that I did earlier. So this was a combination of Heavenly Hues and Sunburst okay. and Misted. And I keep all the bits. And then when I want to paper piece with a different colour, you can just cut up little bits. And I'll just do one to show you this. So I'm going to do that little pinkish bit and put it over the die on the bit that I want. And I will tape it just in case it will cut through my tape, but that's all right. As I say, just make sure you line up your plates along the sides here, otherwise they're going to hit the side of the machine. That's going to cut out your little heart. Those colours look lovely. Well, I would have done lots of other bits. I would have done all the little bits, the flowers and yeah. the hearts and, you know, just put them all on at once. Mm. Just cut up all your little bits so your leftovers are never never wasted never are they over. no so let's grab that oh come off that magnetic sheet is very strong works well <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um we'll pop out the heart and i want to use the surround to the heart as well okay so let's get all of that off there we go and i'm just going to snip it so I've got its little string as well. So we'll just snip that where it's joined. Oh, get off my finger. Very sticky tape and very magnetic magnet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a little bit of this glue. This is where you find nozzles really come into play. And we can pop that on top. So it doesn't just have to be the infill, it can be yep. some outlines as well. Some of the flowers here you mm -hmm. could do and cut the outline as well as the inny bits. It's just the choice is yours and it's always great to have those choices. Exactly. Because that's what helps your creativity, I think. Yeah, yeah. And the more you play with dyes like this, the more you'll realise just the full potential. I'm sure. Um, you know, you'll, you'll start to do something and you think, oh, actually, I've just done something that I hadn't realised was going to happen. Yeah. And that's when, to me, that's when the magic starts to, yeah. to happen. So let's glue this down. And then I'm going to put that little centre of the heart in there as well. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd lost it then that in 
So now we've picked out that little feature and made yeah. it something really special. And um, I've got, again, one of the wordies. So what shall we have? Sending love and hugs, why not? Let's just snip that. I want to reduce the border a little bit. And let's split it again. So sending love and hugs, glue those on there and cut those out. Pop that along the bottom, mount it on the card and there you have it. Isn't that wonderful? Really and that was beautiful. just a couple of airless misters, a little piece of leftover pixie sparkle card, a frame and a wordy. It's, they're gorgeous and make sure you get these, get these new dies today because they are fabulous. It can be simple. That's gorgeous. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you've got two different sets of the uh, of the dies. We'll just go over those again for you or the airless misters, I should really say. So you've got the amber light and the mayor blue, which are really, really popular, which is not a surprise when you see those colours. That's just like happiness, isn't it? Summertime in happiness. Definitely. So £10.99 on those. I remember you can do those upside, sideways, whichever way. Uh, but £10.99 on those. And let's bring you in the other two. So you've got the flirty pink. Flirty pink. And then, of course, you've got that lovely purple spell. Not a shell. Uh, purple spell and flirty, flirty pink. But wonderful complementary colours as well. I think they're great foundation colours uh, to be having as well. Just really cheery, really upbeat and gorgeous. So £10.99. And that's just four colours of the Airless Misters. I'm sure there'll be lots more coming your way as we make our, our journey together here on Hobby Maker. Of course, also don't forget you've got all of your selection of your Pixie Sparkles. Again, they come in sets of two. We've got Beyond Blue and Sunburst. I'll show those to you first of all, because these are rather gorgeous as well. Look at those. Can you see? So they work really well, perhaps, with your Maya Blue and the Amber Lights. So they're £8.50. Brilliant price point on those. So that's your first two. Then we have your uh, Purple Affair. I'm having a Purple Affair. And your Fuchsia Rose. So there we go. So that's what they're going to look. And look at, look at that kind of texture almost that it gives you and that is just that wonderful kind of shimmer that you're getting from these that they are fabulous and certainly last but not least we have the bottom two which is green bay and you've got your heavenly hues so you can see those well I, I yeah love all of those and you can see again you've got different sort of visuals whether you have them a little bit smoother whether they create these fantastic shapes depending obviously how much you use how much water you use with them lots of different elements of course will affect those so again eight pound fifty for two you can add them all in if you want to you still only pay one set of potion packaging if you want to go crazy and get them all i'm i'm like that though are you i want all or nothing i want to just i want everything i want to have everything at my arm's length and we're so close to selling out now of our fluffy stuff uh, so this is your cosmic shimmer sparkly fluffy kit so you've got the white fluffy stuff which is your white fluffy glue by all intents and purposes which comes into action when you add heat to it it literally fluffs up think about think of santa claus's beard think about the froth, froth, froth i can never say a froth froth frothy top froth frothy top it's hard to get your teeth around uh, and then of course if you want to add a little bit of sparkle you also get that incredible uh, cosmic shimmer that's your iced snow with that as well which is amazing taking that price down for you as well um phenomenal gwen thank you so much it's an absolute Join a pleasure, pleasure again. i've loved it it's ace do you know when you're yes. back again yes <gasps> When, when? Um, a week on Friday, I'm okay. back. So that's a Friday the 13th, don't oh. forget that one. And I've got some amazing stamps. Oh, super. And more Cosmic Shimmer goodies, of course. Yay! Well, we look forward to it. We can't me too, wait. can't we wait. Can't wait. Don't think it'll be me next Friday. Next Friday. You've probably had enough of me by then. I'm back tomorrow again. I know, third time in a row. So we've got a jam-packed show lined up for you tomorrow as well. I'm going to be joined by Joe Channon first, uh, for the first hour. And Auntie Pauline's back tomorrow as well. I've not seen Auntie Pauline for a while. So Pauline Wheeler will be back with us as well tomorrow. Keep checking out on everything. Don't forget, grab your die cutting and embossing machine because it's a fabulous price lots of you have actually i mean it's on split pay for 33 pound 33 life's a winner i'll see you again same time same place tomorrow go on then take care